Says you're live. Just got the alert. We're doing a live. Can you guys see okay? Hello? Somebody <laughs> leave a call. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you for the there comments. Go. What's, What's up, going everybody? on? Back at it for round two. Yeah, round two. We're doing this. Welcome to the basement where we're going to be selling off a bunch of size 13, size 14, size 9 samples, just all kinds of stuff from my collection over the years. Uh, as you guys all know, with a ton of shoes, sometimes it comes to that point where you got to downsize a bit, and that's where I'm at. Um, I'm also excited to be uh, donating a lot of the proceeds to my middle school basketball teams, both the girls and boys teams at Sutter Middle School back in Sacramento. So that part will be awesome. Um, I'm checking through. Uh, <laughs> somebody said the wall regenerated. Yes, we <laughs> refilled out the wall behind us. Um, so uh, obviously Thursday night's auction was awesome and, and a fun uh, a fun time with everybody. And, and now we're going to fire it back up with um, a bunch more here today. So. Let's see here. Give me one second. Yeah. Um, we're on live on my YouTube as well. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, like last time, same thing. Like there's a sidebar that you could check out that has all the listings of what we have here. Um, so if there's something in particular that you're specifically wanting, um, just leave a comment it's in that. Free, uh, my boy Jeff on the other side here will, will let us you know if comment. there's something somebody is requesting. Yeah, I'm in. And then from there, we'll do just you, be hopping through everything. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, his his name is Free Throw PDX, so he'll try to be answering questions about sizes on stuff, condition on stuff um, as we go along as well. Yeah, and I wanted to um, just give you guys a little bit of a, a heads up. Um, Going to be for verified buyers only. It's super easy to get verified on whatnot. Uh, go through the steps and push the buttons and get verified. Uh, also, we have some giveaways that we're going to be giving away. Um, and the uh, yeah, somebody double. asked if the winner is going to win all the. <laughs> same giveaways that's why <laughs> i wish dude the giveaways last time were crazy ar 15s fire yeah uh anyway he added those in last minute but uh, if you guys are interested in any, any of the auctions most of them is going to be a 12 and 13 like probably nick already said and if you're wanting to see ahead of time of some of the stuff we pre-populated we put them in the auction um list already so click the auction the shop go to the auctions and see what we have listed if there's anything that you're interested in call it out in the in the chat and we'll try to get through it as we go we're, we're planning about four hours uh, live here so uh, hopefully we're gonna have fun with you guys and appreciate y'all for j joining in and hopefully it'll be a, a um yeah a successful little stream here i see some questions already the the go lwps are the black white royal original colorway um i have an og size 14 pair here so we could get those get those early on if that's something somebody's checking for for sure um and then any other questions off top Gonna get some music rolling and uh we're gonna kick it off with a size 9 pe of the zoom flight 95. uh we did the white home colorway last time and this is the orange nyx this is from the jason kidd career pack he's a brand new size 9 some slight yellowing i believe they're from 2013 his last season in the league uh, they released the Cal, the Nets, the Mavs colorways, uh, the yellow, the red, the black, but this is the Knicks, so this is orange. Um, as you guys can see, of course, the carbon fiber. Uh, I wanted to start with these because the Zoom Flight 95 is my favorite shoe of all time. Um, so this one was a fun one, but it is a size 9, so I can't wear them. Um, as you guys can see, brand new, size 9 sample. Uh, fire. Super fire. You know, JK wears a 14, but these are the size 9 sample of his PEs. Um, so we can get this one started and we're just going to kick it off at a dollar to get things rolling all right good luck guys a buck starting off at a dollar these things are crazy man that's my size i need it's another got the account. jason kid logo through the outsole which is clear and then you can see the whole shank and then of course the carbon fiber detailing and then it's got the five on the tongue which he wore his last year on the knicks first auction is live guys Crips back what's up jr what's going on yeah super cheap right now 19 dollars. this is again pe sample not released, not something you're gonna see anywhere else in any other stores or anything. It's like from Nick's basement only. So a good one if you guys are interested. Uh Griff is back, Toro, back and forth. There we go. We're getting it up a little bit more. Yeah, Tom, Tom, uh, I'm like, yeah, that's just I definitely should go up. But <laughs> <laughs> we're starting it off with this though. It's definitely a, a fun one and one that I'm happy to see. What up, JR Line? Welcome back. House or yard work? That's a good question, Hefty. Ultra boosts, probably. Yeah. That's a good, I got them on right now. That's a good comfort shoe if you're doing a comfort task. At a buck fifty, is it going? Toro. 
Congrats, man. Congrats. That's a great pair. Honestly, I would I would have bought those for 150 if I didn't if I wasn't using my account. Oh, we didn't even have to do the uh, auction then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have. Uh, we should we should have worked out. Well, honestly, it's it's better to see what they go for for you guys out there. You guys get the W's. All right, we're just gonna start firing through stuff. So we got Reebok Shack Attack threes, size 13, brand new. Is it? No box. Is it this one? Uh, it doesn't say three. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's them. Okay. Uh, they are What's brand it? new, never tried on, size 13. As All you right. guys know, Shaq had, I think, six different models, but uh, this was the Shaq Attack 3. Got the pump collar. Can we start it? Yeah, we can fire this up. We're starting now. Dunkman logo on the tongue, and then it's got kind of a, a metallic patent graphic along the collar there, uh, which was not an OG color, of course, but uh, recent retro instead. All right, it's live. Um, should be live? Yeah. Yep. At a yeah. dollar. It's live at a buck, JR. Pretty nice colorway, to be honest. I mean, nice Orlando, move. Shaq. J.R. Lyons going to get it for a dollar. Is this going to happen? I'm, I'm rolling with that. Two dollars. <laughs> oh. Snipers. Two men. Almost, J.R. <laughs> Shaq Attack 3 Retro, yeah. size 13, brand new, no box. For those that don't know how this auction stuff works, basically it gets bid on and then it resets the clock at 10 seconds and then another bid and it goes back and forth until the clock runs out. And then we move on to the next shoe. Again, verified buyers only, so be sure you're verified. Also, um, we're really trying not to do like like returns and stuff, um, obviously for charity and stuff. So serious bidders only. Keep that in mind, and we appreciate you all for coming in. JR, at the 15, 15 spot, bro. There we go. Steal. That is a steal. Shipping is listed as well, and also just a heads up, if you guys buy more than one item, shipping gets dropped significantly. So JR, uh, you, this like shipping is going to be way, way cheaper after this too. So although we could probably drop off to you, but for whatnot, we don't have a choice to, to update it, that. Um, Let's do these. Do we list those in yet? Yeah, the Zion. Yeah. All right, we got a size 13 pair Jordan Zion ones. They are worn by me at the park once for basketball. But if you want just a hoop shoe, something to run in, uh, get some get some runs in. This is an easy one. Uh, Zion Williamson's first signature shoe with Jordan brand. They have the original box. Upper is in basically brand new condition, and the outsole, as you can see. Just some slight wear from from an outdoor court. We started. Yep, we can get this going. All right, starting a buck. It's live. Yeah, for stuff like that, we can just start firing. Okay, okay. you want yeah. me to start it when you yeah. when you walk up? Got it. We have a lot of crazy stuff though, guys. I mean, this these are just random little pairs, but he has some seriously crazy things that I've never seen before that are <laughs> that are definitely going to get your attention. We're at five right now on the Zion's. Jordan Zion one size thirteen. This is going to be a crazy steal at $6, $7. NRC, welcome back, man. Let's see. Shoe man says MVP game worn. Yes, yeah. technically that is true. <laughs> <laughs> We're at 15. Let's We're starting off here. really, really easy for you guys. Somebody asked about toddlers. No, I just, the, the, the lowest size is a size six and a half uh, Oregon Ducks PE that we could get going, but. That is the smallest size I have. Swaggy, I'll, I'll do toddler stuff in a future sh uh, show when I'm just doing them solo because I got a bunch of kid shoes to get rid of eventually. We're at 26 from the NRC back at it again. N NRC, we still have a huge box for you from last time, so yes, appreciate all do. the love, man. We're at 27. All it, right. It goes. 27 for the Zion ones. Okay. Next, we got some Dunk Lows. These are, I mean, basically look brand new, but worn once. Uh, you can see the outsoles there. The navy and gray? Navy gray, kind of a Georgetown feel. Can we start them? Dunk Lows. Let's start. Uh, yeah. Starts at, and I believe those have a, a yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of these are going to have a floor price. Yeah, it has a reserve at a uh, So these one. have a reserve, but just, you know, Dunk Lows can't go wrong with these. If you're interested in them, they're live right now. And they do have the original box as well. From the, is interested. They look good. It's a nice actual colorway. It's not panda. Very clean. <laughs> it's not it's panda. gray. It's gray. And uh, navy. Georgetown not panda. Low. Not panda. Depending on the lighting. Uh, we have a couple of nines here and there. Check the store. Just go to the auctions. Click the. So that means you bid. Yep. Yep. All yep. right. So they're gone at one point. Thank you from the. Appreciate you. And then um. And uh, yeah, so size nines. We have a handful of size nines. Just click the the store and then look at the auctions and then. 
Uh, maybe type in nine and see if you can filter on the nines and see what we have coming up. Uh, but, uh, ooh, per yeah. that's no way. I have those. Personally, one of my favorite signature shoe designs, super clean. This is a size 13 uh -huh. original uh, Nike Pippin 4. You guys will never, in that condition, you guys will uh, never find those. The outsole is in crazy condition. As you can see, they look, I mean, pretty close, yeah. but I will say, I don't know if they're wearable because the airbag is just fogged up over time. I believe these released in 2000. Uh, if not 2001. That's crazy. Uh, so this is a Pippin 4 original. We can start this up. We're starting it up now. Dude, yo, I have that exact colorway. I love that colorway. I love, personally, like, I really want these to retro. I don't know if they will. They have the five dots on the back. The the Alpha, Alpha Project yeah. dots on the heel. Those are um, This is an awesome shoe. Aaron Cooper designed, of course. He did all the Pippins. Uh, just a great, great sneaker. Uh, from the A, um, we'll ship them separately, but we because we have different labels we have to have, but we'll we'll get them all out at the same time. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, those are crazy right now. Thirty-two dollars shoe, the man. Alpha is Project crazy. insole, hard to see there, that, but uh, Pippin on the underside. Shoe man gone for thirty-two. Yeah, congrats. Wow. I'm actually really surprised, but I mean, it's it's a niche pair for sure. And the, ori the original box too, I should mention. I that. absolutely love that. I I absolutely love that pair. Mine actually, the glue came out, um, uh, so they totally separated. I have to re put them back together still. But, <laughs> wow. Um, all right. This is an Oregon Hirachi 2K6. Uh, they are size, I believe, six and a half, right? Size six. Size six. Um, oh, you me add. Uh, no, that's not them. Yeah. Oh. Actually, we don't have them either. Yeah, we didn't put them. All right. So, Oregon. I thought we had them. Sorry. No worries. All right. Um, this was a funny story. I, I love Oregon. I went there for school and I collect just Oregon PEs over the years. And this shoe, they actually made, I feel like it was made in spite because they had a lot of PEs that in the mid 2000s were getting resold by the players and it was becoming a thing. So they actually made these for the marching band, the Oregon's uh, athletic marching band. So that's why these are such a small size. Um, and size I, 6.5? Size 6. Size 6. Yep. And then size uh, So it's got the Oregon O on the tongue. Oregon across the top. Um, I mean, started at 20. Okay. And then the yellow outsole as well. Um, they are, I would say, lightly worn, as you can see. But then uh, they also have this kind of camo lasered pattern on the tongue, which Sorry. is kind of cool. We're starting at 20 right now, guys. So we're going to start these up. That's a fire uh, pair, Hirachi. If you're an Oregon collector, just a nice add to the collection here. Uh, as you guys know, they did uh, Hirachi... I think they did Hirachi 2K5s, black, yellow, and then this one was the follow-up, but just for the marching band. Uh, the black and yellow 2K5s were for the basketball team, and that was around just before uh, the football team was getting the Jordans, and then this was the marching band PE. John Deere colorway overhyped. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's from the YouTube stream. That's, that's funny. funny. <laughs> Is that 48 right now? NRC vaccine value. I like the little camo print too. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see, but it's got a laser camo print on here, which is cool. It's pretty fire. Yo, Chizzy, welcome back, Chizzy and NRC. What back. up, Chizzy? Good to see you guys. At 55. And again, these are size six. These are size six. They're lightly worn. Yeah, you'll be able to clean them up real easy, honestly. Yeah. Not a, none of this stuff was pre-treated for you guys. It's just straight from the basement. So much appreciated for you guys joining chizzy chizzy came in and yes, got, got a again. win off top all yes, right welcome back <laughs> welcome back yeah. hope you guys are having a good day out there hope you guys are having a good holiday weekend we appreciate you guys joining in we'll have a giveaway in just a little bit we have a couple things uh to give away i'm sure we'll find some more things through the through the stream as well this right up is that Kyrie infinity we're going in starting all right. live with the box brand new uh live in a buck Kyrie Infinity, a.k.a. the not Kyrie 8s, black and silver here. Uh, if you just want something to hoop in, obviously the Kyrie line was known for that uh, while he was still with Nike, but... Infinity these... is winning the Infinities right now at two bucks. <laughs> uh, I love it. But yeah, these have uh, alternating color outsole. One side's red, one side's blue. And then uh, same for the heel as well and the Zoom Turbo bag. Size 13 with the box. Is there suede on the... The, collar, the collar is a little bit of a suede, yeah. You can kind of see that. I like the back logos too. Toe is meshed through it, and then you got the double kind of the 32 right now, lace part 36. right here. 
Nice sleep repair, just an easy one for you guys. We have some crazy stuff though coming, but we're just start, starting off quick, firing rapid fire as much as we can today for him. Obviously, we're trying to move most of the stuff from the basement, so uh, all you guys' support is is uh, very helpful. Can't answer that one just yet, Jr. But something soon, probably, right? Somebody said, "What do I got on my feet?" I got on Ultra Boost twenty uh, ones, I think, in the gray, but I cut the cage off. Going for. Real comfort today. Cam Spike. All right. Uh, got a request for the Jordan 1 All-Stars. Congrats, Cam. Jordan 1 All-Stars. Appreciate you, Cam. Got you. And these have a reserve. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a reserve on these guys, just so you guys know. We got a request for the Jordan 1 All-Stars, size 12. Ooh. Oh, that color was Man, fire. these are fire. I forgot. Uh, size 12 is not my size, so they were just a little too tight. But somebody... Can start it? Yeah, we can start these up. Um... I wish these were a 13. I'd probably keep them as they're no, 13. I, but these are hard. They got the iridescent color, the clear outsole with the underside color. These are size 12, brand new with the box. Auctions live if anybody's interested in them at the, the reserve price. We did get a request, so hopefully that means that somebody was interested. But Cheesy. Uh, there we go. Yo, this is like one of those shoes that I regret not buying when they're closer to like yeah, these retail. Are hard. These are hard. It's just a super fire, like chameleon look. You could hopefully see the outsole there. Chizzy won him again. Chizzy, congrats, man. Uh, shipping is going to be a lot cheaper for you. For my Navy As I mentioned, guys, if you buy more than one thing, um, shipping gets knocked out significantly. So much appreciated. I think it's like $5, honestly. Chizzy, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think like the additional pairs are like five bucks or something. Um, oh, these, these are already went too. All right. Oh, yeah, JR, I forgot about the sixes too. That's hilarious. That was a different era, man. It's. We had some New Balance requests last time, so let's just we could fire through Ooh, some of that. You do have five things. You, what don't you have? Here? You got a uh, white, black, the white, black joints. Yep. Which one? Though? These just two. Okay. Yeah. Whoops. So these are the white, black five fifties. Everybody, I think, is familiar with the five fifties, but clean New Balance low top. Got the nice toe cap, and these are auctions live. If you're light, interested. lightly worn, I will call it. You can kind of see there. They had the original box as well. Auctions live if you guys are interested in them. They're 60 bucks right now. 60 bucks. White, black. No interest right now? No interest. Oh, at the minute, sniping. Snipers. Somebody got him? All right. Mr. Jones. Still going. Still going. Got the timer. All right, good. I was impressed with that snipe. That was yeah, impressive. that was like that was like the free throw last night, man. Super. Oh, what up? That was crazy. Got a request for the my eyes. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's do. We got a request for these size nine campus. We eight, can, eight. Size eight campus. We can fire this right up. Yep. Navy tried on no box, and they got the alternate white lace as well. Nice. Outsole mad clean. Navy suede campus very clean. I'm guessing the original owner of those had too wide of feet for those. <laughs> <laughs> campus were narrow on me too, but man, they're, they're clean. Nice le no, suede on them, too. Yeah, suede's nice. Can we start it up? Yeah, it's live. Yep. Uh, Winsome is on it right now, 30 bucks. Winsome's on it, $30. How bad price for a pair of canvas? Get my Vanna White on. Winsome, right. Winsome. Winsome, 1-1. One, one. Thank you. Request? Appreciate that. What was the other request from that? Uh, the IEs. IEs. The Jordan? Yeah. All right. We've got another request for... These are brand new, right? Brand new. Tried on. Tried on. Jordan IE. Man, it's a clean shoe. Can we start? Yeah, we can start this up. These have a reserve as well, as well but uh, Jordan 11 IE low top. OG. The OG colorway. The recent retro. It's a clean shoe. It's live right now. Anybody interested? $80. Let's get a bid yet? Nope. For tried on, it's pretty good. I mean, look at the bottom again. It's pretty, yeah. Mike, it's not. With really the original box. Tried on inside. On carpet. <laughs> yeah, on carpet. <laughs> It's like that, that's like honesty right there. Uh, because you know what? Like, I don't know, could have been outside tried on, but at $80, is it Fogat? Yeah, I'm, gonna let, you, I'm gonna let you say that one. We're, we're um, <laughs> oh, Fogat looks like we have a uh, uh, gulag on that one, so try to rerun it again. Sometimes, if you guys run into this for first time buyers or even seasoned buyers, your banks will flag it and then you just have to like uh, just try to go back through them. And uh, and rerun it. So rerun it, re gulag for right now. We'll get back to it. This is the Nike half cents. These are a size twelve. 
I thought these ran huge. I thought 12 was my size. And then I realized afterwards I probably didn't That's need a 13. Um, or they got in there? Yeah, you didn't, you didn't come in there. Ah, this one I can list. Okay. list those real quick. It's, it's Nike. What kind of uh, somebody said any Yeezy slides. We don't have any Yeezy slides. Um, size twelve half set. We did some. Uh, we did some Yeezy three fifty turtle doves on Thursday. And these are new. Uh, these are no, they were worn. Yeah. yeah. Where did you get this rolling? This uh, was it a royal couple? Yeah. Yeah, Neon Royal. What else we got question wise? I, I know, it. right? Somebody said, I wish, uh, I wish those 11s were a 13. The buck, good. Yep, that's fine. All right, we're going to start this at a dollar, four penny. These are size 12 worn, but lightly worn, uh, half cents. You can see the outsole there, size 12 again with the original box. Half cent was the hybrid of a bunch of different Penny Hardaways. You can kind of see the Penny 1, Penny 2 swoop, Penny 4 stitching, and then the foam right posit now. grooves on the inside. It's like the best colorway, to be honest, of the half cents, too. Definitely like obviously the, the royal blue-ish colorway. Definitely the best colorway. I think my JR's favorite is this side right here. Ever. Best this, hybrid this ever. I like that. I this side right here too. with the OG foam posit side. side. I love that. I'm going to roll with that. Best hybrid ever. It is yeah. a pretty good one. Yeah. yeah. I was nervous when they said they were doing them because it was right after the spizz like had happened. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, this, this could get dicey, but these came out great. Feels yeah. organic. Yeah. Great design. Dice at it right now. Size 12 again. Uh, you kind of see there's no no creasing. Super lightly worn. More new on the front side. Yeah. Yeah. Some slight yellowing as you would expect. I believe these are from 08. Nice. 08. All right, did I say dice? V I T C. All right. Uh, Mr. Forever, congrats, man. I'm terrible at reading things, by the way, so I apologize. Um, All <laughs> <laughs> right. Those are, All um, right. These are hard. This is a sample of uh, the crazy BYWs. That's what they're called, right? Yep. So the, those are the on court version. And are these are the, the on court version. This one? Uh, or, no. It is. Yes. This one? Yep. I should put sample then. Yeah. PE or no? Uh, no, nah, because this color came out. Oh, okay. Yeah, sample tag. Yep. Can we start it? Yep, we can start this up. Um, these were debuted by Swaggy P when he was on the Lakers. Swag. I remember the date. It was December this... December nineteenth, two thousand seventeen. I want to say, uh, because I was having to work that game. But these are these were a clean design. Uh. Kind of a hybrid of auctions live some old kobe styles from the feet you wear era along with the boost heel and the modernized outsole uh they i mean these are not even tried on just just brand new and clean brandon ingram wore those a lot brandon, definitely brandon like the, ingram the lakers color vibe on that is nice yeah smooth shoe got the knit got the suede and retail then, what's retail on those like 190 re retail was 170 one i first, think. think it's one of the first shoes to have a trefoil and a Performance logo, which is it's at 40 right now. NRCC in value again. B ball player 16. Yeah, it's a pretty nice, good condition. It's a nice looking model, and I'm sure it performs well as well. Um, yeah, these were smooth. This was launched at uh, NRC LA All Star 2018. 17. Seven, no, yeah, 2017. Was it 17? <laughs> yeah. NRC, Not four anything. seconds left. 18? Yeah. All right. Congrats, that's man. A that's good, a nice that's a little sample. Right I mean, it's a really colorway sample, but it's still a sample. Nice, nice pair. It even has a yeah. Hold, hold on one sec. It even has a sample tag on the box, so that's pretty fire. Always nice to see that. The things in the basement, man. You got some crazy stuff, man. <laughs> All right, we could fire these right up. Which one? Are these are the yeah. Panini questions. Oh, do they have the card? Uh, I think so. I know that they have another card in them because I wanted these. I wanted to see the card. It's an Irishman card. Let's check. We're checking for the card. Oh, that's right here. It does not come with the card because I'm going to have that one. comes with the card. All right. So this is the Reebok question. Low top. His signature on the toe. Not on the Stitched in signature. Good call. Yeah. And it is the prison collection with the card. That's so, pretty So fire. we can start this up. Yeah, uh, yeah it's live right now. Cool. 50 bucks right now. Brand new Jordan's with the box. On it. it comes with that card, though. The card, Not I don't... Tried on. I'm curious Panini, what's in that card. Panini logo yeah. all throughout. It's an uh, Iverson card. It is an Iverson card. It's a prism, yeah. Sealed. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty fire. Uh, and then they also have a little prism. You can kind of see like a little hang tag there. Obviously, if you guys are on whatnot, Panini and Prism and stuff, all that goes pretty crazy on the card side of things. So this is a nice this collab. Is a cool, this was a cool, timely collab on their part. Like, I thought this was a good idea yeah. with the Prism collab. Hefty Lefty on it, Jordan, Nim. And then, the left, like I said, the left side has the embroidered signature from AI on Whoever it. Whoever wins, it's got to tag me and, and when you open the card, because I'm curious. I want <laughs> yeah, to know, I wanna know what's in it, because it's a parallel, but I don't know which parallel it is. It could be a rad one. Congratulations, Nim. Hopefully it's a, a good one for you. Here, I'm gonna have to hand these over to the box out. Yeah. There. All right. Any other requests? Yeah, if you guys have requests, uh, look at the uh, auctions and then just let us know. Leave a comment and let us know. Ooh, we got some oldies here. All right. Got some vintage Zoom Flight 95s from 95. This one? Uh, yep. Is that the? Fuck around the yeah. Door. These are the white and navy OG colorway, as worn by Jason Ooh, Kidd. Uh, we could start these up at a buck. Um, size 13, wear at your own risk. They are worn. Um, as you can see, they got some, some aging on the carbon fiber side there on the side pieces as well. Uh, and then of course, the auctions live, we boss sees it right now to buck. Let's see what happens. I mean, this is like Nick's favorite shoe to keep the that best, in mind. The best shoe of all time, in my opinion. It's pretty crazy. Uh, they, they are worn, they are yellowed, but if you are a collector, this is a, a cool shoe to have in the collection yeah. from an OG standpoint. I mean, at this price, it's like better than walking into Goodwill and scoring a pair. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> size are these? That's they are size thirteen. Oh yeah, sorry. Yep. Did we not 13. have this? We didn't have the size listed. Sorry about it's because that. it's not wearable. <laughs> yeah, they are a size thirteen for collectors, but uh, you can see the aging on the side there. But to me, one of the all-time greats. Yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy, man. It's at eleven right now. NRC with the bid. It's gonna go. I think for the low, low, low. Damn, congrats. I know it probably stings Nick a little bit, but he, I, NRC it seems like he's a good collector. <laughs> he bought a couple of things, so appreciate you, man. Um, uh, let's see the uh, Fogat. If you can try to rerun that one through your bank, let me know. Leave a comment. Otherwise, we're going to rerun those later. Uh, uh, Jordan 11 breads. All right. This is a. From a pack. Let's see here. Sorry, let's check that out real quick. All right. Oh, yeah, this is that. Which one? These are the Sydney's. Hyperize, right? Hyperize. I don't think I have these. Uh, they're them? in there. Yeah. They should be in there. Hyperize. I might have spelled it wrong. Gotcha. Adam. Yeah. So this, let, me, let me type in Nike real quick and see if it's in here. Because sometimes it might just be under the. I'll pull up this picture too. Yeah, let's just have it. Right, yeah, sorry. All right. Nike Hyper Rise. Size 13. Hyper Rise like that. With a, with a Z. That's probably why. Yeah, one. Uh, yeah. Sydney Dean, size 13. Warren. D E A N? Yep. With the box. Yep. Is it a sample box? Uh, no. All right. These are timely. I haven't actually seen the new one, but the new White Man Can't Jump movie just came out. Uh, this is the Sydney Dean inspired Hyper Rise from 09. Um, they've got the flip tongue, like his original hat that flipped up. Um, they've got the sort of striped lining inspired by his gear. Watch live. Uh, it is it is pretty and it's hard goddamn work at the same time. I like the comments already. Um, and this is the hyper rise that had the great campaign song uh, that I'm seeing referenced in the comments as well. Um, so these are worn, as you can see, just lightly worn. Um, size 13. Not a pair you see every day for sure, man. Hyper yeah. rise. I remember that era. Hyper rise. It was like the counterpart to the hyper dunks, right? Yeah, this was the follow-up to the hi first hyper dunk. Yeah, it's only for the one pair. There is another pair that you guys can see right here, but this is only for the, the black pair. Yeah, this is for the Sydney Dean inspired one. So he said, any size eleven hooping shoes. Most of everything in here is a size thirteen or fourteen, along with some size nines as well. It's at sixty one, Fizzy has these right now. I think we're gonna do the other ones right after this. Yep. So keep, keep we'll get right to the right to the Billy's next. 
Okay. All right. Congratulations, Fizzy. Those I didn't put in. Uh, I'm, I'm at them right now. Yep. Um, Same thing here. Orly really Hoyle. Is that right? Yep. That one um, with box. Yep. So out of a dollar, we're doing that? Yep. All right, so these are the counterpart to the Sydney's. These are the Billy Hoyle Command Force inspired Hyper Rises, also from 09. On fire, right? As you could see, I'm in the zone from it's the live. movie. It's live. It's on the tongue with the parental advisory. Um, you could kind of see through the toe here. It's a little dirty. I hooped in these outside. I like the outsoles. Um, the and then the outsoles looks like a stoplight are pretty back. clean. What uh, the carbon fiber in the middle, Shane? Well, yep. How much did those retail at back then? I want to say retail on these was 125 or 130. Uh, the original Hyperdunk was 110, and then I think these went up to 125. Oh, so those were more expensive than that. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Yep. I didn't realize that. Yep. It's live right now, Fizzy. Hopefully, the same guy gets them. Yeah, <laughs> as a pack, that was hard. Set. Yeah. Definitely a nice color. Got the got the blue accents, the the the, the, the neon, and the white colorway from the Command Force that Billy Hall wore. In the movie, of course. Busy. Is that the same dude? Yeah, I think All so. Right. Yeah. Congrats, man. All right. That's a that's a dope pack. Just a fun one. Again, just a, a, a little slice of history that has been sitting in Nick's basement. So Pretty Pretty much. Much. yeah. I mean, no when was the last time I even I don't even I've never even heard that pack and I've been collecting since before then. So did we just came a, and went? Did we get a request at all? I feel like something's in the request. Oh, the Salady. All right. We got a request for Salehi Crocs. Um, these are a size 12. They are, I mean, brand brand new. I tried them on and I gotta get I gotta go down a size. So I'm gonna try to rebuy these. I just gotta go down a size. But these are a size 12. We can start this up. Yep. All right, slide. Um, hopefully everybody's familiar with these. Awesome design. Salehi Bembury times Crocs. And he's now been doing, they got a low top slide, or they got a slide coming out. They got all kinds of stuff coming, so. We got some crazy stuff. People want the here, guys. Next, okay. So keep it keep it in mind. If you guys haven't seen anything you're interested in, in the uh, auctions listed, um, just call that out in the chat. And we have some giveaways too, some fun ones. Can I show them one of the giveaways? Sure. Are these giveaways? Yep. Are these ones too or no? Yeah. Salehi Crocs, size 12s with the box. Yep. All right. ASAP market. Congrats, man. Oh, that's a steal. Just showing you guys one of the giveaways. Sample. It's only one shoe, but like this is a crazy shoe. It's the Zoom Flight Club. Uh, we did a Soul Collector collab on those. And so they let me borrow Fire. the sample just to just to check it out and, and hang on to it. But this this colorway never came out. Uh, it's got a whole different material to it. We have those and some other things we're gonna give away. Do you, what is this are, one too? And this is the this is the top ten 2010. Um no, I'm sorry, 2000. 2000. Man, I'm, I feel terrible messing that up. Is it just one? Uh, it is just one. But yeah. we could, you want to do this one right now? Uh, yeah. Is it in here? No. No. Yeah, we didn't. Okay. Yeah, we'll that next. Yeah. Uh, that one. Yeah. Oh, oh, you want me to run it? We'll, we'll run it. We'll run it in just a second. But yeah, just giving you a, a, a little taste. There's a couple pretty dope giveaways. Um, so part of what I got in my collection is a lot of like what if shoes. So these actually never. Uh, as you can kind of see, it says Malik Monk PE, but obviously Malik is signed with Nike. So, and one was trying to sign Malik Monk and made these for him uh, during the process, and he ended up re-signing with Nike instead. Um, so these are kind of a what, what, I, what I call a what if PE. Um, and we can start this Ooh, up. Look at the side, the iridescence on yeah. the N one logo. It looks like it's like glowing. So this is the N one attack. These All are right, a size right now. Size thirteen, brand new, never tried on. Uh, and as pretty. the box says, made for Malik Monk, which ended up not happening as a deal, but. Is it like and the, the oh, toe? The toe too, has it? an iridescence as well, is and it? then they're black white gum. That's fire! Yeah. I didn't notice that, in the, but you can see it in the light here. This is crazy. Yeah, in the tongue too. Yeah, and then again the box. Uh, you can kind of see. Show them. Like, Oops, on side. On side. Unreleased yeah. pair right here, guys. Just another random pair. Monk PE. Um, but like I said, he's he's been re-signed with Nike, and then has been wearing Kobe since. All right, shoe man at it right now. They're at sixty-eight. Pretty nice price for just a random one, especially if you're a monk fan, but obviously, or and one fan, or just something just different. Sleeper shoe pair. Man, all right, sixty-eight dollars. Not bad. Congrats. That's. A, I mean, that's a great price for something different for sure. What else? Uh, we want. We got requests for the Daps. 
again. Oh, okay. Uh, right there. Okay. Uh, All right. We got a request for the Adapt BBs. This is the Adapt BB2. Can we fire it? Or yeah, we could fire this up. Uh, black, this silver, size, thir size 13. Uh, they are worn once by me. You could kind of see some, some, just some gym wear there. I played in them once. Auctions live, guys. We do have a couple scuffs on the heel counter. This, this heel does scuff easily, so if you do hoop in them, that's part of it. But um, and I'd also have the charging mat here. Obviously, you need that to to, to auto lace them through the app. Um, Just connect your own USB and connect. cord. Yeah, so this is the size thirteen Adapt BB two. I think retail was like three fifty yeah. on these, uh, maybe four hundred even. So. Uh, it was the first self-lacing one, wasn't it? Or no, the second se one. The second, second version, yeah. Uh, the better one, uh, to be honest. You like these better? I, I do. I, I, mean, like I think the they were more better. comfortable. I, I like the first ones better. These had a better zoom bag, I would say. The first ones, I think, were just foam all the way through. I have both of the mag colorways. This is the only one uh, I have. But, but yes, Adapt BB2, black silver. Finest is And again, is they do have right a now. scuff on the heel counter there. I'm trying to show as much as I can. Finest there. snags him. Awesome. Cool. 46. Nice to see it. It's oh, fun. Yeah. Sometimes those are on sale on like Nike, but never like in this size. So it's fun that he's able to hopefully bless you guys out. All right. Let's get to some Adidas stuff. We could just fire this one right up. This is Dawn. the Dawn issue two. Uh, this one. Yeah. Yep. All right. Dawn issue two. Adidas. Comic inspired. Of course, best color size 13 and a half. These are loud. What color is it? Uh, is these it are the Spidey, as you can see. The Spidey, like the launch color, Spidey oh. Sense. Yes, I believe this was the launch colorway. Uh, size 13 and a half, original box, never tried on, brand new. Uh, didn't it's get, live right now for didn't a get these to the court. Fizzy's gonna, Fizzy's on it. Somebody's like, wait a minute, <laughs> size 13, like size 13 and a half. Uh, the box has a it looks a like Marvel, uh, you kind of see. Cool kind of graphic as well, uh, comic inspired. Uh, but this was the launch colorway of the Dawn 2, Donovan Mitchell's uh, signature line, Spidey Sense on the tongue, the Spidey logo on the heel, and like I said, brand new, never tried on. It's crazy. That's at 60 right now. It's a good price. NRC back. Somebody's asking, how do you buy? You want to break that down real quick for them? If you're... Yeah, you have to um, like be a, a preferred uh, buyer, and I don't really know how to set it up for yourself. You, have, I mean, you should be able to go in and, and whatnot and, and select yourself or set yourself up as a preferred buyer. But we have it set up as preferred. That way, we're not stuck waiting for uh, purchases to go through at, at, after the auctions go off. So, um, should follow the instructions. I don't know. I yeah. I really can't help you do that part of it. But um, but it's pretty easy. Everybody that tries it, they say it's pretty easy to set it up. Okay. Oh, Sorry, I'm not more helpful. And the 3Ds. Okay. Uh, this is a fun one. This is a Rajon Rondo onto PE, size 14 and a half, um, black and purple for the Kings. We should uh, type in Rondo. No, let's see Rondo. Ah, it should be in there. Oh, there. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's the top ones. Okay, cool. Yep. Is it way? Should yeah. I put... It's got the RR, uh, the, the double R logo on the heel. Uh, it's got the RR on the tongue. I'm and then I believe these are his kids' names, which is cool that they stitched that up onto the collar. Should Pierre and Elise. So we can start this up. Yep. Okay, nice. We're going to start it at a buck. These are brand new, never tried on with the original box. Uh, Rajon Rondo King's PEs from his signature onto line. What does it say on the tongue? Prime? The tongue has his kids' names. Oh, sorry. Yep. Pierre. Is JR still here? Um, JR, where are you at? This might be for you. Yep, there he is. Size 14 and a half, uh, Kings colorway. As you guys know, I'm a huge Kings fan, but just who, never who got to. Who would be comparable to, to uh, a Rondo nowadays, do you think? Oh, that's a tough question. I love Lonzo Ball's game. Unfortunately, he's had so many injuries. Hopefully, he could get right. But I can, I, I would consider them sort of. Winsome said he was a different beast. I agree. He was, yeah, he was Rondo sad. was cold, man. He could control the whole game. These are from the black purple Kings chapter of his career. Uh, I believe I want to say 2015, 16, maybe. That's why you had them. Like, and that's how Kings I got guy. them. Yeah, of course. Kings guy. Uh, size 14 and a half. These are his game size, uh, his player size. And then they have, like I said, the RR logo on the tongue, his kids' names, RR logo on the heel. And then they have a, you can kind of see a carbon shank as well uh, through the midfoot there. So super nice shoe. 
in person seeing them, like the the antas are antas are like really well made. Dude, they make Surprising. nice stuff. Yeah, they make good stuff. Shoe man, shoe man. All right, man, congrats, man. It's a fun, fun random pair. I think you have more. He has a. I think he has a lot of the anta. Is it anta or anta? Anta. Anta. There's a lot. Some other ones down there. What was the request you sent? Got the Gato slides and the 3Ds. Oh, let's do the Gato slides. This is these are sick. All right, these are the Gato slides G-A-T-F. from like 2012 Whoa. or 13, maybe. Those uh, are crazy. Long before the I the injection the injection trend of what we're seeing now. But uh, I wore these I think once or twice. You can see they're pretty pretty uh, new on the outsole. These are a size 12. I just started the auction, guys. Because you don't wear them without socks, so they do fit. To me, they fit fine if you are a 13. The Crocs before the Crocs almost. Yeah, I mean, these were injection before that was a thing, and you can see they got kind of a cutaway. Um, swoosh on the forefoot. Black and kind of an apple green outsole. These are live, guys. <clears throat> I think, is this a free bottom? Uh, technically, sure. It is a free, a free inspired outsole. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Um, so these are cool. They've just been sitting here ever since, but I always liked the design. That's awesome. Fizzy sees a six, $6 value right here. I don't know what retail was on them, but I, mean, I think retail might've been like 60 bucks. So it wasn't that much, but a uh, cool design for the price. It's got a little bit of an indoor soccer kind of vibe to the design. Uh, very comparable to some of the indoor soccer stuff from Nike at that time. Honestly, some are ready, bro. Yeah. Fire these up for the pool for sure. Yeah. Good alternate to some wave runners. It's like you like have that, to wear the, runners, I should say. If you have to wear the Nikes, this is like the one where it's like Yeah, I, these are fresh. People are like, what are those? And then they see the switch, you're like, oh yeah, they're the Nikes. The gotchas. Hefty lefty. Somebody said the coolest dad in the neighborhood. With these. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> trying to do. Uh, that's funny. Tall white socks is a wild look with these, but <laughs> however you want to rock. I'll do it, them, I'll do you it. Know, do your thing. I, I always do socks and crocs. And then for that question <laughs> earlier, we had somebody answered you just to be a verified buyer, you have to input your info and payment uh, now. Yeah, it might, uh, just it might ahead be, of time. Yep. Yeah, you can do it and get it verified in like one minute, though. I think you just have to take a picture of yeah, your you license could, or something. You could do it during this auction for sure. Yeah, we're going to be running it for I mean, we're going till probably well, as long as you guys are here, as long as we got hours, three hours before got to slides. Congrats. Is it Miss Hank or M Shank? I don't know. <laughs> Congrats, regardless. Uh, I'm terrible at these. I'm not good at reading. That's funny. All right, this is the trainer threes. We can fire this up. I believe these have a reserve. Yep. Yeah. All right. Trainer three, uh, worn once, but super, super great condition outsole. I mean, uppers, uppers in perfect shape. White navy with the emerald green uh, kind of accents throughout. Not that color. Yep, these, these are smooth. Come with extra laces these are too. smooth. Yeah, and they do have sweet. a the alternate uh, emerald lace as well. Very clean shoe. If you're a Seahawks fan. What's on the back of the tongue? Uh, There's like a date. There is a date. I don't know what that date is. I should know that. Has the PEs? <laughs> you don't even know. There's a date. Um, no one had them. Uh, got a little, little speckled collar you could see. Oh, and then right. that runs all the way through on the new buck. <laughs> But trainer three to oh, me, no bid. All right, Neptune green. These in this trainer SC trainer two are probably my favorite. Yeah, we might run them later. Yep. Yeah, we have time. Ooh, if new, let us know. Yeah, you got any requests? Uh, Ooh. Oregon, uh, those trainers, right? Trainers? trainers, they just asked for Oregon in general, but yep. it's the closest thing. All right, these are actually a size 10. These are just part of my part of my Oregon collection I was rolling with, but these are the Oregon colorway of uh. The Air Max Trainer Ones, I believe, from 09. Brand new, never tried on. Uh, you kind of see clear outsole there. We can start this up. Uh, just clean outsole as well. All right, auction's live. And it, oh, like Jeff says, the last, uh, the last Oregon colorway. Yep. Size 10. Size 10. Brand new. Got the clean suede toe, metallic finish on the green. Uh, obviously inspired by some of the helmets of what they've been rocking uh, with that with that kind of sheen to it. And this is a size ten. Yep, sweet. Yeah, All right, we're gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna add those in real quick. Yep. Uh, Zoom flight club sample. 
comes with the tags even. Yeah. Does QF8 last? Uh, Mikey Flight Club. Is there a way you can move this up just slightly? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. This? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's fine. And then Zoom f Flight Club sample? Yep, size nine. It's just one shoe, but it's like a, you know, just a display piece. All right, this is a just the one side, the left shoe sample. Uh, this was a sample that I got a hold of because we were doing the Flight Club collab back in 09 for Soul Collector. And this colorway never came out. You kind of see it's got this rubberized texture. All right, giveaway started. Clear toe is a little yellowed and then the clear outsole on the heel. And these actually had a visible uh, heel zoom bag, which was pretty fresh. And if you don't know, this is the Zoom Flight Club because it combines what I think are three of the best flight shoes, the Flight 89, the Zoom Glove, which was Gary Payton's shoe, and then the Hyper Flight, which you can kind of see through the collar here. Um, so this was a fresh uh, remix shoe they did that was designed by Jason Petrie uh, back in 09. Awesome shoe, awesome design, size nine sample. Um, yeah, so giveaways up. Go ahead and, and get in, guys. If you're watching the stream, just go ahead and enter. Anybody should be able to enter. You have to be following... Um, the account for one, and then I enabled international as well. So we'll ship international if you guys win. Uh, so get in and... Um, and I agree with JR. The Fun Police was a sick design too. So, And then as it is a sample, it also includes the sample tag. It's a look-see. Uh, so yeah. yeah. It's a look-see sample. Yep. Kind of nice. So size nine, just the left. Um, do you know the difference? Can you explain the difference between a look-see and a regular sample? Or do you know? Is it look-see? The, the look-see is just around the materials. It's like a look yeah, to a, see a early about, look. Yeah. And yeah. they have a kind of see like a new buck toe. Again, this sort of kind of cool rubberized material. So then they see what it looks like with yeah. those materials and then they get them in hand and then they say yes or no, whether or not they're going to actually go to production with that type of shoe. And then some cases like this, they didn't end up going to production probably with the suede on it. They might've changed something up. Yeah, and they also have sort of a woven, you can kind of see a woven seat. So we could, we could run this. Yep. All right. We're going to draw the winner three, Two, one, get in, guys. Three, two, one. Good luck. All right, run it. Seeing What's some, good, Grove? Seeing some familiar names in there. That's cool. Yeah, it, it does remind me of Gary Payton as well. Obviously, the glove. Yeah. Very cool. Tyson. All right. Yeah, it shows Congrats, Tyson. earlier on me than maybe what you guys see. Tyson. <laughs> yeah, you spoiled yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I might have seen it before you guys do. Sometimes it, it works like that. All right. Let's move it on. We have some more Let's options. Lots and lots of stuff to, to, to run through. These so. are fresh. Oh, I, nice. I, I wanted to keep these actually, but <laughs> um, the these alpha? are the street. Oh, yeah. The vapor street. Type of vapor. Yep. I do have. I remember. And we can start this up. Okay. Size 13, as you can see, olive, black, and then an off white midsole. Uh, this is one of the earlier um, with the with the winged or the winged heel, one of the earlier sort of vapor running shoes that Nike had done. And this is the fly knit version uh, all through the upper. Pretty simple upper, but uh, as you guys know, that whole vapor and 4% next percent line this is, the react, is, line this is the pretty react fresh. Version, I think? No, nah, these have, uh, yeah, it might be the react. I, I don't think that these, this one, this these, one was the, the I don't think street it's a, version. I don't think it's a Zoom X. No, nah, this is a yeah. street version with react. And right. then the, the vapor is with them. So we've got a winner. That wow, wow, was quick. Nice. Congrats. Super easy. I think those retail at 180. Actually, I yeah. remember. Specifically, yeah, those retail at a buck eighty. That was a nice one. They were a little too narrow for my feet, but honestly, all right, super squeaky. Pin three. Oh, they should be in there. If not, uh, did you put those in, Jeff? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, no, you didn't tell me those. Comments we got. Um, uh, pin three or one. Yeah, use size thirteen. Or OG. Okay. Somebody said, what's the hardest pair you put in the auction? Uh, that's a great question. Probably some of the Zoom Flight 95s, but over the years I had about 30 something pairs of those. So at some point you just got to move on. But those and then um, uh, on Thursday we had the Kobe Reebok questions we put in there, which was a tough one too. Do you think these are wearable? Uh, I don't think they're wearable. So these are an original size 13 uh air penny three but as you can see the airbag is is 
you know, pretty fogged up here. So they are a size 13. Around what year was um, I want to say 1998. Um, and we could fire this up. We're going to start it at one. Okay, clusters item. And I see me too. I don't think, I don't know if they're wearable. The, the heel bag is pretty fogged up. So the heel bag might collapse on you. But this was back when they would use some awesome full grain leathers. Uh, just a sick design with the wave. Another a Eric Avar and Penny shoe, of course. Um, <laughs> somebody said it looks like flying. That's funny. Uh, not, I do not have the original box, but these are size 13 OGs, uh, Air Penny, Air Penny 3s. Definitely a nice relic for somebody yeah. that collects. All right. 26. B-ball player. Congrats. Congrats, man. What else we got? If I, I mean, if they were using my size, it's like, dude, it's such an OG These all classic. Are right now. Yeah. Love it. Uh, let's fire through some hoops. Well, I'm, I'm hungry, too. Bring me some flan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We can fire these Those up. Those aren't in. Uh, we just add them earlier. Sure. Uh, Zoom Freaks. Oh, yeah. Are we sure we don't have this? Oh, we do. Yeah. We have a bunch of ones. Yep. Yep. Fire okay. these right through. All right. These are Zoom Freak ones. Giannis is Sig. Great design. Black and white. One of the first colorways they launched. I wore these twice to hoop in. Size 13 with the box. Uh, to me, I think of all the freaks, I think the freak one was the best one off top. But That's kind of dope. Did you just ever a meet simple, Giannis? Uh, did I did not. My boy Aaron went to Greece actually for that event. I was not there. Um, Disrespect. I've been around that dude a bit, but these are sweet. What uh somebody said the three D's, yep. Oh yeah, the three D's are oh kick. Uh man. What's what's good, man? Again, size 13. I played in these twice, so they are worn, and I got the OG box as well. And we got a winner. All right. Congrats. All right, let's let's have some fun with this one. Those are probably the, my yeah. favorite ones. All right. This one. Yo, this is this get, one we got to explain a little brace bit. Brace yourselves, bro. <laughs> this, this is a, a size nine, 3D printed prototype of what eventually became, as you guys know, the 3D and 4D line of Adidas uh, running Craft. shoes that they yeah. did through the Future Crafts. Yep. Um, these are size nine sample, never worn, brand new, um, and you could. I'm trying to show as much detail as possible, but you could see just how intricate that is. It's kind of crazy because they got all these brake lines on here. Um, I don't know if they're, they're wearable. Supposed to flex. Wear I, yeah, I wouldn't say they're wearable because it's so, super brittle feeling. Like They're supposed to be wearable, but it is a different... Oh, it so is just the design. Yeah, it? there's they're, you can kind of see these brake parts in here where it's supposed to have some give to it if you do wear them, but this is a prototype of... Um, they eventually used a different material altogether uh, for what became the whole 4D line. Uh, so this one is a more... 3D printed, true, like resin based, I think. Uh, so we could start this up. I it think says there sample is sample in the middle too, on the, on the yeah, back and the collar. On the inside, the sample, and then it comes with a slip bag. Uh, that hey, Tyson, sample. appreciate you throwing the tip in. Any tips go straight to, to Nick's charity, so you guys know. So much, straight much to my Sutter Middle School basketball teams. I appreciate all that, of course. And again, I uh, appreciate everybody that's been copping stuff throughout the auction because it is going to be going. We're going to run this one to the hoop teams there. And we could start this up. There is a 150 reserve, but. Just know, Let's guys, see, that see how crazy this like is. Like I, this is the first shoe that I took out of the bag, and I was like, I, I need these, but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't end up uh, taking them. Kick poster, posters, seize it, man. Th these things were selling for thousands back in the day. Yeah, thousands back in 2015, 16, they were going for, they were going for a bit. It's just I've, like I've the, been holding on to them. The coolest, like, uh, like piece of history for the pre. 40 wave that that happened yep kick posters is taking it right now at a 150 oh. which is shocking he's, i'm glad he's gonna get these yeah i appreciate it oh, i'm, oh, I'm super happy it goes to you man yeah um yeah, i'm sad that I, yeah that might be Do the, not resell of the day. those joints yeah <laughs> those things are those are crazy i'm so salty that i didn't uh that i didn't snag those but i'm happy they went to the right person Dang. i saw Dang. you i think you, that's you popped up. that's dan right dan, yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I think you popped up on the Congrats, IGN, man. but I can't answer it right now because my phone's being used. Um, all right. These are Under Armour. I'm shook by that. I can't believe that price. It's crazy. Micro. Type in DeAndre. We put these in there? DeAndre. Ah, I thought we did. All right. No, damn. We didn't. All right. Fire it up real quick. Uh, Under Armour Torch. DeAndre Jordan PE. Size 13, though.
Eight, Man, a great steal on those on those protos, by the way. That's sick. Uh, no, DeAndre, DeAndre uh, Jordan. I probably didn't spell that right. Yep. Sorry. And then size 13. That's right. Are these released with colorway or no? Uh, PEs. They're new. Yep. I can't believe that price is still. I, <laughs> I should have just crazy. offered you, bro. <laughs> All right. This is a DeAndre Jordan Under Armour Torch PE. Uh, I don't know if this was the exact colorway he wore when he had the Brandon Knight dunk, but it might have. I think this was the model he was wearing. Uh, they got the DJ six oh, on the tongue. What do you? What's the minimum? Uh, I mean, what? six is fine. We can start at six. six. <laughs> I'm gonna start right. Yeah, we can start this up. And uh, DeAndre is a size, I think, sixteen. These are a size thirteen. So this is a sample of his PEs. Uh, size thirteen Clippers colorways, Lob City era. Uh, I think this, I got to double check, which I won't be able to do in 20 seconds, but I think this was the model he was wearing when he had the brand the night dunk. And as you guys know, they did the DeAndre dunk face not long after that. Um, they are brand new in the box, sample box, of course, uh, never tried on, just photographed at the time. DeAndre Jordan, Torch PEs. He had a blue colorway on. He had a blue colorway of these on. It, no, it might be a different model. Different it has, model? A, has a side Under Armour logo. Got it. But either way. Shoe man's on right now for 48. <laughs> kind of like an Iron Man looking shoe. Yeah, a yeah. little Great. silver, red, yeah. and, and royal. DJ6 on the tongue. Uh, like I said, brand new, size 13 with the box. Never tried on. They got kind of a, you can kind of see like a, a dot a dot graphic all throughout the upper as well. Yeah. Sweet. Congrats. Small. Hey, <laughs> Smalley, nine 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 nine. Congrats, man! All right, let's add those in. If not, the flyies. Let's add those, and I'm gonna start to grab a couple things. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I got Do we have any other requests? Just for stuff we don't have, like just people making up their own things. Yeah, I'll let you know. Um, what, what do we start? Is it down to a dollar? Uh, no, it's to a hundred almost. The so, retail is like the retail is one twenty. I don't oh, know. Was it? Okay, I mean, maybe maybe six again. Yeah, they, this I was mean, the launch color. Oh, I don't know if anybody. Well, yeah. I can do it a hundred, but that's fine. So yeah, start six. All right, size twelve. There's twelve fives. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. These are a size twelve five. The very first launch color of the Go Fly Ease. Uh, this was during the pandemic, so I just wore them around the house, and then I wore them outside once. So you can kind of see the outsole there. Pretty brand new, but we little, got request, little pebbles. We got requests for the NASCARs yep. and the Parley Ultras. Sweet. Okay. So original box, again, size 12.5. And then uh, Go Fly Ease. Awesome shoe. As you don't, if you don't know, they, you pop the heel in. And you can just throw them on. And Nick said this is a launch color, one of the launch colors. Yeah, one That's of the launch colors. Dope. Makes so. it a little bit extra. All right. And the Jackie ba nice. Jackie Clates. Got it. Let's do those. Ones. Yeah. Where are those at? Jackie Clates, NASCARs, and... All right, we just got a request. These are awesome. These are the Adidas. Uh, if you type in Jackie, it should pop up. Uh, this baseball. Yeah, that one. Yep. Uh, we can start this up. These are Adidas Afterburner baseball cleats uh, with Jackie Robinson inspired graphics all throughout. That's pretty fire. Uh, if you guys don't know, Adidas partnered with the Jackie Robinson Foundation and redid the baseball uh, field and facilities at his high school, which was a cool gesture. And these were made, I think, in tandem with that uh, activation. So they've got the 42 embroidery uh, on the on the inside. There's like a wool all throughout. The quality is crazy. What's retail on that? I don't know if they. I don't know if they released or what. I'm not going to say they were. I mean, I think this. Yeah, my guess is they did release, but um, probably went with an element of the money going to that school. But uh, the quality on these is cool. They got a graphic all throughout of Jackie uh, on both sides and then some text as well all throughout. Good. In person, they look really nice. So, yeah, very cool. Very cool cleat. Obviously, an important figure in sport. Just another reminder for you guys, too. If you guys buy more than 
uh, like one item, the shipping is drastically reduced on the next item. So if you did buy one already, um, look at the shipping when the, the items are popping up and see what it is because you can save a little bit of money. Better than like eBay and anywhere NASCARs else. So. and the Adidas Parleys. Okay. In the auto or the parlor? Yeah, the, I'm going to have to get the uh, top box. It's crazy on these. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, these are the Adidas Harley Ultra Boosts. Man, these are hard. I wish they did like a gray or a black color on these, but UB21. UB21. Uh, size 14. We can start this up. Uh, brand new. Uh, actually, never tried on. I really like the design, but I don't wear white shoes, and that's all it came down to. So that's why these are in here. <laughs> but uh, as you guys know, Ultra Boosts are mad comfortable. Uh, this upper is a little more of a. What I thought was a cooler upper, cooler design. You got some bonded elements, uh, some kind of alternate laces there in terms of eyelets. The retail is 190, 180, and then, I think. Uh, on those. The Parley and Adidas tandem logo on the heel there. So size 14 with the box, brand new. Somebody might be getting these for a great price. Yeah. Uh, these are sweet. It's a great design. Has an LEP system in there. Got the Parley uh, insole as well, and then kind of a royal blue accent through the outsole. Summer uh, ready, dude. Very fresh shoe, very cool design, size Big 14. Big EPC's value. Yep. Brand new in the box. Um, Parley is the partner that does all the different activations around recycled content and uh, different environmental friendly activations throughout the world. Big Salvino. All right. Big, congrats, man. Congrats. That's a comfy shoe, man. You're going to love it. Out. Sweet. Thank you. Um, I need to find... We'll get to those soon here. Let's fire up. We're going to do some Anta stuff real quick. We got some requests for, we can fire these up. Uh, we got some requests for the Gordon Hayward, which I will say are, are, cra are crazy from a packaging standpoint. Uh, so this is the KT5. Yep, that one. All right, these are KT5 Pros, size 13, gray white. Awesome hoop shoe. KT's Clay Thompson. For those Clay Thompson, yeah, sorry. <laughs> for those that Clay don't know. Thompson's Anta line. Uh, they have the shank there. They got the clear outsole. These are never tried on. Uh, fully knit upper. And then they have this sort of shrouded uh, tongue. You can see Clay's signature along with Clay's logo on the underside. Gray white. Uh, brand how much, new. Do you, with, how much are those retail for? You? I want to say retail is 140 or 150 on these. Um, the Pro is an upgraded version. They have a, a regular KT5 that is uh, a little less in terms of retail price, but the Pro is what they do as the upgraded every year. I swear, after all these, I'm going to buy a pair of Vontas. I'm after telling you, man. These. They look I, dope, honestly. The, the KT Light Too Low might be one of my favorite hoop shoes. They got some great stuff. So this is the KT5s. The, the, the DePaula basement effect, bro. <laughs> I'm, gonna have to, I'm like looking at all these crazy ones. I'm like, man. Good, yeah, good brand. All right. Yeah, congrats. For the foams. Just the Vega. The what? The foams. The 2009 congrats, foam samples. We're, we're rapid firing all these guys. He, yeah, we have, have, have a lot of this stuff listed yeah. in the... Um, the auctions for those are wondering if you want to see some of the other stuff coming up. But he has more stuff in here, obviously, than we've been adding. So it's we've got a lot of stuff to fire through. So and like we were saying too, if you got a request, just let us know. We'll try to from, try to grab them. Probably says Cole Air Max. From the auction list. From the auction list. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't just go grab some new stuff. Either. But if you got it from what's listed, let us know. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a foam posit light, as you can see. It's got the sample tag. Oh, yeah. uh, these are black and blue, size thirteen. Uh, I wore these, I want to say twice to hoop in, so you could see a little bit of scuff there. I mean, I want to start. Um, you started that buck. Okay. Yeah. And we'll get this rolling. So, uh, as you can see, the outsole, pretty clean. Uh, worn twice, like I said, inside to hoop in. These are the Kryptonates, too. And by then the way. this, I was going to say, you Sorry. know, the, the, <laughs> the model, you know, the model is most known, of course, in the neon Kryptonite colorway. It was the first thing James said earlier when he saw him. Yeah. Uh, but this is the Black Royal. Is As you guys know, Black and Royal is, is a, a little sticky on yeah. And yeah. then the aging, you kind of see, these are from 09. So the the heel clip there on both and the shank. This is sticky. A little bit, bit of aging yeah. on there. But, it comes uh, with the materials. But yeah, it's, Hefty it's, Lefty gets it for a 99. So sweet. show him the tag real quick, too. So we can see yeah. what he's getting a promo. It's like the, the promo sample on the tag. And again, so. the promo the promo label there. Sample tags on the yeah. inside as well. Very Congrats, cool. man. That's a good buy. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's that a steal. I'm going to do another onto just so we can get to the, the Gordon Hayward, which is a wild package. 
Um, all right, this is a another Rajon Rondo PE. The white one? Um, the white Lakers, yeah. The, uh, one is... that, the bottom one. Yep. Oh, those look nice. Good. You said what? Those look nice. Yeah, Man. These are fresh. Yeah. All right, this is a Rajon Rondo signature shoe with Anta uh, when he was on the Lakers. Uh, RR on the heel. You know. Um, again, his kids' names. That's cool. They added that. Um, his kids' names down the tongue tabs, and then the nine on the on the toe. Uh, these are kind of a clear outsole with the with the shank. You can see all the way through it. Uh, this is a nice shoe. We just started. And a knit upper as well. Uh, we can start this up at a buck. Yep. Sorry. And then even on the heel counter, you can kind of see the detail. Got the the double R logo. So, so nice nice Rondo line there had there. This was a size thirteen, like I said. So he is a size 14 and a half. 13 is what they, they made an extra pair in. He is, this is not his game size, but uh, this is from his Lakers run with Anta. Fire. What, um, what did that model retail at, do you think? I think these were like 130. Not bad. So who has yeah. a better line? The that's, Rondo? That's tough. Because <laughs> the Rondo stuff, actually, his game shoes were always a lot like upgraded and a uh, lot different, whereas the clay stuff, like the pro versions, are, are killer to hoop in. Um, I would say the Ron like all the Rondo pairs I ever saw and got and that got sent to me were like they got carbon fiber shanks like they were yeah. mad upgraded. You know? uh, if we did the Laker joints like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, the prices would have been crazy. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, future proven it for next year. Right. Welcome Goodbye. back, man. Goodbye. Word is back. Good to see you in here again. We ran a show the other day and and he was in here along with some of the other guys, so we appreciate you for being in. Yeah. All right, this is a fun one. Hold on a second. I mean, these pure are, entertainment. These are crazy. All right. Oh, this is this. This one. is crazy. So I actually was sort of I got roped into this one because Anta was trying. So when Gordon Hayward got uh, when he signed or was it a trade? Yeah, when he got when he signed with the uh, Hornets, uh, NASCAR is actually based in Charlotte. So they tried to do a, a NASCAR official collab, and that's what these are. Um, so as you can see, this is a GH2. These are a size. Is it GH1 or 2? Uh, GH2s. So yep, sorry two. about that. Okay, no worries. Um, okay. Yeah, so this is a GH2, size 13 and a half. Uh, it says go hard on the on the, across the, the midfoot band there. And then the whole upper is kind of a um, a sublimated synthetic. You can kind of see with the, with the skyline, I believe, of Charlotte. And then it's got the NASCAR flags. But... This is the the box that it comes in, but there's actually an alternate box which is which is nuts, which is uh, literally like <laughs> a, so a, a Hot Wheels inspired, <laughs> yeah. um, and it's two different sides. So it's a Hot Wheels inspired. This like one's banged up. Yeah, this yeah. is a little bit smashed on this. Side. So what? This banged up. Just, just show them that. Just have to be reset. Oh, okay. We'll say that. But yeah, it's a display piece basically, uh, GH2 with the Anta logo. Uh, and it has you know Gordon Hayward here on the side, so we can start this up. Um, size 13 and a half again. That's fire. The shoes are brand new, never tried on. Um, and the onto the, the Gordon Hayward stuff is nice to hoop into, but this is the GH2s. Is that his size? Uh, I believe he's a 14, but so maybe these were run as a sample of an alternate size, but they are a size 13.5. You can only drive on the left side of the room in these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's um, and then again, they got sort of a racing inspired, you know, decal number 20 on the heel. Um, there's some cool details on the, on the Gordon Hayward it stuff looks... as well. The outsole is inspired by a tiger print. Oh, someone said Butler blue and Indy 500 flag. Oh, yep. Fire. Yeah. And then the you can kind of see the state of Indiana icon with the basketball uh, groups throughout it. The upper is crazy too. The the city is like yeah. It shifts. All right, congrats. Fun is it like shift when you move? Yeah. Oh, look at that shifting city right there. That's dope. Uh, uh, sorry. Kajalian. Fine. Congrats, man. That's All a right. fun one. Yeah, those are wild. Super crazy. Yeah. I love when brands go way, way, way over yeah. the top. Of yeah, that's crazy. Of the package. Yeah. All right, let's get through a couple of uh, just kind of hoop stuff. These are the John Elliott LeBrons. They actually have the LeBron 8 bottom. Um, they are brand new, never tried on. This is, is this this one? Uh, yep. This is not on the yep. box. Then. Yep. This is not the box, though. Uh, that box. Correct. Yeah, they do not have the original box, but they are brand new, size 13s. Yeah, just double check that. They still should be in there. 
Yeah, yeah. there. I just yep. had to put it right box the right. So they got you can kind of see, but they got a translucent toe in parts of it, and then there's an embroidery over, and then the midfoot as well. Uh, Auctions live for anybody interested. These were a collab with John Elliott. Obviously, he makes great sweatpants, and uh, they also did some apparel as part of that too. Crazy. The leather liner is kind of nice in those too. Really nice. There is a leather liner. Good call. I know. I have the a materials pair of those. are nice. <laughs> on these. I have yes. a pair of them. They're really nice materials. Yeah, and they have the airbag from the LeBron Eight, so they got the right. tooling from the LeBron Eight. You got a bid, Mister Chillin. Yeah. Chillin. Right. Congrats, man. Congrats. Once again, if you guys are interested in bidding right now, we have it set up for verified buyers only. So, uh, for those people that bid, they're able to go through really quick, and then we don't have to stop the show a lot so if you're not verified it takes only a second just go through what that process get verified so you can join it on the front that's some more giveaways we're going to do later on as well including like this sample shoe right here and some other things so stay tuned let's uh what do we got next this is the charge controller from under armor uh they should yeah just type in controller yeah we can start this up um this is a size i believe 12.5 yep is that a low top um, and this is a PE that they made for Black History Month, um, I believe 20, I want to say 17. You got a partially clear outsole, and then this really cool uh, faded uh, midsole, and then faded logo as well. Uh, size 12.5. Again, this was the BHM theme that year. Basketball um, shoe, right? Basketball shoe, yep. Um, they got an engineered mesh upper, pretty clean upper. Um, and then, uh, again, partially it's kind of just tinted, but clear outsole as well. These are brand new, never tried on, size 12.5 in the BHM colorway uh, with the fade. Whiskey I want to say they did a Curry 3 uh, BHM that year as well, and these were the part of that pack. Whiskey, where you look, you should be able to bid anywhere in the U.S., Whiskey. Um, you might have to be a verified buyer, though, so check with whatnot and, and look or just type in verified buyer or whatnot or something and then try to get in there anybody else that doesn't see the bid uh, on auction, sure the, has to do the same thing game stuff game stuff and then the converse um westbrook pack okay cool i'm oh, happy to see whiskey all right these are curry three yep black yellow one of the launch colorways i wore these for 40 minutes to play in they are i mean pretty pretty close to brand new looking um you can kind of see the outsole there they have the shank as well uh, and then size 13 with the box. Um, this was the Anifoam model. You start that? Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Um, Done. They got the Bye. yellow camo on the inside, black yellow colorway on the upper, and then you can kind of see the carbon uh, shank there as well. So Curry 3, pretty close to, pretty close to brand new, but worn once uh, with the original box as well. And size 13. Live right now at 66. Andy sees it. Yep. They haven't retro the threes yet either, have they? They retro the one. I, I think. don't think the three might get retro, but the four is my <laughs> favorite one, and they've retro those a bunch. Oh, have they? I think they're doing the ones a lot right now. I did. I saw that. Yeah, the there. ones. The ones. Have been really All right, congrats, cool. Andy. So, so well, uh, Dame twos. Okay, and then can you actually just pull out that? And box? then I'll get. I'll work on yeah. getting that out. Yeah, because it's a massive box. Um, what was the team? Ooh, was it? it was a, uh, it was prime knit, but they, they gave them out at these nations. Okay. Uh, Dame two. Start it. Yep. Uh, all right. We got a request oh, for a Dame two. Uh, these are a size nine, right? Yep. Size nine, no box, uh, never tried on brand new clear outsole. Are those release pair? No. Yeah. Yeah. This was one of my favorite Dame outsoles because the pattern was inspired by his chest tattoo where it says Oakland. And it's the Oakland tree that goes all throughout. Uh, so these were a cool design. Uh, Dame logo on the heel. And then again, these were a knit edition. Uh, it's nice. Which was a clean shoe. But yeah, these this is a good shoe, man. And I don't know if anybody hoops in these, but this is a great shoe to hoop in, too. I had the black red pair and liked them a lot. So this is a size nine, no box. A little glitter in the soles and everything. Dame two from uh, his second signature shoe, the Dame two. I need where you got that, that Dame plug, huh? I need to get. They got the gold metallic gold lace loops. I'm sorry, eyelets locker. and uh, and lace tips as well. Yeah, so the Dame nice. two. Thank you for that. You, Odds be congrats, man. I got. Hold me that towel. Fun, fun pair to be honest. I have one pair of Dame two still, like the glow ones. I I I'm just always gonna keep them just because I always have to have at least one. All right, we're gonna keep it rolling. This one I gotta. Holy might what? take a second. Wait, to, are you doing this? Yeah. All right, this is, we got to back up to show it. This is the Jordan Westbrook 
Converse oh. times Jordan Pack. Um, the box is humongous. And yo, uh, this is crazy. As you can see, it's got the Rust logo on the inside. Pull this back yeah. Two shoes in here. Oh my god. Um, the, the Converse shoe is the Chuck Taylor. These are a size 12.5 Chuck. As everybody knows, Chucks run a little big, so they're a 12.5. Um, and then the outsole is a, I'm sorry, the midsole is a clear, a clear off white. And then the outsole is brand new, never tried on. Um, they do have a crackled sort of texture. And then on the, on the medial side, and then the, the lateral side is a crazy nice leather uh, with an embroidery of zeros in a chain link. And then the heel has studs. So that's the Converse shoe. And again, those are brand new. And then the second shoe in the pack is the Jordan 16. Uh, so they have, again, that same O chain link embroidery. These are a size uh, 13. And I wore these once. So you could see through the outsole. Uh, I wore them to get lunch that day at Matador. It's like lunch one time recall, in Oregon. In, if in I recall. Oregon. <laughs> um, and as you guys know, with the 16, uh, the shroud comes off. And then it's got this cool kind of mesh and sheen. Oh, that's nice. And then it has uh, the Russell Westbrook uh, logo there on the tongue in the silver. So Retail was like 350 on this one, I think. Yeah, this was a... I, actually, I mean, the I box is insane. This, this was a crazy pack. Also kind of caught people off guard that, you know, all of a sudden there was a, a pack for Russ, but also with the 16s in them, which was cool. Um, so these are really sweet. Uh, we're going to start this up. There is a reserve, but we'll start this up and, and let it run. I mean, think about the shipping alone in this. Like, really, you're not paying that much in shipping. I, I don't know what it shows for you guys, especially if you've already won something. Shipping's going to be super low. And so it's an easy, easy dub just for that. I mean, they would cost 60 or 70 bucks probably to ship normally. So, so it's, it's, it's the value. Chucks plus the 16s all in one pack. Yeah, it's pretty rad. Chucks have the alternate lace. Uh, again, the Chucks are a 12.5, which is basically a 13, 13, 5, and then the Jordans are a 13. So it's kind of confusing that they packed them as different sizes, but basically both 13s. That 280 right now. Chizzy, Mr. Lefty back at it again. And again, the Chucks are brand new. The 16s are worn once for two hours. It was a great lunch. <laughs> <laughs> These are basement ready again, guys. Just take a brush to the bottom, a little cleaner, and you'll get them clean. Happy lefty takes it. All right. Congrats, man. Just the savings alone on the on the shipping again on this is going to be nice for you. So enjoy. Hopefully you like those ones. I, those 16s are actually super fresh. I really like, I like the way they yeah. – if you're a Converse Chucks fan too, man, they look, they look really good. Yo. Are you pulling all sorts of crazy stuff, man. Uh, Fun stuff to see. All right. Let's do a quick pack. We had the Billy Hoyle pack earlier. This is a fun feel of pack, I think. Uh, we've got Duke versus UNC. Together or separate? Uh, we'll do these separately, but, uh, yep, that's the Grant Hill, the Dukes. Oh, it says Duck. That's funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, we'll edit that. Duke. It's yep. a lot of typing. Yeah, yeah there then, he is. Uh, <laughs> with box. Yep. And then let's just start it at 20. Okay. Yeah, some of the stuff we should just start at 20 and get it going. All right, so this is part of a, uh, a theme pack that Fila did. This is the Grant Hill Fila 2, at that time called the Fila oh. 96. Uh, this is the Duke colorway. At the white, right now, the white heel, interested. size 13, brand new, never tried on. As you guys know, of course, Grant Hill went to Duke. And these are kind of the clean and classic Duke Royal Blue and White. Nice little sweat on the two. They're live if anybody's interested in the reserves at 20. Brand new with the box. It's kind of nice. And on the box, I don't know if you can see it. It says 96 even on the box. So, yep. oh, it's this. Here, can I show them the box real quick? It says Tobacco Road on it right there. It's tobacco Road. Xavier. Yeah. Fire. 22. We'll take it. Price. All right. Yeah, good price. Definitely. Some and then we'll fire sure. up. The, the complement to that pack, which is the uh, Jerry Stackhouse signature shoe, the Fila Spaghetti. This is in the UNC clean white and Carolina blue colorway. We'll is this, start this sorry, up. Is this the one? Uh, yep, that's it. I just did it at 20. Is that cool? Yeah, it's fine. So we'll start this up. Same thing, 20 bucks. Yeah, it's fire. Brand new, never tried on. 
with the original box. Who, who, who was better, Stackhouse or? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, Stack had a healthier career, but obviously Grant was yeah. a better player. Yeah. But kind of major. But yeah, Stack, I mean, at, at his time in Carolina, he was the man. Baby Jordan, next Jordan. Uh, but these are the Fila Stackhouse White Carolina colorway, part of that Tobacco Road. I mean, you're just saying the Stackhouses are selling more for the Grants. So I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Clean colorway, yep. Uh, All right. Mr. Forever, welcome That's back again. Thank you for that. Okay. What a... That's crazy. Uh, we, so we have requests for the Kobe 7s, the Fusion 4s, the Luca 1s, and the Y3s. Cool. All right, can you take these off? Yeah. All right, so these are the Kobe 7s. This is part of uh, the system, and I did hoop in these. I'm going to show a lot of detail on this one as well because there is... The black yellow colorway the left shoe is pretty pretty good shape there's a couple scuffs on the heel you can kind of see there some scuffs and then the outsole is pretty clean uh, but i did i played indoors in these and then on both sides you could see obviously worn um but on here i must have been jabbing hard that day at 24. i got a scuff <laughs> on the right toe and then this piece right here part of the material actually chipped out so i don't know what was going on that day but i was i was i was going hard i guess but uh this was the kobe 7 and these have the play fast uh insoles in there and then they also come with uh, the interchangeable play strong which is the higher cut with the uh strap top so we'll get this rolling all right. We started at, oh, I was going to start at 24, but that's fine. Oh. It looks like we're trying to, oh, um, he's still trying to run those. Yeah, we can those. start. We can start it. Can you, can you set it, uh, reset the price? Um, I can't. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, did I start it too high? Well, if somebody wants for 124, we meant to start it at 24. But yeah. if somebody wants for 124, you that got it. Bad. If not, we'll reset it after for 24. Give me just a second on the reset. Sorry, guys. No. Chizzy <laughs> says, "Nah, dude, I'm not gonna waste it." There we go. All Honestly, right. this is this is fire by itself. These are and again, new. worn to play in. Right toe got some scuffs, and then right in here, a piece chunked out. Yeah. Oh. Chizzy says, I, "I see the value in them. I mean, honestly, it's a great pair. All right. And they're not gonna. We'll have to rebox. They're them probably not gonna hoop at them like that anymore. So. Luka ones, Y threes." Dame Crazy Lights, Cole Hans. I see those are uh, Mr. Fogate or Fogat, I see you trying that again. It still says pending, just so you know, for the Jordan 11 bread. Um, Lowe's. But, uh, but yeah, if you can, contact your bank and then try to, to clear it. Type of fusion? All right, this was the best of both worlds, allegedly. <laughs> the fusion pack. Whoa, oh, the laser ones. This is the fire red laser, though. Let me start it away. Um, yeah, we can start it, and I believe there's a two. Yeah. These do have a reserve. Uh, man, these are from 2010. Yeah, 2010. 13 years old. This is the fire red. Um, I'm going to show the outsole here. They are lightly worn. You can see the heel there, the stars coming off a little bit. So these are worn. Size 13. Size 13. Uh, with the original box, they do have the airbag there. Oops. Live right now. For Somebody requests them, so they are live right now with the price as the reserve. Nope. Right. All right. No, no takes right now. Luke ones, Y3s, Dame Crazy Lights, Cole Hines. Okay. We'll, uh, we can rerun those later if you guys are interested. Um, if you're requesting them. This, oh, wow. This yeah. is a crazy box. All right. Whoa. All right. So this is. Wait, wait, wait. You got these? <laughs> yeah. What? All right, these are the Luca ones. I'm gonna show the shoes first. Yeah. All right, so Luca ones. Oh my god, I'm like the mids. Lurking came here, out in his colorway. Uh, this was, I believe, a Foot Locker exclusive since 1972 for Nike basketball. Not the Jordan One, of course, was '85. They have a really plush, if you could see it, really plush liner as well. Um, but these came in a special House of Hoops box. So I'm going to show the box here. So they have a, a House of Hoops promo box. And then on the inside, um, it's got a, a special uh, you know, tissue as well. And then there's also a, uh, a sticker pack. 
sticker pack here of different Luca related stickers. So we'll get that one started. Uh, this one does have a reserve as well, uh, but the Luca, the Luca one mids with the promo box house of hoops. I like the mismatched souls. And they do, actually. yeah, the souls are mismatched. Um, and again, brand new, never tried on. Souls are mismatched along with the swoosh. So one side's, uh, would you say purple? Yeah. One purple. side's green, yep. They're live if anyone wants them. Chizzy. Chizzy, on it again. Chizzy, hopefully the shipping is good for you, man. Like five bucks, I think. We got fine. We got fun. Big, we got fine refrigerator box from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got some other bids going. Again, with the promo box, Luca Ones, brand new Jordan One Mid. And they got a, a patent leather swoosh on both sides. I was sold by alternate. the stickers. And he and Hess was up on the stickers. Yeah, yeah that's funny. Yeah. I made it official. Made it official. Here's it going. Going. Not something you see every day. Yeah. And, and again, somebody's like, oh, you got the mids. I mean, yeah, but this is the look of mids. It's fire. Again, the special tongue tab, which alternates colors as well. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like when they do that. They, yeah. they did a good job. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Dang. What'd you say? Congrats, cheers. cheers. Y3s, damn crazy lights on Cole Hans. Y3s. Is that the, the QRs? Yeah, it must be. Okay. And the Cole Hans are the... Those are the Y3s right there. And the yeah. And the crazy light. Um, all right. This is a fun one. These are fresh. These are fresh. I just don't get dressed up enough for these. But the this MXG? is... Uh, no. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> this is the Kohan Atmos collab. Um, oh, yep. All right. These are these are funky. They got different animal prints throughout the upper, along the toe, on the side. Atmos logo there on the yeah. heel, and then the lunar. I gotta add. We don't have these. The only oh, one we, we put them? in are the Kohan Air Max G. Ah, that's, so that's what, what they I was want. asking. Yeah. Okay. So I'll grab those too. That's that. You want box. me to do these ones first? Yeah. Right? Say Kohan times Atmos size uh, 13. 13. Brand new. Yep. yep. Starting 20. 20. Sorry. Cool. Lots All of, right. And then I have to type it in. Um, okay. Cool. All right. We'll fire this up. All right. Again, we got the Atmos logo, the lunar midsole, and then the, the animal print, sort of a zebra and a cheetah. I'm going to say, uh, yeah. with the alternate lace. What's retail on those, you think? Man, I, think, I don't know what retail was. Maybe 150 maybe 200 I think there were twos. I upgraded insole as well. Uh, with the, with the straw. With the, with the straw in there. <laughs> uh, these are fresh. You could get a fit off in these for sure. I have a pair of those. Those are great. Not that one. Not this one. And again, no. brand new and never tried on. It's a wing OX model. For Got those the wing wondering. tip, yep. With the wingtip, with the with the animal oh, print. Somebody big's gonna get a steal on these ones. Hefty Lefty's gonna get a steal. Just kidding. I mean, this is like summer logo. ready. Show up at the wedding with the Atmos. Yo, at a wedding, these yeah, would go hard. Those would go. And the bride scooping bride mate, bridesmaids up. And this, I should. I might have so. wanted to keep these. I might have got this. <laughs> these are these are fresh. Nick's picture himself scooping up the bridesmaids. Got something <laughs> off of we got a funny party. Yeah, yeah, I could have got this off. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty fire, honestly. Be a classic one once. Yeah, that's exactly what it would have been. Yeah. All right, hefty lefty, congrats. Congrats, man. These are smooth. All right, this was the Kohan shoe that was actually requested. These are crazy. Kohan had a short-lived time uh, where they had a thing called the G series. This was when Nike owned them. They don't own Nike. Uh, Nike doesn't own them anymore. But these are all laser cut. And then a, it's an Air Max 97 bag and then a different outsole. Uh, these are worn, size 13, in the box. I want to say retail is 400 These The leather, I can't even – hopefully you guys can see, but the leather is insane on these. That's wild. And it's a true laser cut um, with the mesh in, uh, on, on the underside. Uh, Air Max 97 bag, I want to say these are from like 06, 07 maybe. Those are crazy. And then they got the leather insole as well. Uh, six outsole, shoe. Wait, so the outsole is a cool Han with the, the airbag and the 97? Yep. That's yeah, so it's its own. Mesh. It's a, it's a different outsole. Again, these are worn size 13, but the but it does have an Air Max 97 bag in it. 
Uh, you can kind of see the Max 97-esque midsole. And then the crazy, it's almost like an oiled uh, leather. The leather is nice with the laser cut. So we can start this one up. I love I love being here and seeing stuff like this. I mean, as somebody that loves sneakers and knows pretty much a good amount about Regular pairs I've never seen. Yeah, those. this is a shoe people don't fire. like. People don't even know the G series probably no, happened. So dumb. Um, but and I have the, Cole Hans. Yeah, but the G play. series combined, um, you know, it's basically like airbags and different materials from Nike Classics, and then just a whole crazy design language of elevated materials. That's pretty dope. So these are these are sick. And then they got this kind of apple green accent on the heel tab, and then also on the uh, on the eyelets as well. Which are kind of hidden from the side, but you if can I, kind of see that little that little peak of green. So thirty five right now, guys, is going. If I saw those at Goodwill, I'd be like, "What in the heck? These are yeah. crazy!" But G Series Cole Hans. Yeah. What is the retail on those? You think two? Yeah, I believe retail okay. was four hundred. Okay. Thirty nine so, Jordan. Great one purchase. Squad. These are sick. Nice work, man. These are hard. Love to see it. What was the other request? Uh, the crazy lights and the uh, Y three. I seriously like. I'm like those, those are crazy fire. Lights, so I actually dangerous. really like that. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. All right, we had the Malik Monk and ones earlier, and this is in that same category. This is a what if shoe. Um, so these were made in 2014. This is a size nine sample of the PEs that were made for Dame, for Damian Lillard, and uh, it was Team USA. So unfortunately for Dame, he was the final cut of that Team USA roster in 2014, um, which I want to say was in Spain. Yeah, they played in Spain. Um, so that was Team USA, and as you can see, it's got Dame with the three stripes across the one tongue, and then USA across the other tongue. Uh, this is the Crazy Light Boost uh, from that same year, 2014, and then brand new, never tried on, on the outsole, size 9. These do have a, a reserve price as well, but again, this is, and they do have the sample tags here as well. Uh, this is one of those shoes that just is a what-if shoe. Yeah. That was made for a team that you know Dame did not unfortunately make, but uh, they had to they had to plan early. <laughs> Should have. I think yeah, I think D Rose got, got that last spot. Um, I'll start. You want me to start this one? We can start this one. Yeah. All right, I'm starting it with the reserve on it. Uh, Osby, uh, the Pete Carroll's Monarchs did go through last live stream. Yep. And um, who else? And then another detail they have Dame. You can kind of see there on the sidewall of the midsole as well. Wow, the three stripes. So it's Dame, but then the E is a three stripes. What's um, up, Odds? Uh, OB, what's crazy what's like boost? That's who requested them. Yeah. So we got two requests. Cool. Nice. Uh, and then again, both sides got the sample tags yeah, with the sample as tags. well. Oof. Um, you want them? Yeah. All right. See it. Just love to see it. That's a request we like there. You want something? Let's see it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's a nice one, honestly. Um, all right. Let's fire through. Uh, just, just like Y3s were requested. It's yours? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, I'm trying to remember those are down at the bottom there. So. Oh, those look, well, that's not that same Y3. We have more than one. What was that? There's a Y3 back there, but it's not that one. No, those aren't. Uh, that's not the right box. Oh, okay. Those are crazy. Like, uh, they're crazy BYWs. Monte PEs. Uh, Monte PEs. Monte, Monte and one PEs. Is it the ME8s? I don't know. You just said Monte and one PEs. Okay. But, Oh, that's the sample size nine yeah. sample. Wait, we'll figure that out. Yeah. All right, we got a request for these. This is the Boost uh, QR Y3 edition. These are a size twelve, but uh, to me Y3 runs big, so it's closer to a probably a twelve five. This is through two years. Um, oh, it says it says. Oh, that's yeah. both. My bad. Yeah, no, sorry. Worries. Yeah, that's them. <laughs> so size twelve. It's a size twelve, okay. but they run big. I think. Okay. Good. No worries. Um, okay. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just get these rolling. All right. Well, retail is so, probably 350s, I bet, huh? Uh, yeah. Why three so expensive? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, man. retail was, yeah, I think 350 on these. As you can see, they got the, the olive upper with the elastic, um, really cool suede toe. And, I, right and, now, I, and, I, and I did wear these, I want to say just a couple times, but they're pretty pretty damn good condition. I want to say these are from 2015. Can I see one of these? Yeah. So is it and then they got the four foot boost, uh, which you could see oh, yeah, yeah. here as well. So it's not encased boost. Crazy though. nice full grain leather. Uh, you got the molded Y3 clip well, and then the show olive. Them the, show them the leather pad on the sole. Oh, the, that's and the outsole has a leather. Yeah, uh, that's I've never a leather seen that. pad with the Yoji Yamamoto sign off. That's dumb. Um, and then the heel. 
it's probably a lot of, there's probably five different materials on the shoe, but the heel has sort of a patent heel counter and then a at 62 a right now. He's gonna take it 62 triple. That's a steal, C -C 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 man. Enjoy these. That's a great shoe. Yeah, that's a great price, honestly. Only Nick's basement. All right, love it. These are quick. We can start this right now. These are size 12 chucks. Started at five and just let it run. The nylons, yep. Okay. Size 12, which runs like a 13. Um, worn once you can kind of see on the outsole there okay. they're uh, live right now and it is it is like a military flight jacket inspired so yeah. it's a it's an olive nylon but then orange accents this was not long after undefeated was really milking that colorway a lot and uh so that was kind of it's not an official undefeated shoe but it's in that sort of undefeated uh colorway that we'd seen from then often okay. um it's got the suede collar and again so that's 17 right now. One one's pretty new. Great kick around shoe. Happy to get these off to somebody that's going to rock them. There we nice. go. Nice. Busy taking it. Didn't mention, but they come with the alternate white lace too. It's nice. Solid. Solid buy. The what? The hardened heels. Hardened ones. Uh, Sims? Yeah. The hardened right. ones. We've got a request for the hardened one. This is the Gila Monster colorway with the salmon toe. We can start this up. I believe there's a reserve, yeah. right? Um, and these are, are they brand new? Worn once. Worn once. You can kind of see there through the outsole. Uh, nice. Uh, Shank's nice. I would bid on these if I had my account ready. And then the <laughs> leather on the toe is sick. Super nice. nice. full grain leather. Uh, salmon, salmon texture. And then it's kind of a dark gray throughout uh, with the metallic stripes on the heel. So this is a clean shoe. Harden's like yeah. super underrated. This might be, oh actually, God. I love the Harden 7. I like the yeah. Harden 7 more than the ones, but I think these are one of his best. It's just like the history. Ooh, we're yeah. taking it. Toro, right. congrats, man. All right. You're, I love the request and bid. <laughs> yeah. All right, you can fire this up. This is the leaning, or just having wave culture. Yep, that's them. Nice, it's actually working now. Fire it up. It's Starting at a buck. Starting at a buck. Ooh. These are kind of funky, but this is a D-Wade. Uh, it's called Culture Shoes, which is obviously kind of simple, but um, it's got a bunch of text on the sidewall here. Um, brand new, never tried on. You can see it's got the Wade logo. Whoa, check this. Is this the paper? The paper is kind of aggressive. It's got a, <laughs> it's got a weed leaf. I don't know why. Yeah, maybe on, uh, that's fire. <laughs> um, I believe uh, they were called the, the, Wade, the Wade Essence. I want to say they're called the Wade Essence. Yeah. JR said um, main. That's as piece. just confirmed by JR. Thank you, sir. Nice. Um, so, yeah, it's got some suede here. It's got a full knit upper. It's knit collar, Wade logo, size 13. Retail uh, on those are probably. I don't know what the JR, retail is. JR, what was the retail, man? Those are, it seemed like they were pretty high. The suede's nice. Yeah, leather, leather on the heel, suede throughout. Clean shoe. They're only different. <laughs> Somebody was commenting on the tissue. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's a family friendly show, yeah. <laughs> Human race dogs and the bad bunnies. Cool. Uh, is it so still 64, going? 67 oh, still right going. now. Yeah, it's going. All right. And it, it has all the hang tags on it. Um, original box. A lot of different details. The Wade Essence. Crazy. Kind of a fun looking. Yeah, these are funky, man. Definitely different. Cool. Make some good stuff. This is nice, man. Congrats. All right. Nice quality on those ones. When you open that box, you're going to be like, wow, this is yeah. worth 72 bucks for sure. Yep. And the uh, bad bunnies. Got it. All right. These are, we just start this right up. These are all black human race Don issue to Donovan Mitchell signature shoe in collaboration exactly. with Pharrell. So you see the Spider logo on one side. Like a all black. Human race on the other, um, and they did a, a whole right series of all black colorways. Um, I think that might be a black 3M actually on the inside, but it's a synthetic there, and then super clean, super clean design. Original box on these, size 13.5, new with the box. Don issue two, second signature shoe for Donovan Mitchell. You can kind of see all the details throughout, and again the human race on the heel. Not bad. Stamped. I think with. they retail at 150 too. I think they were a little bit elevated over their retail. Yeah, just and they have the human. And then uh, brand new, never tried on, and they got kind of a a smoke clear outsole, which is pretty fresh as well. Obi's back. Yep. Obi's gonna take him. 
Bad 48. Bu Bad Bunnies, Wade Converse is all in all. Congrats, man. That's a nice triple black shoe, to be honest. I mean, a double, like a double collab sort of triple black. Not bad yeah. at all. You got some bunnies? What are you yeah, so I these are bunnies. Bad Bunny power phases. The box, the box says size 10, oh. but they are size 13s. Forums, not forums. Uh, I'm sorry. Forums. You sure? Wait, it's a forum, but it's a wrong forum box. Forum power. Yeah. It's a wrong box? Yeah. It is a the box is right. It's just the size that's wrong. Oh, yeah. So we said no boxes. But, yeah. Yep. Um. Again, bad bunnies. We can start these up. Got it. Okay. Um. They got a reserve. Yeah. Yeah. One twenty. Brand new. Never tried on. Size thirteens. Wait. So is it a power face for them? I thought it was a hybrid of the two, but yeah, it's a power face for yeah. The so box. The, I don't know. The, I, the I don't remember that one. No, it's forum fine, power. Oh, crazy. It's yeah. a nice looking color. They got the kind of double heel you can kind of see here. A lot of different touches on the tongue. Uh, again, collab with Bad Bunny. Got the Benito on the side there. Multicolor upper. Um, kind of a new buck throughout, but then the toe is a mesh. And we got a winner. Sweet. Nice. All right. That's that. What was... Uh... What's some other requests? Uh, we got Converse Wade. Wade Converse's, uh, the Presto Olympics, EA Sports Air Max 90s, yep, yep. Anti Case T4 Artists. Okay, we All right. We got original Converse Wades here. Uh, Not about the that era. Yeah, he, he was, was all over the place. Before leaning and before Jordan Brand, D Wade was with Converse. Um, <laughs> so these are the Wade 2s. These are brand new, never tried on. I want to say 2008. These are from. Is this maybe, the heat one, that one? Uh, Wade 2, yep. The heat away yep. one? Yeah, okay, that's sorry. That. Thanks. Yeah. More simple times before all the theme colorways. So this is a just a black, white, red heat colorway. Um, Tinker Hatfield actually was involved on the design of these. I don't know if people really know that. Um, and it's got the three there on the side. Again, Converse D Wade 2. Let me start this up. Yep. All right. Starting at a buck, dude. Nice, kind of a random pair. Another one. <laughs> yeah, Jacks. brand new, never tried on. Converse Wade 2. Yeah, that's crazy. I want to say he won the title in the Wade 1.3, his first signature shoe of Converse, uh, the follow-up to that. And then this is the Wade 2. Probably never retro, probably never will, right? Because they can't. Yeah. Unless they can yeah. call him the Unless he goes back. But the Converse can, 07. Or they can come yeah. out unnamed. Yeah, but this one had the Wade oh. logo on the heel. <laughs> Star on the pivot, three on the side, and then again the Wade logo on the tongue. So I'm seeing it's got a kind of a cool texture there. Uh, white is patent, black is leather, and there's a contrast stitch throughout. With the original box, Excuse Converse me. Wade Two. Of a relic, man. Yeah, this is. I always joke. There's some stuff in here I just didn't some, even think about that I had kept new all this time. That hopefully, someone said Jordan Twenty One vibes. I'd agree with that. Yeah, actually, I true. can see that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. A little, little toe shape. Yeah. Converse Wade 2. Chizzy. Uh, OB said he would buy the fusions. If Congrats, Chiz. The what? The fusions if we put them back. Oh, yeah. Pay me those back then. The lasers. All right. We had a request for the Fusion 4s back. Again, size 13 with the reserve. This is the Air Force Fusion with the Jordan 4 upper. Fire red with the laser execution all throughout. Um, and it's a laser print of all the different Jordans from throughout the years, which I believe went to Jordan 20 at that point. Um, it's the print that was created when the Jordan 20 was around for the Dub Zero. Fire red, size 13. OB, request. Request and, and purchase. Appreciate you, go. OB, for making the request and the making it easy. Request. <laughs> Olympics. Air Max 90 EA, okay. um, and a Monta and ones. These Olympics, real quick. All right. Uh, type in Presto. Yep. We can start right now. All right. This is a classic. This is a great one. This is an way. original pair from 2000. Sydney Olympics. Nike did a pair of Prestos with the USA on the tongue. Uh, I do want to call out the swoosh on the midfoot chipped off on that one and is partially chipped off on the right shoe. Uh, but these are a size XL, which is basically a 13. Um, again, worn, awesome design, Nike Air Presto, original USA 
I know these did get retroed. I want to say, when was that? 2016? Maybe 2020, like maybe? I forget which Olympics they retroed, but they did retro this colorway. Um, but it's got kind of a cool graphic through the toe. Uh, sort of a red, white, blue, clean colorway USA. Again, size XL, so sort of a sort of a 13. What was that? 2000. 2000? Okay. Yeah, yeah the Olympics. Original Presto. That's crazy. Uh, at one point, I had like 12 pairs of Prestos. I thought it was the most comfortable shoe ever. I absolutely love Prestos. I, I had a bunch of them, too. That's yeah. great. I love just that you have all the... These all right. Them. 40, nice. Forever. Let's, let's Congrats, man. Prestos, actually. Yeah, a little Presto. We'll run a couple more of them. We're going to run a couple Prestos here. I likes to see it. Another like original pair. Brutal, brutal Honey one? Is that yeah, the this one? is the Brutal Honeys. Can we start it? Uh, we can start this up, yep. All right. Again, size XL, oh, sick. approximately 13. This is, to me, one of the one of the greatest That's Presto colorways. Color. They are worn, as you can see. On both sides, um, swoosh is intact. Alpha Project dots. Uh, the the cage is a little you can kind of see a little aged, a little fogged. Um, but again, original Prestos from two thousand. In one of the launch colors, the brutal honey. Let's show both sides here. Um, man, hard shoe right here. These are sick. I used to have those. All right, them. and then let's do this one. It's the purple. I don't think I ever seen the purple one just prior to you. Yeah. This one right here? Yep. All right, you want me to fire it? Uh it's the worn purples. There's two. So this one. Oh sorry. Yep. Oh, you're good. I'm glad you mentioned 2010. It. Yeah, 2010. All right. Another presto here. These are from 2010. The toe is you could see really scuffed. I do want to show that on both sides there. Uh purple white, size XL, so approximately a 13. These are from 2010. A little aging on the on the cage. Auction's live for those. Auction is in. live. Uh worn on both sides. Love Presto's comfy shoe. Uh somebody's gonna get a steel. Is that the King's colorway? Of course. The King's PE. Anything purple, <laughs> I was rolling. Anything purple, I was I was in. That's fire. Uh size XL, so, so size 13. Um worn Prestos, purple white. Love to see the dedication. It's at 14 and again, right now. Scuffs on the toe cap. Uh the the OGs didn't scuff as easily, but the retro for some reason scuffed really easily on these. And we got a winner again. Vega taking it down. Just to remind you guys, if you guys buy more than one item, shipping gets cut like super, super low. I think like five bucks or something. Just check the screen to see what the shipping is to see if you're gonna entertain a bit or not, because it's definitely uh, easy to do. All right, and then this one. Yep. Yep. All right, same exact shoe, but brand new. Uh, I doubled up on that one, never got around to wearing this one, but this is purple white. Auction's live. And these are a these are a 2XL, um, so more of a 13, 14 feel. Um, but obviously the upper is kind of a stretchy upper. Um, so super comfy, purple white, brand new. You can see the cage is, is super good condition, brand new. The Kings or Washington uh, fans, those are yeah. Vikings, Huskies, Kings, Kings yeah. you know. All you Maybe Lakers, I'm not trying to, you know, appeal to <laughs> Laker fans, but no. And then the toes, no scuffs, uh, purple, white, brand new, with the box as well, uh, with the receipt, actually. <laughs> but uh, nice. double XL Prestos. Not, purple, oh, yeah. Purple, nice. whites, yeah. Nice. And then again, these are from 2011. 2011 Crazy. production run. Club Purple is the official Club Purple box name, huh? Alpha Project Dots. And then just a super clean, never tried on outsole. As you guys know, I, I wore the the other pair was the one I wore. Nice. Rich, what up? Mr. Rich. Uh, Casey, and congrats, Casey man. Four artists he's asked a few times for. Okay, cool. We'll do those next. All right. We're going to do the last Presto for now. And then we actually, I got some, uh, they're called the Presto Utility, a little higher cut. I got, I got those as well. So we'll do those a little later. Um, this is another original Presto. We can start this up. This is the Ice Picks. My favorite. These are sick. Uh, they got this sort of, you know, ice graphic throughout. Um, they are a size 2X, or no, XL. So they're a, basically like a 13. Um, again, original pair. They haven't retroed that one either. They have not retroed this one. They are worn. Um, but if you're a Presto fan, this is the one. These you are know sick. why I know they haven't retroed, Nick? Because you want Because them. I want them, yeah. <laughs> and they, they they haven't released them yet, so. 2000, yep. Yeah, I, I love those. I used to have the OGs. They got a gray, light gray midsole and then a sort of a white heel 
with uh, the Alpha Project dots there as well. I'm trying to show the cage condition is, is actually super good, better than the other ones for being an OG from 2000. I would say wearable for sure. And I, I, mean, I, I have worn these recently. I, I mean, I like these a lot. That's, so that's, a, a, that's a good price. Nice to see it. Great price. Mo, um, mo, mo, mo. Nice work, man. All right. I love that one. I'm jealous that I'm not that size, to be honest. Fire. OB wants those Jordan 7 Orions from the last year. I'm trying to find that. So the clay, the artist joints, where are those? Should everything has a value only on the left. Uh, it looks like an idea. Those are all the like this. Those GHs. Is it the um down at the bottom, the middle one? Okay. No, nah, that's a Gordon. Uh, those are sick though. We could do those soon. We can keep looking. Somebody Jordan asked if you sevens. played in the NBA before. <laughs> you said what? Somebody asked if you played in the NBA. Nah. It's Jordan Seven or Ryan. I found out early on that I had no shot, so that's why I got to do what I do. <laughs> Uh, all right, these are Wade twos, Converse. I'm sorry, Wade threes. We already I always saw the three. That's why. Yeah, we already did the threes. Or the twos. We can start this up at three bucks. Okay. All right. Again, from the D Wade Converse signature line that people might, might not even remember. Uh, these are worn. Oh, I hooped in these. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if people in Portland know this. This bridge design is actually heavily inspired by the 405 bridge that the designer used to drive over the bridge every day to work no at, the, at the office at Nike, which is kind of funny. Um, the, the story, of course, is that it's the strength and power of three, which was D Wade's number, but really inspired by the 405 bridge. Um, so original box, Wade three, uh, they are worn, got some creasing through the toe and uh, kind of a asymmetrical toe down, Converse logo on the tongue. I'm sorry, Wade logo on the tongue, and then the triangles, live right now for those triangles part goes all the way up the heel as well. So kind of a funky design. The Wade 1, 2, and 3, they kind of, I mean, they jumped around design-wise each year. It's not Each year was kind of different than the other, but um, original pair, I want to say these are from 08. Yeah, it's crazy. Pre, the pre-Jordan, pre- Yeah, he signed with Jordan in... Uh, what, like a November of 09, I want to say? And then he was headlining the Jordan 2010, of course. And you met Wade before too, right? Uh, yeah, I've interviewed Dwayne a few times, man. He's the best. He's, He's awesome. Dope. He's great. What if he was watching you sell his shoes right now? <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably be happy. I don't think he hang, hung on They're to these either. Yeah, I don't think he hung on to these. <laughs> OB, congrats, man. Another one. All right. And then, OB, if you want these, let's fire this auction right up. This is the, this is the Wade 4. This is the final... Converse Wade shoe that released. Again, I hooped in these. Um, outsole is pretty clean, but you can see there's some marks here on uh, both sides. And that's then, a star. This, that's the Converse star. That's the Converse star, yeah. And then you can see I got some scuffs on the collar there. Again, going too hard at 24 hour that day. It's very uh, They have a black and red splatter midsole. Uh, original box Converse Wade 4. Live. Uh, now for anybody. Three detail there. Heel counter and then weight on the heel. I actually uh, like. I think that's the best looking one, to be honest. Minus the Giants. I don't have the weighed ones, and that's definitely the best looking one. I, I think. Yeah, the weighed ones. Uh, weighed one point three was sick with the white black colorway, actually. But uh, there's a lot of details on that mesh side too, with the whatever that is. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So these were again Dwayne Lawrence designed. Uh, Fizzy's looking like he's got it right you there. You know what's funny? Congrats, Somebody. Man. Somebody said these look like a Gordon Hayward. It's the same designer, Dwayne Lawrence. No that's, way. That's hilarious. Somebody that's awesome. That. Um, so, yeah. Actually, we'll get those. Uh, so we'll do these <laughs> same designer. Uh, Gordon Hayward, GH1s. Um, great hoop shoe. Brand new, never tried on. I played in the – I had a white Celtics color I played in, but these are the black pair. We can start this up. Um, great grip. And then kind of a real clean leather toe. Jeez. I've never seen those. And then Gordon likes them to use his logo on the tongue, but then sort of like what I would call an alternate placement for the onto logo. So it's actually like flipped up upside down on the no, side there. That's fire, actually. Um, and as JR Lyons says, he said, I have the same pair. They are incredible. So again, super nice leather tongue, sort of a mesh midfoot, and then a neoprene collar sleeve that's super, super comfy. And then just, just kind of a circular traction pattern here. Size 13, brand new in the box. Um, the heel, I think it's the initials of his family members. 
um, on the deal there. And then Rob plays kind of at a, it right now at 65. It's kind of a clean Celtics road colorway for when he was on the on the Celtics. Sierra has been up. I see he's been a lot, Sierra. You're waiting for the right one. I see it. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Oh, right. you got it. You got one. Nice That's to see what's it. Up. All right. Congrats. Type in clay artist. Congrats. I, I, I play. I just, I KT, KT. And then the uh, four. Yep, that one. Yep. Start, start, right, start this. All right. This is a KT4. Ooh, is LeBron? This is a size nine and a half, right? Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Size ten and a half. Um, yeah, size ten and a half. KT4. And this was a special edition that Anta sent me. Uh, it actually says Nick on the side, I just realized. It has my full name. That's crazy. Yeah, they're going to know who these are from. <laughs> um, and, then, and then the other side uh has a has a character as well so this was a artist collab uh that they did uh this is kind of fresh um so again it's got different characters throughout splatter midsole has your name but it's yeah, size. Yeah. Yeah. and then again that's not my size unfortunately so they're a size 10 5 um which i think the kt's some of the shoes only went up to like a 10 5 11 and then they would do a promo for the other sizes but um, original box has some graphics on it as well Fire. So, and the KT four to me is the is my favorite clay shoe to play in. Is that uh, thirty three right now for the the, the Nick and Paula specials right here. <laughs> there's a thumbprint inspired outsole. Um, these were not tried on. Again, not my size. They're ten fives. Uh, it's at forty five right now. I mean, honestly, if you don't want the nickname, you could probably dip dye them. But the nickname, <laughs> the Nick makes them kind of fire. They look like LeBron's too. LeBron, what was that? Which LeBron, LeBron fifteen? Yes, you're thinking of? I can like see that, that. with the Nick. These were, Battle meter, whatever they might have been the same, se no, these were the 18-19 season, but they were designed before they, the 15s came out. Not bad. 52 now. Let's see it. 57, right. I mean. All right, Mr. Five. That's what's up? Oh, and five. What was the other question? Congrats, man. Uh, That's a pretty rad uh, shoe. I've never seen that one. Those Mahomes shoes, Pro Bowl trainers, Jordan 7 Orions, Air Max 90 EAs, Monta yep. and one. We're going strong for two hours. We should do another giveaway in a minute. Yeah. That's a good call. Where's that 57 Orion? I think I remember them being on the left side. Oh, they're down here. Cool. All right, we'll do the 7 Orions. Do you want to grab those? OB has requested. We know OB means business. OB means business. I like that. All right. All right. These are Jordan 7 Orions, size 13, it worn. No box, but there is a box. What was that? It says no box. Oh, yeah. We, we do have the box on these. Um, all right. Again, worn, so you can kind of see. But super lightly worn. Probably another one that was just worn once, honestly. Um, but they're in great shape, great shape. Um, and then OB they're live, OB, if you see them, they're there. Yep, we do have more Kobe's. I see somebody asking about Kobe's. There are more Kobe's. Oh, well. yeah, no, no, nothing. All right, all right, he might have, he might have, he might have please. But we'll run it back. Let later. us know when you're back, OB. We'll get you where anybody else can bid on them, obviously, too. Um, but. what was the other one? Uh, Air Max 90 EAs, uh, the Pro, the Mahomes joints? Pro Bowl trainers in the homes. Where is it? Oh, right uh, I just put them down there. All right. We got a request for these. This is a special edition box of the, I believe it was called the ZX2K. And this was a Mahomes edition. Uh, this was a Champs exclusive, I want to oh. say. These are wild. They got a crazy sort of iridescent sidewall piece. You can all the the Mahomes man. logo on the heel and Adidas Mahomes logo on the tongue. Uh, never tried on. You can see the boost uh, through the outsole there. These come with a special slip bag as well. And uh, I don't know what's in this. Hopefully it's something like some kind of, I don't know. <laughs> it's, you have an opening. I was going to say it could be a ring. It could, so hopefully something super valuable that I'm not aware of that you end <laughs> up opening. Box, you let us dude. know. Yeah, um, I see this. Like a, oh, it's yeah. heavy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's in a, it's in like a jewelry box. Bro. With the ear, with the lenticular <laughs> up, you know, piece. So we'll We're start this up. It. All right. And apparently, whoever whoever wins this, you got to let us know what, what's in. Yeah, there. for real, it's heavy. It feels like metal or something. There's also some uh, some stickers as well, and then again, this promo box, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, uh, the slip bag, which has the same graphic on it, and then again, that lenticular kind of wild uh, material. But then this sort of zebra esque white black. Uh, it, I wonder if they released that one or not. You, I mean, I know that's a promo box, but I don't even remember seeing that colorway. I think it was a Champs exclusive. Must, oh, yeah, yeah. It must be from the paper. Yeah, I think it was a Champs exclusive, but it does I'm have the Mahomes logo. I've never seen that. This was before he had they, a signature they shoe. Amazing. 
It's live at 62 right now. That's a pretty good price, man. 70. I'm hoping that jewelry box got some heat in it. We'll see. Yeah, it is, does feel like no, a I'm jewelry box. Is, this yeah. probably weighs like a good, I don't know, six to seven. Might be a paperweight. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Mahomes, Mahomes pendant diamond chain. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Mahomes logo on the tongue. And again, this was before uh, his signature shoe. So this was one of his logo edition releases. Word is on it right now to 119. All right. And again, the special box that comes in. Congrats. Also some stickers and a slip bag. Shipping should be a little bit lower to you. And for a premium promo box too, like it's not cheap to usually ship that. So a really good price for you to ship. Um, that's dope. Uh, try to try to like message me when you open that. I want to see what's inside that pendant or what's in that little Ooh. box thing. Ooh. If it's a pendant, I don't know what it is. Ooh. Oh man! Oh, these are brand new. I thought they were worn. All right. Ooh. <laughs> man, I might. <laughs> Keep them. <laughs> yeah. No. So my coach in high school actually, literally every practice at, at McClatchy, every single practice he had red toe questions. And by the end of uh, my year there, he was they were absolutely cooked. So I got him a pair once, but I bet you that pair is still rocking. But these are, man, you can't go wrong with these. Pearlized toe, brand new size 13, Reebok question. Are they 12 and a half? Or... Uh, they are 12 fives. Okay. Yeah, which they do run a little big, so they are 12 fives. But, um, man, all-time classic joints. One of the greatest signature debuts ever. Obviously, the cross and mic in this colorway. And this is the pearlized. I know there's also the run, new buck. Right? Yeah, yeah, we could run this. There's um, the... Yoder said he went to C CKM. You said what? Yoder says, left the comment, says he went to That's CKM. That's what's up, man. Go live. Dope. It's live right now if anybody wants them. And these are brand new, icy bottom. I want to say this is, obviously, questions get retro often. I want to say this is the 2013 or 14 era retro. Um, so they do have the real hexalite. Sometimes I know they've modified the hexalite in particular on some of the other retros but this one is still icy with the pearlized toe i know they do the new buck toe as well but this is pearlized toe pearlized heel jr says that's the good retro this is the good retro according to jr yes all right ob with it straight it down and one attack twos and one attack twos yep there's a monta up there too so what are, and one monta yeah Type in Monta. Uh oh, I wonder if that's the ME8. If that's what he's referring to. Oh no, it's the sample. Okay, cool. Because I had the ME8s, which was his first signature shoe, but I'm trying to get in touch with Monte to actually send him those. Because those are, I, I doubt he kept them, and I have the original samples on both. All right, this is the oh, N1 this is Attack. This, one. this is not this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the N1 Attack. Um, size 13, black Raptors. Yep. Attack two. Uh, I got two pairs. So yeah. So just either one of those. Oh, it says attack two there. Yeah, yeah, attack two. Yeah. Okay. So we, and we'll start this auction. Okay. Cool. Uh, and one attack, brand new in the box, never tried on. If you're looking for a hoop shoe, this is you. Uh, when Fred Van Vliet was on the Raptors, oh wow, yeah, uh, he was wearing these that whole season. Um, actually, I just noticed they got. That's the Toronto. What's that? Yeah. What's the, I forget what it's called, but that's the Toronto. The, the Drake Views Tower. Yeah, it's the Drake Views Tower, as my friend says. <laughs> but it has that on the heel. So this is a Toronto inspired, uh, with the purple and the red. Release pairs. Uh, I don't know if these released. They could possibly be a Fred PE, but they don't have a Fred logo on them. Um, Crazy. Yeah, I don't know. But I got a box one day that showed up with like six pairs. We'll do the Monte samples next. I see somebody asking about those. Um, crazy. Yep, we'll do the Monte samples next. But these are the Fred Van Bleet colorway um, with, and I feel terrible not knowing um, what CN that is. CN Tower, yeah. It's the what? CN Tower. The CN Tower. JR. So. All right. And that was, here helping yeah. if you got a question, my guy JR got the answer. Yeah, I appreciate it. Nice. All right. And then we'll fire, fire, nice fire it right back up. Oh, second same, one. same exact shoe, same exact size. Again, if you guys don't know, this is the CN Tower on the <laughs> <video. laughs> And again, the Raptors colorway inspired with the with the red and purple, and then some blue through the toe as well, which is kind of a, a funny ad. Nice. These actually have a a, a lace clip as oh, well. Um, again, and one logo here, brand new, never tried on, size thirteen. It's live Even right got now. The sticker the on them. Um, second pair here, and I'm I'm assuming Fred is a twelve or a thirteen because um, that's the pairs that I got sent was a size twelve and thirteen. 
Uh, so and one attack. Fred is now with Li Ning. So these are from uh, his short-lived deal with N1. I think he was only with N1 for two seasons. Okay. See, who are Adidas? Um, who are the damn four? Who does N1 have now? Do they don't have, have a. Yeah, they had Norman Powell, and then he his deal started. Well. NRC, congrats, man. All nice right. little snipe there. And then if you're a, start this right now. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. Size twelve. Oh, sorry. And then if you're a size twelve, again, same exact joints. CN Tower on the heel, Fred Van Vliet colorway. We're going to start this already at a dollar again. Uh, and ones. And then we're going to do the Monte samples right after this. One of the only 12s we have. So yeah, size 12. 12. Yeah, for one those, of the only size 12s. Yep. Out there. Brand new with the sticker, never tried on. And one attack two. Raptors colorway, CN Tower on the heel. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll see where Fred goes this summer as a free agent. But this was from his. Two year tenure with N1, uh, short lived, and then he signed with Leaning not long after. All right, so 25 right now, NRC yep. back to back. Remember, if you guys buy more than one pair, the shipping is drastically lower. And again, he's got the lace clip up top as well, kind of a nice mesh upper, and then sort of a rugged outsole. If you are going to hoop outdoors, definitely an outdoor friendly shoe. Wish we had more size 12s. This one's probably the only one. It's like words been on it right now. And one attack two with the Fred Van Vliet CN Tower inspired Toronto. Toronto touch. All right. And again, let us know if you Still got any requests. We're gonna to try to get to those as we go. MX nineties. Yep. Um, I saw somebody said uh, we'll do the Monte and sample. The Pro Bowl trainer. Pro Bowl trainer. Congrats, man. Appreciate y'all for bidding on that one. Nice. There you go. All right, this is a fun one. This is a design sample. What? I got two pairs, or well, not pairs, two sides of a design sample. Um, at, I don't know if you guys know, but in 07, I think it was called the And One Onslaught, had this crazy full shank plate. And so this was a sample of that. But the whole upper, uh, you can kind of see the heel counter all through. Uh, the whole upper was lasered. Um, and then kind of a synthetic and then an asymmetrical tongue. And so this, this is, one? so yeah, we'll put, um, yeah, so it's M A T M M M O N T A. Yeah. Yep. Um, so we'll, we're going to do one auction for both. Um, so this is a size nine right shoe design sample of an and one shoe that they ended up not going forward with. You could see the kind of asymmetrical lacing and then the cutouts Whoa, crazy, and then the shank plate, which is crazy. And then I know people were asking about these. This is a development sample with the same bottom, but a different upper. This is a, we believe warriors colorway of uh, what would have been for Monte Ellis. Uh, they did not go forward with this shoe. And then they went with a different shoe that became the ME eight. So these are possibly, you know, what was the ME eight? Uh, yeah, they were called the mosaics. That's what the mosaic, they were called the mosaics. You can kind of see they've got a, Sort of a graphic through the midfoot there, um, and we can start it. We yep. start yeah, we'll start this up for both of them. Yeah. Yep. So this is a one auction for both. That's uh, crazy. Size man. size nine right shoe, which is a purple black sample. Size nine left shoe, which is uh, got the yellow accents actually too. That classic we believe era Warriors uh, type colorway. Monte was with N one uh, to start his career, and then uh, had a shoe called the Me Eight, but this is before that. Uh, this is in, a, in both shoes, never tried on, never worn, of course, being a size nine, just the one side. But you could see the the orange and then the yellow accents. Um, Do we move the camera up or again? Warriors related. Oh, it's, it's good. Okay. okay. I'm just making sure. Yep. So that's crazy. Purple. Which one do you like better? I, I mean, I'm biased. I like the purple, and these are a wild design, too. And I like yeah, the, the, the asymmetrical well. lacing. I is like, crazy. I kind of like that. But then the Monte ones are clean. Like, it would have like been Jordan's almost like. 16s without the shroud with the sh oh with the triangle part yeah, yeah i can see that a little bit yep pretty crazy so interesting another random set of samples that yeah i've got this is the kind of stuff that's sitting around down here unfortunately oh. or, or fortunately it's dope say. that you're like other people are getting a, a glimpse in a, a, in a piece of it all right word again congrats man. congrats Yo. cool stuff super random stuff uh, um here. 
No easy slides, unfortunately. Sorry. Yeah, no easy slides. All right, this is a cool one. This yeah. is this is an original size 13 D Rose One Adidas, his first signature shoe. Uh, never tried on size 13 with the box. Is that the one with the box Rose One. Can you start it? Yep, we'll start this up. Um, He's still on the active roster too, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, D Rose, I believe, went to. Yeah, he's he was, on the Knicks. He, he went to, I want to say, D Rose 10, and then now he has the Son of Shy uh, line, which still goes. And then they've been doing Rose Retros in Asia as well. Uh, but he's got the uh, the ID Zero kind of red line that goes around. And they have the floating collar and then super fast kind of outsole and plate. Uh, so this is a wild shoe when they dropped. I mean, these these did great. Whiskey, uh, congrats. You can do the 1.5. Congrats. Oh, yeah, we'll do those. Sample? Yeah. All right. Okay. This is a so type in 1.5. Yeah, yeah, you can start it. This is a sample retro of the 1.5 size nine. Um, so same platform as that Rose One, uh, different upper with the uh, rubberized upper here. Did they release an original 1.5? Or is it that they've released the original and retro? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So this was the retro from what, two years ago? Uh, maybe longer. Maybe longer than that. Um, size nine. Never tried on brand new samples of uh, the D Rose 1.5. Nice with tags or with yeah, does it have the same tag? Uh, with the sample tags, yep, as well. Cool. Yep. Uh, somebody just asked about Way of Wades. We got some more Way of Wades as well. Yep. Yeah, we got a, we got a crazy Way of Wade actually. We got, got a, two crazy ones. I got a good uh, list. Of some. Cool. So again, Rose 1.5 size nine. Samples brand new, never tried on with the sample tags. And this is the sample of the retro. They're crazy. Yeah, it's a cool shoe. He wore the 1.5s. I believe he debuted those the mesh in, on the, in the all-star game, this right? Is fire. And then he wore them the yellow. second half of that season. Yellows, yeah. John and the all-star colorway was the yellow. This is the Bulls Road. John Collins wore those retros a lot. John Collins has worn these. Word, mix it down. That's the kind of facts we're bringing here. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, um, Word. Congrats. Air Max 90. We do the Clay's Pro Bowl well. trainers, way of weight, all stars, and the Wilson Chandlers have a request. Oh, man. These Wilson Chandlers are hard. I actually found a whole other box this morning that had the Wilson Chandlers and some other pony samples in it. Um, Air Max? Yes. So this is Madden. Oh, this is this is right up the alley. It's All right. right. So this comes. Yeah. What was that? Air Max ninety. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yep. EA Sports. Yeah. EA Sports. Yeah. All right. So this one has, as you can see, the slip bag, and then it's Nike Air on that side. EA Sports logo. Madden. Uh, Madden twenty. Okay. Madden twenty. So I don't know what year that would have been, but this was for Madden twenty. Uh, it actually, has a whole bag of alternate laces as well. Um, and then these are customized Air Max 90s. So they've got, oh, check this out. Whoa. They have, this was for when it was in Miami. So it's the the LIV Super Bowl. Uh, what year was that? I like that you're rediscovering the things Sometimes that you Sometimes you forget, man. I love it, man. Um, and it actually has, this is kind of a cool detail. It's got the 305 on the tongue strip. And then one side has red splatter all throughout. And then... EA Sports on the tongue tab, EA Sports on the heel behind the rubberized heel counter. And then same thing here, but blue. So splatter blue, EA Sports 305 on the heel as well. And then the insole has a full, you kind of read the first M there, uh, full mat. And somebody said this was the year the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Yep. That's fire. So got the got the slip bag as well, like I said. Let me start. We can start this up, yep. All right. Um, Air Max 90 customized that that, uh, that were basically promo given out um, at that time around the Super Bowl. That's crazy. Somebody said, wear them to a live golf event. That's hilarious. <laughs> this is so, crazy too. They got the hang tag here. You can see. Uh, and, like, like, and then again, like just 305. Leather. Yeah, and then, and then again. There's another strip in there too. That's cool. Oh, yeah. So you could actually. Add it to the oh. back. Yeah. That's so fire. this back is a is a button, and there's actually alternate tabs yeah, that have cool. 305 other stuff Jeez. that you could that you could put on to the button either there or on the tongue. No gang stuff. Um, really. So that's pretty fresh. That's, that's pretty fresh. Yeah, that's cool. Man. Uh, so one side's red, one side's blue. We got some comments about the jokes on that. Obviously, that's USA. Yeah. Then there's okay. a splatter. All right, we got a winner, Chizzy. 
Uh, yellow pharrells have a question. I should. You said the what? Yellow pharrells as well. Uh, oh, okay. What was another one? Uh, uh, okay. uh, the Wilsons, the Way of Wayne All Stars, Pro yep. Bowl trainers. Oh, the Way of Wayne All Stars are hard. All right. These have a reserve. We can start this up. These are lightly worn. Let's show the outsoles actually first. Lightly worn, size nine. Human race, yellow. It's an OG colorway. One too. of the first joints, yeah. Yep. Uh, NMD midsole pl uh, plugs there, but the boost all the way around, size nine. That's crazy. You got a bid yet? No, no bids on it. No bids, but we had a request. Oh, so where are we at? Tour. There we go. I was going to say, if nobody snipes. takes it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deal off those And then they got the multicolored trefoil on the heel. Uh, again, human race down. Nice. Nice. Tour. Hey, if you didn't get those, I was going to I was gonna get those. So happy yeah, to see it. They got a good price. Oh, yeah. That's a great. I mean, that's that's. I think that's the first colorway, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think they retroed that one either. Fire. Damn, these boxes are insane. All right, we got a. This is a personal favorite. I actually have two pairs of these. So that's why I'm letting these ones go. But I love this shoe. This is the first way of Wade. Uh, you can kind of see the purple accents and a sort of a, a stingray esque uh, box there. And then oh, these are nuts. Uh, oops. This is the way of Wade one all star. I want to say it was 2013, so it would have been Houston. Is that purple stingray? Purple stingray uh, toe. The quality is crazy on these. And these are brand new, never tried on. Uh, I have another pair that I wear a lot that I like a lot. Um, but they have the W uh, at the bottom of the eyelets. We can start this up. Um, the W at the bottom of the eyelets for Wade. They actually come with the alternate gold and black lace that has the repeat W on it. And then again, they got this kind of stingray detail throughout. Wow gold accents, and the box is just incredible. Uh, they come with a great gray slip bag with the Wade logo. And then on the inside is uh, D. Wade coming through with the dunk. And that photo was what was from the, uh, the signing announcement photo when he signed with Lee Ning. They had that in the backdrop of the press conference. Um, so Wade won. Quality is crazy. Size 13. Brand new, never tried on. Have they, have they started retroing Wade ones yet or no? Uh, they've done a couple actually. Yeah, that, that one is fire. Ooh, we got a winner, seven? man. That's a steal. You're gonna you're gonna like these. This is yeah, a you're one. gonna be so stoked. That's a great buy. Oh man, fresh. Um, Kicks. Pro Bowl trainers and the Wilson. Boom. Congrats on that one, man. I think don't you 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 do videos too, don't you? Or you stream don't you kicks, right? I think I've seen you on here. I All think right. I follow you on. We had a request for these. This is the Pro Bowl Air Max trainers. Uh, Oklahoma. Yeah, you. Twenty twelve. Appreciate wanna... you coming by, man. Yeah, he, he's, in, uh, he's, uh, he sells on here. He does a lot. That's what's up. Yeah, that was a good one. All right, type in Pro Bowl. Uh, yep, that's it. Okay, cool. All right, so these are brand new. However, as you can see, the mesh has some yellowing throughout. So I do want to point out that and also show that as well as I can. Um, but these were made 2012 Pro Bowl. They've got some uh, custom graphics on the tongue as well with the Maximus theme that year. And uh, we started it? Yeah, we started oh, yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, full Air Max, I believe 2012. Uh, this yeah. was from the two, Air Max 2009, right? Where they use this bag? I uh, forget. Yeah, please. Oh, yeah. no, that's the, the full? Oh, yeah, maybe so. Yeah, You're right. And then they switched to 2013. But, um, but yeah, Air Max trainer with 360 bag, with the red paint bag. So and then it, there's a sample tag on them? Uh, Yes, promo sample on the tag. Again, the mesh though is is yellowed all throughout, so I do want to call that out. If you can see on the toe there, on both toes, it's even more so showing here. Uh, it's kind of a color fade. We got a winner. Nice. Cool. This is steel. All right, sixty six. Nice. That's a sample one too, like you said. That's that's oh, crazy. From two thousand twelve. That's eleven years old. That's wild. All right, this is a fun one. This is a fun one. This is like the this actually perfectly describes the randomness of some of the stuff I got, but. This was when yeah, Wilson Chandler was on the Knicks with Pony. This is City Wings 08. And this is the St. Patrick's Day PE. Um, I want to say they're a size 14. So they were made for oh. Wilson and they got the WC it's embroidered. In the title. Uh, size 14. It, it 14? Okay. Yep, size 14. Uh, they got the WC embroidery on the collar. 
pony here. And if you guys look back at photos from that year, you'll notice that that was the year the Knicks wore the green jerseys with the orange accents. Uh, so we can start this one up. We'll start it out of Bucks and uh, Knicks fans, obscure collector fans. Like this is a fun shoe for sure. Brand new, never tried on. Uh, City Wings 08. That's crazy, dude. Snakeskin campuses. I did try these on actually. I'm gonna they, I'm gonna say they're tried on. Yeah. But you can see the outsole here is, is super super clean. Uh, they got the kind of a snake skin collar esque, and then pony accents throughout. Those are crazy looking. So these are sick. Wilson Chandler, St. Patrick's Day. I can't you can't really see it at all, but there's actually a yeah, you can't see it. There's a there's a St. Patrick's hat. Um, sort of a leprechaun's hat on the insole as well. Size 14s. Uh, see some other requests. I see a 484. Thanks for the Kobe 11 BHMs. Yep. Uh, the snakeskin campus 80s. Okay. That's some Which Chandler fans. Very sweet. Like nice. Yep. Shoe man. Again, Wilson Chandler, Pony PEs with the WC logo. Yeah. Shoe man, congrats. Nice. That's a cool shoe. That's fun. Sick buy. Uh, said the which ones uh the bhm kobe 11s form 84 blues snakeskin campus 80s okay all right people were asking about kobe's we do have some kobe's in here of course uh we got some kobe 11 bhms these are worn i mean barely you kind of see there's just some dirt on the bottom there but outsole's pretty pretty fresh upper shows I mean, no, no use at all. Almost. Um, I'm starting to start now, this up. Yeah. There is a reserve on these, but these were by request. Um, and they do have the original box as well. So show them both sides here. Great hoop oh, you know what? I want to show this. There is a little mark on the swoosh. Just noticed that on the left side, the right side is perfect on the upper on both sides. Um, but on the left side, let's actually call that out. There's a little mark on the swoosh. If anybody wants to bid on it, it's live right now. Ooh, yeah. soul. You want? It's soul, nice. my soul gets in right at the end. Nice. That's All the right. request that I'm oh, perfect. Glad you saw it Request then. and wait for the time. I appreciate you guys waiting. I know if you guys make some requests, cool. sometimes it takes us a minute to get through them. So I yep. appreciate you guys. Um, bro, we should run a giveaway. Yeah. We want to do it. Um, let's do the insoles. Yeah. Do, do it. I list them separate, but do, maybe just do them together. Let's do them separate. Separate. Okay. Size there. Uh, eight, eight and a half. Eight There's five. a time limit to the, to the giveaways too. Oh, it gotcha. just, it just can run as we're going anyway. All right, we got some game day insoles from Move. Move insoles to give away. Um, I think you just got to enter, and then we'll get this rolling quickly. These are a yeah. size eight and a half. Eight, eight and a half. Um, it's a double size. This is Dame's like brand too, yeah. right? Founded by Damian Lillard, Jamal Crawford, Chris Paul. Uh, oh, I didn't know they were a bunch of different things. athlete investors, but Dame, I would say, is the the front man on that. Get on, it's on free. CP. If you guys want them, free giveaway, move yeah. in souls. Uh, this is the game day, so this is the the performance version. Throw these in your hoop shoes. They got like a pro ready shank. Um, super nice. comfy insole as well. We could fire this up. All right, I'm gonna draw the winner at three, two, one. Appreciate y'all for joining this stream. And uh, draw the winner right now. We have another pair of those. We're going to give away into some a boost ball and tea and a couple other things. So stay tuned for that. Try to run a giveaway every once an hour if we can. So, yeah. all right, fourth quarter design. Congrats. All right, congrats, man. Um, what else do we got here? Let's do these. Uh, somebody had asked. Somebody asked what colorway these are. This is an original. Original Ergo LWP size 14. Black, white, royal blue. Um, considering these are from 95, I think they're in pretty good shape, as you can see. Um, I think they're wearable, but of course, anything that's old, wear at your own risk or possibly just as a collector's item. I throw it in. Um, but let's start these off. Yeah. It's live if anybody's interested. Ergo LWP, one, who, of, who were those one of the here? great performance shoes. Uh, these were worn by Tim Hardaway back in the day. He was in all the print ads, uh, but a ton of guys wore them as well. Uh, Mookie Blaylock had some fresh white, black blues. Jay Kidd wore them his rookie year. This was a fun shoe. These did retro, uh, I want to say 2012 maybe. Uh, but these are the originals. 
Originals. Mm -hmm. I always like the flights. Do, were you a flighter or a force guy? A flight for yeah, sure. I definitely was Zoom Air and flight was all me. So to me, these were one of the first. From the bottom, uh, so the air yeah, unit. There's so an they, air pocket too. They the got bottom. the heel airbag, but this yeah. was actually called Tensile Air. This was one of the first shoes to have Zoom Air in basketball. Oh, crazy. Um, That's right. So super light. Uh, you kind of see, obviously, the new buck does have some age, given that it is from 94, 95 season. Uh, definitely kind of a different relic. It's original so Zoom Flights. I'm sorry, not so flight. Erico LWP. I was looking at the flight number, the flight scripts. That's wild. And nice. All right. Mr. Forever has been on. I like to see you guys been on the the OG stuff like this. This stuff is the stuff that I like to see. And then, so again, these size 14. Uh, do not have the original box. And possibly wearable, but, you know, more as a collector's item or wear it on wrist type of shoe. Hopefully, oh, oh nice, Mr. Nice. Forever got him. Nice, congrats, man. Yeah, it's it's fun to see and stuff ATL, like that. ATL Soul Collectors, Air Mac Scorpion, Forum Eighty Four Blues, and the Snakeskin Campus Eighties. Okay. All right, We've got another pair of Soul Collector collabs. Uh, this is the APL collab from I believe twenty ten. Um, actually twenty eleven. I should know that. Um, I designed them, uh, but they. Uh, they were the one. They were to celebrate the one-year anniversary of the launch of the Concept One, which was a shoe that got banned by the NBA because it had this load and launch technology four-foot piece, which was considered a, a competitive advantage. So they got the APL color. I'm sorry, logo on the heel. Uh, their launch colorway was black and neon. So my idea was to celebrate the launch one and just flip it around with the loudest neon possible. Um, so we got the clear neon bottom, carbon fiber kind of texture through the toe. And then on the side as well. We can start this one up. All right. What's retail so, on these guys, though? Retail was nothing because this was a never happened uh, <laughs> promo. I think we only did like, I mean, maybe a hundred pairs. Uh, they got the embroidered S Something. on the toe, and we just ran them as a giveaway at the time. We didn't sell these, um, so we did some different giveaway contests. We gave them to different friends and family. Uh, the box, the box is super nice. It comes with a slip bag as well. Um, so this is the Soul Collector collab. APL concept ones. I wonder what what were retail on concepts. The like concept two, one two, retail two. was three hundred. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. what I was saying. They're so expensive. you could say these were three hundred or maybe more even. But yeah, um, but the box is crazy. The load and launch technology piece in there. You can kind of see that in the forefoot. Um, and then for shoe fans, this is always a fun fact of mine. But uh, the guy that designed the Tai Chi's, Tuan Lee. Kicks, getting another that's, one. Congrats, man. That's who they hired to design these. So. Campus that's 80s, Form 84 Blues, uh, Wade 7, Last Dance. Cool. That's a, that's a fun one. I like to see those ones, man. The new APL basketball stuff is like $400. It's crazy. Yeah. So they still make new stuff, but that was the original one that got all the hype. Yep. It's pretty awesome to see. Um, you said Campus 80s? Yeah. Where's that? All right. We've got a couple requests here. This is a Form 84. Actually comes with two alternate laces, so off white along with the Carolina blue, and uh, yeah, yeah, this is a very simple, very fresh white Carolina blue form. Um, these shoes have a purposeful like aging element to them, so you can kind of see like on the underside of the strap, sort of a discoloration. Um, but they are brand new, never tried on. Got them uh, live, and we're live. Yep. Yeah. So form eighty four Carolina blue again, two alternate laces. Both the off white and a blue, uh, simple, clean, classic kind of UNC colorway. Oh, man. Maybe this was a you know if MJ had signed with Adidas, you know this could have been his. <laughs> this could have been the MJ team. But yeah, form eighty four. The eighty fours are kind of the elevated version too of the regular forums. Yeah, yeah, the materials are Ooh, super better, nice yeah. on these, real nice leathers, and then they have an exposed foam tongue. Uh, on the tongue as well. Are these newer purchase or newer? newer? Uh, or is this more simple? recent retro, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but these are brand new, never tried on with the original box. Of course. Forum 84. Whoa. Yeah, it was crazy in air how, uh, how they had the, forms, had the forms on the, on the table. Congrats, man. Congrats. Oh, it didn't say the size on that. Oh, it did. It did yeah. say in the description. It should say the size. Yeah. yeah. Um, Where's the campus at? Or are you talking about York? Wait. No, no. Yeah. They're, they're yours. 
they're like snakes, black snakes. I think. Guys, a lot of the sizes, everything's listed in the auctions that we have uh, that we're planning Wade's, on running you through. Wade seven last year. So go check the auctions and then do, do a search by sizes. Mostly everything's like a 12 or 13, 14, to be honest. We had a request for a couple these. nines here and there, but eights, but uh, campus 80s teal, but they got the snake skin heel, which is pretty fresh. These are sweet, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. These are worn. We can start this up. Uh, I got the original box as well. If I had to guess, I think they're from 2012, 2011, maybe. Yeah, um, yeah I used to rock these, are good. I rocked these a few times for sure. This is a good shoe. Yeah. Oh, okay. sweet. Oh, okay. yeah. Got the suede, yeah. The suede tongue has a lot of texture to it. I had those, um, and then again, kind of like a teal, a teal color. It's called lab green officially, but I'd say more of a aqua, more of a teal. And again, the snake skin on the heel. They're live now. Looks like Killian is looking at those. All nice. Right. We have a request for the PF Flyer. Okay. Goods. Okay, we'll get to those. That's a good one. Can you? Uh, Okay. All right. Okay. Killian, nice. Congrats. Congrats. Good price. Yeah, great. I love their sweet steals like that. Sweet. That's That's a, you're going to like rocking those for sure. Um, where are the tiny Oh, okay. Yeah, hand me those. Type in PF. PF flyers, bro. Yeah. I love it. These are sick. Uh, these are, these are a uh, collaboration between Tanner Goods and PF flyers. Unfortunately, I got a size 12 and I'm a size 13, but they got the Tanner Goods logo and I'm, I can't even begin to express like how crazy the leather on these is. Tanner Goods is a company out of Portland known for their leather materials. Uh, a little bit of discoloration through the midsole, as you can see. I want to say these are from 20, man, probably like 2012, 2013, uh, but simple, just PF Flyers, classic silhouette, but in a crazy like navy indigo leather. We'll probably take him acetone to the, and we to can the start midsole this up. And, and take that off yeah. the midsole, just some acetone. Uh, again, a little bit of discoloration you can kind of see right here. What were the, you know, the retail on those? Uh, I want to say like Tanner has 180, 200. Yeah. 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 All the original tags. Um, yeah, these were hard. P PF Flyers, was that the same lot? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, everybody says it, thinks that they're Chucks or something, but they're PF yeah, Flyers. The leather is insane on these. Like, just one of the nicer quality shoes you'll see. Yeah. Unfortunately, they only had a 12 and I, I was there. I'm a 13, so I just couldn't keep them. But, um, so, and again, like hefty left, you said, absolutely guaranteed to make you run faster and jump higher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, love it. I see the quest for the South beaches, the nine elites. We'll get those up, up soon as well. Um, and then again, Tanner goods logo on the tongue. Does this one come with a wallet too? Like, uh, nah, it does not, but uh, <laughs> it comes with a slip bag and, uh, just a clean gum bottom. This is a fresh shoe. Yeah. I would have kept these if they were 13s. Not bad. Fizzy is looking like, oh, there all right, go. Fizzy, congrats. Congrats, man. Enjoy. That's LeBron 9 player. South Beach, the Hedo PE, the Crazy Quick John Walls, Wade 7, Last Dance, Air Max Scorpion. What was the, what was the PE? Uh, the Hedos. Oh, the Hedos. The TSs. Yeah. And then the Johns? Yep. So many, so many things. Appreciate you all for joining us today, man. It's been a lot all of fun right. so far. It's We've got a request. For uh, these John Walls, crazy quick twos. These are a size 13.5. Uh, it's not going to show up at all, but the insole says Wall on it with the W logo of his. Um, and I wore these, I think I'm going to say once or twice. They're super lightly worn. I just played oh, on these. We, yeah, the title says new. Uh, okay, so they are worn. They are worn. Let's update that. And then we can start that as a buck. Pro, yeah, yeah, promo box. Um, yeah, promo box with the promo tag still. Um, at the time, they were calling them Audi Pure Crazy Quick 2. I think officially they just called them Crazy Quick 2s. So this was the follow-up. Is there that. samples too or no? Are they uh, yeah. promo tags on the inside? Uh, yep. Sample. Yeah, sample tag size 13.5, which I believe is John's size. Uh, I'll put sample on there just to... Yep. Let them know because and then it's so hopefully you can see it, but on the on the eyelets here it says wall across it. Um so these are a John Wall PE size. Uh I mean basically it's a John Wall PE of the crazy quick two. Um, but I wore them. That's crazy. Uh, and they have an iridescent it's live for those wondering. Yeah, live. Iridescent yeah. sort of metallic upper, it's crazy, super man. padded collar, the geo fit, and then the crazy quick bottom with the 
super kind of specked out grooves. I love so. that you didn't have like any sample information, but it's like sample PE, you know, <laughs> promo. Yeah. So John Wall, John Wall insole, <laughs> and then again, uh, you know, the wall. It's hard to read, but it does say wall through there. So I like shoe the man. gradient too. Congrats, man. The gradient on that's fire. It's yeah, this is a clean shoe. shoe. It's like yeah, love to see it. Congrats, man. What are these? Oh shit, these aren't listed. Uh, the black blue kamikazes are getting our guy. Black blue kamikazes? Yeah, those are pretty cool. Yep. All right, so we're going to do black and royal blue kamikazes, kamikaze ones, and then we're going to do South Beach LeBron 9 elites after this. Um, so these are size 12 and a half, size 12 and a half Reebok kamikaze retro. Brand new, never tried on. Black Royal Blue. Uh, we'll start this up. Yep. And we'll start it at a buck. Who are the kamikazes for those that don't know? Sean Kemp's first signature shoe of Reebok. Uh, one of the more iconic court reads. Just a crazy design. Super noticeable. Black, white, green was the one he played in, but this is the black and royal. It's kind of crazy. They went from that era of like, it's the kamikaze, but it was Sean Kemp's shoe, but it wasn't called the Sean Kemp one. Yeah, they didn't. I mean, even... Uh, some of the shoes that, like the Blast was the Nick Van Exel shoe, but you know, it didn't say Nick Van like, Exel. Yeah. But now it's like Air, Luca one. And Air yeah. Zoom generation. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, the so generation. this is the Reebok Kamikaze one retro. I want to say, I don't know the exact year, but this is probably 2013, 2014 era retro. So as J.R. Lyon called out earlier, that was the good era of retros for Reebok. They were doing nice materials. Uh, got the real Hexalite, which you can't really see there, that angle, but uh, black, royal, blue. Kamikaze ones. Somebody said any Jordans. We got a ton of Jordans that we're gonna get to for sure. Yep. Um, man, Schumann said it had some PEs. Man, he had some great PEs of these and the Kamikaze twos. He had some heat. That was when he was on the Kings. Yep. Crazy. Um, so again, size twelve five. Never tried on. All right. Congrats. B roll. Congrats. Uh, the guys asked for the your cool gray. Okay. Eleven a couple times. Oh, yeah. All right, That's we've gotten, oh, we've got these requests a couple times now. This is the LeBron 9 Elite South Beach. Got the original box and uh, alternate laces as well. Um, you can kind of see there's one with a pink lace that's in along with the teal lace. Um, these are worn, but super, super lightly. We right? can start this up. There is a reserve on these. Um, trying to show both outsoles here as well as I can. I love that color. Um, the LeBron 9 was the regular season shoe, and then these had the carbon fiber upgrade. Retail was 250 and the LeBron 9 Elite was the shoe LeBron wore his first championship. They only had four colorways, I think, they released, too. Yeah, they had the white, black, gold, which he won in. That's the pair he won in. There was the black, gold. There was this, taxi. and then there was the taxis. Oh, was the taxi release or no? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. dang, man. Yep. I, I remember that era. That was a great era. So, again, here's the outsole. You can see super lightly worn. Uh, I had a blast wearing a lot of shoes just one time. King apparently. Ken. King <laughs> Ken. Congrats, man. So, congrats. That's a fun one. It's a fun one to be able to see a pair like that again. 11 cool grays, 4 is gray orange. So, take the run that way again. Uh, you said which ones? Cool grays and then four eighty fours and a gray and orange color. Yep. Yes. All right. So we're gonna fire it right back up, man. These Love are that. sick. Love these that are color. sick. Uh, with the LeBron Nine Elite Taxi, these are yeah. clean. Um, kind of an alternate to the heat colors at the time, with the yellow as the emphasis, and then the black and the red accents. We're taking me back memory lane, dude. Uh, I heard a great story about how. Pat Riley wanted live, all. Live, if anybody wants. The quote them. was: Pat Riley had all. He said, "All my soldiers have to wear the same color boots." So, since nobody else had yellow shoes on the team, LeBron couldn't wear these in the game. Oh, crazy! So that's why they, they never like got Bruce worn. Lee vibes. Very, very much a Bruce Lee colorway. Yep. Very archaic. Um, got Let's the see. carbon fiber side. BX. Super lightly. In at the end, nice. I mean, these. I mean, you can all. I mean, super lightly worn. Just worn once, as you can see. All right. All right. Nice. Good what up, Steve? Right. That's a great one, man. I love that Steven, um, you said the other e uh, yeah, like gray and orange eighty fours. Yeah, I had. Got to be on that wall. Yeah. I'll find them. Okay. Uh, cool gray elevens. No. Yeah. Maybe those. 
Well, the actual uh, color where those were maize, I think. Maybe I think you're right, actually. Yeah. Uh, drums. All right. This cool. was the Cool Gray 11s from 2001. I want to show these as closely as possible. The outsole is in great condition, but as you can see, being from 2001, it is yellowed quite a bit on both sides. Um, so it is yellowed throughout, but it's live. And now. it is live. Yep. We are live. And they do have a different, you can't see it, but they have a different insole. Uh, the patent leather, I would say, is, is a little aged as well. Um, but for being, what, 22 years old? Yeah. These crazy. are in pretty damn good shape. In like 10 years, Jordan Brand's going to release them looking like that. Looking like this. Lost, yeah. and, <laughs> Lost, and, Lost, Lost and Cool Gray. Lost and Found Cool Gray 11 Reimagined yeah. Retro Plus. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I do like the outsole like that, though. It looks, it looks dope. But, uh, man, one of, I mean, you know, one of the all time greats. Cool Gray 11s. One of the first, uh, you know, first retro runs of the 11s in the non OG colorway. So, again, here's the outsole. You can see the yellowing carbon shank there. The 91 right now for those looking. Jordan 1 squads. On, it's, it's getting and then up I'm going to try to show the toe here if you're at, if you're looking. It's a little creased, but not not too bad for being 22 years old. Um, here's both sides here. And I and again, I think they're wearable. Obviously, anything 20 plus years old, you know, wear your own wrist, but, but I do think they are wearable. Um, I probably wore these two summers ago, actually, and they were fine. That's crazy. So, was it Sting getting rid of this many shoes, Nick? This no? was a hard one, but I, I actually got the lows of the retro, and I love the lows on the retro as well, so I wear those more recently. Um, I'm seeing somebody request the Way Away Last Dance, and we'll get to those for sure. I might actually have you grab those, Jordan. Is that the top one? Because um, I think, <laughs> I see, think they're in a crazy slip bag, so they might take a while. Like, we got to get those out the box first. So again, size 13, yeah, cool gray 11s, uh, in crazy good shape, but there is yellowing. So I do want to point that out. The outsole is yellowed. Outsole is yellowed throughout. And, uh, oh, not this one, I'm sorry. Uh, we're both, yeah. both looks, yep. Uh, so yeah. We got a winner. Do we? PDX really wanted them, congrats. That's what's up. Love to see it. Um, cool. All right. Yeah, this is uh, okay. what you guys see behind is only like some of the shoes, obviously, in the room. <laughs> there's still a lot. Yeah, we're going to get through everything, hopefully, but there's a lot. Um, all right. So we got a lot of requests for this. This is the, the Way of Wade One Last Dance. Um, so before the last dance came out, which was obviously about Jordan, um, D Wade had named his retirement season. Um, one last dance. You can kind of see here, it's got a graphic of him. And then uh, bear with me because this box is pretty intricate. Um, there is a slip bag for each shoe that says weight on it. And then Whoa. these are insane. Whoa, these are crazy. Are those, seven? are those weight sevens? Uh, this is the weight seven. Yep. Okay, so this is the right one. Let me double check the size on these, but I believe. Oh. The glitter. It's a size 12.5. 12.5. 12, okay. 12, yep. Um, yeah, these are crazy. Yo. The slip bag alone is impressive before you can get the shoe out. And they got sort of a waxed uh, lace on there. Bro, those are so And wild. I cannot begin to describe how crazy this sort of texture and material is. Um, the gold flakes And are then real. the heel. The heel has one last dance. Metallic gold throughout. And this was basically Leaning's uh, send-off shoe for D-Wade. It's got the three trophies embroidered on the inside of the tongue. Um, as J.R. Lyon points out, these will fit a size 13 just fine. Is there glitter inside the bag? Um, don't believe so. But, man, these are these are crazy. Um, no, here's the inside of the bag. Yeah, and the whole upper is kind of a hand, almost like hand-placed sequins, <laughs> metallic gold. These are nuts. So he said, wear them to a Taylor Swift concert. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor will come talk a to A little you bit of you. a glittery vibe, but my, <laughs> and then they got the gold glitter flakes through the midsole or through the outsole as well. <laughs> and then the iridescent wade and then the shank. So we can start this up. Uh, we do have a reserve on these because these are definitely a, a special edition. Uh, one. Did they release those dance. or no? I think just like a crazy limited amount. 
Um, yeah, but yeah, these are hand well. placed sequins throughout. They're live if you guys are interested. And they're live for any collection. They look like the, the Grammy edition or something. Those are yeah. just so crazy. Yeah, metallic gold throughout. Um, and again, gold flakes on the outsole. Never tried on. Call Size 12.5. The, the box because the boxes have tape on it. The box the does have the Wade logo. It was yeah, shipped. Um, oh, yeah, don't show the bottom though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but they ship them in the box. Yeah. Essentially, so. As special as the shoe is, they still just ship it in the yeah, box. Yeah, the regular but, box. Um, there's a double box inside. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's Never the, mind. Yeah. So the box. So the box is it, inside comes... and it comes in a special edition shipping oh, box. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. Okay. Which has the the portrait of Wade um, standing on top of the scores table. So these are nuts. Wizard of Oz, Ruby slippers. Again, hand placed just throughout. Yep. Yeah, in person they look like. Man, congrats! That's a hard shoe. Nice. I'm gonna put these back in the slip bag just because these are. Yeah, that's a fun one. That's a. I've never seen those, and I mean, just the cost of these goes insane. Time. Yeah. All right. That's like one of the most. Ridiculous looking shoes. Yeah, I've seen. Uh, just put these back there. Oh, and do those Hito PDs. Yep, yep, yep. Can you just set these aside? We're, yeah, we'll want to put the. Put them you guys back, are new to the stream. Make sure you guys follow my account. Um, we'll, we'll probably be running back another one soon. I mean, we, he has so much stuff in here; it's crazy. So, like, what's left on the wall is not what's left in the room. There's ten times that. Yeah, we could probably. Obviously. Jeff, if you want, you can start to fill stuff up on the wall, but. So um, make sure you guys follow, and then um, I'll be posting another show hopefully soon because we're trying. I'm trying to help him move these as quick as you can. We had a request for these. Uh, we started at 15 bucks, and uh, these are the type in Hito H E. Is that that one? Uh, so, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay. That's it. Uh, what did I start? Yeah, 30. That's fine. Start them up. So these are Hito Turkaloo uh, PEs. It's got the Hito 15 on the tongue strap. This is of the Supernatural Creator. Uh, these are size 13. They are worn briefly, but worn by me. So not, not game worn, but they are PEs from when Hito was on the Magic. Um, he did not wear these. I don't think he wore this model in the finals, but this was, I think, the season after. Yeah, this was the season after the Magic made the 08 finals, 09 finals. Um, if people are asking on size, they are size 13. Size 13, yep. Nice. Six. All right. Mr. Forever, again, another one. Congrats, man. What nice little request? random PD. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I just get through these. All right. One of my favorites. I walked into Foot Locker, bought two pairs at retail, and this is the second pair. I still have the other pair that I wear, but I'm going to let this one go. Size 13 Shack Gnosis. But this is from the, what would that have been? 2013 or 2012 retro? So this is the prior retro, not the more recent one. This is the prior one. We can start this up. It's live, it's live now. Um, says the bid. Yeah. So is that the bid or is that? Uh, Mr. Lyons bid, yep. Okay. So DS size 13 with the box, Shack Gnosis, one of my favorite Reeboks of all time. One of my favorite signatures from the great era that was the 1990s. Dunkman Shack logo on the heel. Uh, this was, as most people know, the original colorway uh, because there was only one original colorway. There was just a white flag. JR. Love it. JR, congrats. Local Portland guy, right? And then we're going to fire right up with another Shack Gnosis. Oh, these ones are crazy. Um, this was the Bachtober. I actually got the card here still. Um, and this was a Shack Gnosis with the spider web for Halloween. Can you show them the box? Let's just start these up. And then, yeah, they do come in a special edition uh, Halloween themed box for yeah, I don't think October. I... That's hilarious. Yeah, so these are Shack Gnosis size 13s. Never tried on. Uh, I forget off top what year they're from, but uh, they have an all black uh, kind of 3M upper and then blacked out thumb on the heel. And then almost like a, a crackled, uh, you can kind of see here, like a crackled texture. The spider web. You got a winner. Sweet. Those are dope. Congrats. Coys, congrats. Um, those over there, sorry. Um, let's fire these clays up real quick. Bah, never shout out to Brendan Dunn, somebody said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a pair of. Uh, shout out to Brendan Dunn. I like that guy. These are size 13.5. All right, KT7s. Yep. Let me start it. Yep. All right, KT7 Pro. Uh, they have Ooh, those are clean. 
you can kind of see this crazy carbon detailed shank that runs all the way around. Um, and then almost like a, it's a basically a boost-esque midsole. Um, so if you want something to hoop in, size 13, five, right now, guys. great hoop shoe, KT7s. Uh, the, the quality is great on these. Kind of a mesh upper uh, with some bonded materials over it. And then, uh, like I said, just, you know, easy to lay, super supportive. The grip on all the KT stuff is, is crazy good. And uh, this is the KT7 Pro. That's a little wild, man. Yeah, these are size 13.5. Cool. And then we'll oh, congrats. 5 KT ones. That's a great price. I mean, honestly, it's a nice looking shoe in person. What they go for? 62. Um, oh shit. All right. These are these are KT ones with uh, a slip bag, and then apparently brand new because I never opened the back. Um, a KT logo sock as well. So we got some. Some add-ons yeah, for this one, funny. and this is uh, Clay Thompson's first signature shoe with onto KT1. I want to say December of 2015. Is it this one worn? Uh, yep, yep. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, literally, barely. Worn. I played in these for an hour. That might have been that, that was definitely my best. Should I say with socks? Uh, with socks, yeah. That's dope. Um, man, I, I, I was playing music this whole time. That. that was that was a good one. I'm gonna start it now. And yeah, these. I mean, as you can see. Worn once for an hour, basically looking brand new. Um, some slight creasing, and this is the a war, uh, away Warriors colorway. You got the Clay Thompson KT logo on the heel. Uh, Warriors color. That's crazy. Do uh, they have they retro the KT ones yet? They, they did retro the KT ones. I don't know if they did this exact color, but they retroed them actually last year. That's kind of dope. Um, but they got this metallic black metallic finish. Um, there's almost a little bit of an iridescence in there, and then uh, sort of this. Kind of mesh, very much like a, a hyperfuse esque type type upper. If, if you're familiar with hyperfuse, um, and then just a simple black road warriors colorway, KT ones, and then again, got the got the KT logo socks in there to throw in along with the slip bag. Um, so this is a nice shoe here. All right, congrats. We have. This is a good one. All right. Soon flight 95. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I just got closer. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, I'll, I'll throw it over. This has been crazy, man. This is it's like super fun to be here in person, to be honest. Like, man, sorry. Right. Somebody requested these. Crazy BYW. BYW? Yep. Listen, and you can start it right up. All right, uh, crazy BYW, purple, black, white, my favorite colors, but I did not get around to wearing these. They are brand new. Uh, they got a mesh upper, kind of a kind of a suede-ish material, uh, ice bottom, super clear, and uh, brand new, size super, 13. Super boosty. Size missile. 13 with the box. Nice. Uh, this was 2018, I want to say. Yes, yeah, so that All-Star. What was LA All-Star. All and retail was, uh, I right. think, like 160, 170. Yeah. Yeah, oh, man. So that was the off, a, that was the off court version. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Forty bucks is a good price. It's, it's a great uh, deal. Take these two boxes. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Right. We also had a request for uh, the anatomic spawn low. Uh, I wore these once. These are the vets day, so you can kind of see. Uh, I think it was called the Wounded Warrior. Yeah, Wounded Warriors Project at that time was Under Armour's uh, oh, sort of military component they were donating proceeds to. Um, Live right now for you Navy guys. Neon, uh, Anatomic Spawns, you can kind of see worn. Uh, I wore these outdoors just kicking around. Uh, Navy Neon. And then they got kind of a neon mesh that you can kind of see through, through the toe. But this is the Anatomic Spawn. This was the shoe Steph Curry's uh, wore with Under Armour his first year when he signed with them before he got to his signature series. Um, so these are fall of 2013. Those are crazy. Yeah. Those are basketball shoes? Yep. That's wild. I didn't yeah, even realize. They really look like wore them on the almost. cover of Slam. He wore these on the oh, cover crazy. of Slam, my friend just said, but no in a different way. colorway. Yeah, which I actually have a crazy story about that. So I photoshopped <laughs> that colorway he wore. <laughs> I was here when you did it. That's yeah, that's remember. funny. That's why I remember it wearing like a hornet's color and they asked if it could be blue and yellow to match. 
I hit day after and they sent it to me. Ooh, shop. steel, nice. Shoe man. Shoe man, congrats, man. He asked for him. He asked for these two. Right, cool. Shoe man, we got you. All right. Shoe man has made a request as well uh, for a pair of the and one, two cheese. Uh, this is a pair size 14 white navy and they got skinny embroidered on the collar there um you can kind of see the the bag is a little fogged but not too bad nice. on both sides it's live it's live uh there's a little bit of a i don't know what that is it's a little dirty on the collar there i do want to call that out you can kind of see that uh, but otherwise these are does it say brand new Maybe, yeah, no, i wore these i wore these once they're, they are worn. They are worn. Keep, the, keep that in mind, please, when bidding. Yep, they are worn. But they do have skinny on the side there. Kurt Schilling angle is funny. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you can get these on a steel. And one Tucci, the follow-up to the Tai Chi. Uh, it's kind of got this cool 360 design that wraps all the way around. Uh, so, these were a fresh design to me. I want to say this was 2004. Nice. And Schumann Schumann. Got him. All right, congrats. congrats. Someone congrats. asked if you ever had Dadas. Yeah. See you know, what somebody asked about Dadas, that's funny. I got a pair right here. That's what we got our laptop on. <laughs> this is yeah. the only signature shoe in Sacramento Kings history. Uh, I'm not selling these. I'm keeping these. I bought them on release day in, I think, 2001, maybe 2002. <laughs> Chris Weber's signature shoe. I love those. Uh, I, I do need a pair of the Chrome still. That's been a shoe I haven't been able to track down, but... Ooh. We do buy some dad ass. Um, these are sick. These are Zoom Flight 95s. Yep. Uh, no. Nope. No, type in Zoom Flight. Uh, sorry. Uh, they should be in there. They're, They're 95s, out. though, right? Yeah. I don't have them. Ah, shit. Let's have I can them. Have them. Yeah. I'll talk about them as we're going. So, uh, this is the Zoom Flight 95 from the career pack for Jason Kidd. They are a size nine. Um, and they got the two on the tongue for the Mavericks. Uh, this was his last season in 2013. They did uh, Cal, they did uh, red for the Nets, and then they did the Mavs with the blue. Um, but I always loved these because they actually have the iridescent uh, spheres inspired by the Zoom Flight 5, which was his signature shoe back in 97 when he was with the Mavs. Um, and then they also have the J-Kid logo, and it says Jason Kidd under the clear bottom. You can see the iridescent shank all through the clear bottom. Uh, these are never tried on brand new. Uh, they are about 10 years old, so they do have some yellowing, as you can kind of see um, here as well. And then uh, let's start at 95. Yeah, if you know Zoom Flight 95, these go for a ton. Uh, this To me, this is one of the, not one of, this is the best retro colorway, I think, of the Zoom Flight 95. Uh, so this is size nine. We'll start this up. Yep. I should. I should scoop those. <laughs> yeah. You got the contrast stitching on the upper there. Black new buck with the carbon fiber. With the royal blue. This was again made for the Mavericks when he was a. Uh, and it's it's a number two because the year he won the title with the Mavericks, he was number two. Uh, his first run with the Mavs, he was number five, but they went with number two to celebrate um, the championship here. Crazy. I love the pods though. That, that, the iridescent. Yeah, the so iridescent fire. is sick. It looks really good. So Sheesh. it's great, on the bouncel too. Great shoe. Um, too. Yeah, and so it also good. has uh, the original box size nine. Shoe man says he's going to send you pics of his spinners. <laughs> shoe man, I, I at one point I heard those were made for Mike Miller, but I got to confirm that. Jason Morris. Yeah, that's a steal. That's a crazy Congrats. steal. Damn. Uh, Dan said he had those uh, the promos before but sold them to pay for his wedding so now he's hyped he can pass these down to his daughter there we go oh, nice. all right type in Puma. the queen yep and just press go all right steal time this was a puma alexander mcqueen collab you can kind of see the mcqueen logo there on the tongue uh these are a size 12 but they run a little big i want to say retail was 270 just a smooth, like the leather's crazy on these. Uh, Puma right. Alexander McQueen, they are worn. Uh, no box, um, but if somebody wants to kick these around, just a nice clean shoe. Uh, it's got the rolled edges on the on the on the Puma stripe, uh, the red band throughout, and then again the metallic Alexander McQueen logo on the tongue. So these are fresh. 
quality. Yeah, quality is crazy. Sometimes it's hard to tell the leather quality through the through the camera, but man, the quality on the leather is nuts. Uh, clean toe cap on both, and then kind of this red and gray stripe, as you can see there. Uh, I wore these a few times, actually the Puma headquarters for meetings, <laughs> and then uh, uh, just been sitting around ever since. But Puma, Alexander McQueen's. I like that Jordan One Squad's winning it right now. Uh, yeah. It's amazing. Welcome back. <laughs> Amazing. Let's see what's good. All right. Did those, Somebody wants uh, the day breaks. We'll get those rolling. Do those 11s, are they cool. still pending? Amazing. Congrats, man. Yeah. Um, we can try those again. Let me try. You know where. Actually, yeah, that, what's that orange box? This one? Yeah. This was one. This is stuff that didn't okay. sell. Did, are there day breaks over there? Uh, I think I had one on the box on here that wasn't sold. We'll get into that. Oh, there's one. All right, y'all. We got these gray Nike Daybreaks. I don't know if you see those on there. Those are clean. Yep, light gray. Um, size 12, brand new a box. Just a clean shoe to kick around. We'll get this started up. Again, brand new with the box. I don't know what they have. Uh, they do, yeah, good call. They do have handwriting on the box. Uh, apparently, reading the label is hard for me, but <laughs> <laughs> it's in Nick's professional handwriting. But so. uh, but yeah, the Puma. Or I'm sorry, the Nike Daybreaks. Just a clean, clean shoe to kick around. Live, if anybody's interested. Yep. Maybe we too have a reserve. I think retail. Did somebody say like they had a pre-bid? I thought they had a pre-bid. Mm, that was starting the price list. Okay, so they didn't go. Nope. All right. That's all right. We'll put them back in the vault for now. All right. Again, these Wade boxes, and I cannot emphasize enough the quality on these is crazy. So this is the Wade. Oh, the three actually, that's fresh. Three opens from the side. Uh, this is the Wade three gray boys. Um, again, the quality on the box is great, but it also comes with um, a Wade logo, sort of yeah. mesh slip bag. We can start this up. Okay. Um, and again, the Gray Boys was a, just a kind of a gray splatter print um, of the Wade 3. Uh, brand new, never tried on. You got the carbon shank. Uh, just a clean design. And then the leathers are super nice along the collar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just checked. I think that, yeah, it's made a big difference. Those are those are pretty clean. Wave of Wade three again, size thirteen, brand new, never tried on. The Cold deep, gray deep Wade logo, the and then there's this little splatter print throughout OB. the upper. I see Ob. Uh, box on these is crazy. Comes with a mesh slip bag as well. Just yeah. a clean shoe. Ob's up in there again. I got the uh, the commercial Spotify account. Back again in action. <laughs> I mean, we got to learn about all sorts of things. Like, what are they going to do? Uh, I got a family, Sh man. I shoe like, man, shoe man wants the peak uh, SCPs. Got you. Yep. What's retail on those guys, too? Are they like uh, 180s? I think, I I think they say, were 185 or something back in the day. I say 160, but yeah. Yeah. In that range. Quality is great, though. Yeah. Again. Yep. Brando. Brando, what up? It. All right. Congrats, man. Have you grab these at the same time, Jim? All right, another Wade three. So the other one, and these are called. Oh, they're in the slip bag, so I gotta get these out. These are called the Raz Fuego. These are wild. Oh, dang. these are wild. But this oh, was a limited geez. colorway. Of, well, it's like uh, a prism sort of look. Yeah. Too. You can start this up. Okay. Yep. All right, it's live. So wave of Wade three again. Oh, those are crazy. Brand you never tried on. It's like lime green uh, you and see D Wade there on the toe tip, just a wild colorway. Yeah, uh, comes with the box, comes with the mesh slip bag. Uh, great quality shoe. They were doing their thing at that that's time. It's crazy because they they're usually they're really good leather quality, but like yeah. this one's not leather, it's like canvas. The shank or plate, you could see, and then yeah, they got like a almost like a ballistic mesh, ballistic nylon yeah, material. Yeah, that's better like with canvas. uh, yep. That's crazy. Leather tongue though is nice. And is that is that carbon fiber on the whole side right there? 
Yeah, that's the whole cool. shank goes through. Yeah, yeah that's wild. All that's right, nice. G Money, congrats. G -Money. Moving quick, guys. We moved over 100 pairs already in the live. Thanks to you guys. We appreciate you guys for joining in. We'll do another giveaway in like, let's do another one in like another two or three, okay? Where's the uh, SC sheet? Where's the peak drugs? I don't know. Oh, they're down here. I also pulled out the Gordon Hayward's. Yep. Cool. All right, we got a request for these. Um, this is a peak times soul collector so it's actually got this special card of artwork it's got uh, a shirt also with the embroidered s logo that's great. and then there's a little cover oh this is nuts these are wild Holy moly. all right and you can kind of see this is the peak tai chi andrew wiggins wore these uh when he first signed with peak but then you can see the s logo there on the tongue tab uh, the tongue on the lace loop on the tongue tab, and it's got this sort of winged. Yeah, we can start these up. These are brand new, never tried on. I got the carbon shank. Those uh, obviously didn't release, no. Yeah, correct. These are uh, basically like a I don't know, friends and family, if you want to call it that. Um, you got the S logo on both the lace loops, and then uh, got the original uh, hang tags and the icy bottoms on both. So. Can I hold one? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I just I keep wanting to grab yeah, them these, and look at them. These Every are time wild. These they're are right wild. next to me. Yep. Their midsole is like Boost, too. It's yeah. like a Boost midsole, but not. It's a peak version. Yep. P pop, uh, pop pop. So these are crazy. Yeah. And again, it comes with a special box, but also the embroidered S logo shirt and then the artwork with the hand card. Uh, and then the whole midsole is like a it's like a Boost type material. For those that know about the peak tai chi stuff though it's good the material's yeah. good the, the yep. comfortable stuff super nice to hoop in so this and this is the model andrew wiggins was wearing when he first time with peak that's crazy i didn't even know he was with peak oh yeah he got his I own he was with adidas for a minute right yeah yeah, yeah. That's all right wild. andy nice congrats man you. that was a good pickup man not something you see literally something you'd see nowhere so appreciate nick for yeah, these are wild those things. Those it's are even cool. got a the t-shirt is like fire too to be honest yeah, yeah, definitely got to steal on those. We'll have to box that later because it's a little. We'll just set that on there. Um, do we do these? No. Oh damn! All right, more more D Wade stuff. This is the Wade One playoff. Yep. We'll start it up. Sheesh. All right, this is the Wade One playoff. Live. Black red. Uh, again, W for Wade on the bottom of the eyelets. Uh, the leather's crazy on these. Entire heel is molded. Um, yeah, Wade one play one point five playoff. These are crazy. The box is nice on these two. You got the shank. You got the clear pivot point with the Wade logo. And then I love the Wade one because they were doing the Stingray material on a lot of them, which is pretty fresh. Uh, so just the materials are super upgraded throughout. You can see the Stingray there. They always did really nice color colored yeah. material or quality materials, and then lots of carbon fiber on them too yep. like both yeah so super nice Premium leather feel. you can kind of see stingray accents throughout and then this shoe was different than the wade one because it had this sort of uh, bar there for a little more support uh and uh, i'd probably say a slightly lower collar uh, crazy 65 that's a great price dude that's, that's a super steal. great buy all right nice congrats man let's do sheesh these. All right. These are the Quandos. KW? Oh, yeah. Some of you might appreciate yep. these. Start it up. All right. This shoe is clean. I just don't wear white shoes, really. But these are our size 12.5. Size 12.5 Quandos. Uh, if you guys know about these, I think they were a year or two ago they dropped. Uh, they got the wingtip. Again, try, never tried on brand new. Super clean outsole on both. Um, just the leather is mad nice on these. They um, just released a, a new colorway of those in like yeah, a again, month ago. size twelve five, new with box. That's a G Dragon, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like he's the dude that did the Air Force these Ones are clean. with the tearaways. Yeah, these are clean. The other so, the super other nice ones leather, wingtip, and then this flap. Um, I believe is removable. Yeah, I think it's removable. Wait, what, how how old are those? I thought those these ones are. I think just a year or two old. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't think they're that old, but um, 
I yes. didn't realize very that, dressy man. feel. Got the wingtip vibe, all white, clean white. But then you got the slight yellow accent on the embroidery on the heel. Um, these are the Quando ones. I want to see Nick wearing those. <laughs> yeah, he won't wear he won't wear white. So the triple whites. Oh yeah. Ob, you, congrats again. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do another giveaway here. We're gonna do a boost ball with a shirt. With a shirt. Got the Adidas logo shirt. And then the boost ball. Uh, I don't know why, but boost balls to me are pretty cool because you can just yeah. bounce them. So enter the giveaway there. We'll pick them in a second here. Uh, let it populate for a little bit. I'm trying to read through some of these comments. Somebody said any plain running shoes. Actually, yeah, we got a. Uh, okay. Got some. I got some Asics. I'll throw up here actually next. Um, but again, boost boost ball here. How many people we got entered? Fifty-eight. In? In the, All right, get in. Get in if you guys want. We're gonna run it. Right. I'm gonna run the entry. Let's two, fire it up. Three, one. two, one. Good luck, guys. Remember the, back in the day, boost balls were reselling for hundred plus dollars. <laughs> yeah, for real. Someone keeps asking for the form eighty fours, and I keep buying them. There's a different one, I and I think I think they're under there because it was a pair that didn't. Uh, the payment had failed, so they might be in the back. <laughs> Sneaker sweeper. Or swapper. Congrats, nice. man. Nice, congrats. Shirt plus ball. Yo, I, I mean, boost balls are fun, man. All right, right this is a... Puma Nitros, any Puma Nitros? Yeah, we got the Puma Nitros in a second here, too. So somebody asked about Asics. Um, this is an original Asics gel Kinsei. I want to say 07. I want to say 07. Dang, um, can we start it? Yeah, we could start this up. Um, oh, I, lightly worn. I'm talking like I specifically remember I wore these to get lunch when I was in Eugene in camp, at uh, in college. But um, I just wore these once. They are not ran in. Um, silver blue was kind of like the launch colorway. I didn't know they had a Kinsey uh, back then. That's crazy. this was the first Kinsey. Yeah, these yeah. were these were fresh. I want to say retail was 170 or 165 yeah. when they first dropped. They're live right now. And, you and they are interested. live. That's crazy. Um, I again, again, pretty lightly worn at all through the outsole. Uh, I don't know if I would run in these now, given they are 15 years old, but if, if you are a no Kinsei way. fan, I mean, the Kinsei went on to be yeah, sort of a, a great series for Asics. That's a good, uh, right, good And this style, is the man. first one, and these are clean, man. You can rock these now, yep. Sick. Oh, that's a steal. Yeah, yeah, that's a huge steal. I mean, it's just like one of those retro runners are kind of in. That's going to be like, they'll probably re-release it now that they've been making some of the crazy stuff. Somebody asked about Feel of Grant Hills, and... Uh, Obviously, most everybody knows the feel of Grant Hill 2 and even the 1, but this is an obscure one. This uh, is the box, though. This is the original box. There is shipping yeah. tape on it, um, and it's the Grant Hill 5, my mistake, Grant oh. Hill 5. So let me lace these up. I got to double check. This might have been the last. I think this might have been the last. I don't know if there was a 6. This might be the last Grant Hill with Fila, but... uh. This is an original, I want to say from 99. They were worn once. Yeah. Um, I mean, they they barely looked worn at all, but they were worn once. Um, this was a white navy, and it had this sort of digital embroidery type print. Um, feel the logo on the side, 33 on the heel. Where will we start it? GH, well, we can start that. Uh, Adidas, Adelaide slides are amazing. They're, they're one of my favorites for sure. So original. Nine, I think 1999, 2000 or so era. Fila Grant Hill fives with the GH logo on the tongue. Original box, which does have. Yeah, I'm gonna try to show it here real quick. Yeah, yeah. Does have the priority tape on it that uh, somebody from eBay, <laughs> somebody from eBay included for some reason. Yeah. But um, and again, these are. You we were not. It. We're not going to ship them like that. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> we'll and, I, and I wouldn't. Uh, you know, they are possibly wearable, but as a collector, I think it's more about being a collector. Yeah. Forever. Um, Congrats on another one, man. Yo. That's another classic one. Uh, what size are the Dunkmans? The Dunkmans are a 13.5. Yeah. Put them up there. Oh, yeah. You're I nice. tried to merchandise. <laughs> Smart guy. All right. We'll do this uh, afterburner cleat purple. Yeah. Baseball? No, this is a football cleat. Oh. No, it says baseball. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. yeah. I thought it, were, lo it looks like I thought they were football, football. Or it looks like a soccer cleat almost. Yeah. Crazy. This has got to be football. All right. I think it's a football. Real quick, all purple. Yep. We'll start this up. Okay. 
This would be a steal. It says baseball. It says baseball on the box. I'm 95% sure it's football because a guy from Adidas football gave it to me. Uh, he knew I liked purple, and he thought they, they were great. So he thought, you know, if you ever feel like playing some football, this is going to be the shoe for you. Um, or baseball. Or baseball. <laughs> Still has the sticker on the outsole. Never tried on. Uh, somebody said metal is baseball, so that makes them baseball. All right. Thank you for that because we I didn't know. Either. Dang. Baseball for sure. <laughs> baseball for sure. All right. Yeah. These are baseball cleats. Can you imagine? Crazy the box is right. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> 15 bucks. Congrats. Chat, chat remains undefeated. Sure you Somebody what? Oh, a, that was the steal of the day. That was the lowest price thing of the day. So congrats All on right. that. This is a cool one. These are by request. This is a oh. sample tag Pogba cleat. Let me get this out of the box. Now, I, I don't know. I'd have to double check. I don't know what his size is, but these are a size 11, 5, size 10 and a half UK. Um, that might be his. Check Ooh, check if they're his size. Paul Pogba. Right, he's pretty big. So he's pretty a bigger dude, so I don't know if these are his size. But I don't know if I have this um, one. But it's got, as you Pogba can see. Here. Um, Google says he's 12. Right. So these are black and gold. You got the metallic gold. Oh, no, this says he's a 10 and a half. Yeah. These are 11 and a half, though, yeah. But, yeah, 10, but, you, five, but he's UK. Oh, so. This was... Yep. It could be a size. Um, and then they got a secondary insole that says here to create. I'm here to create. And then also uh, a slip bag. So we can start this up. Is this the right one, though? Double check. It's 11 and a half. Yep. yep. Okay. A so US 11 and a half. It's a but, promo box. But yeah. European websites say he's a 10 5. So that's. That yeah. is. Yep. That's crazy. Those are fire. Yep. All right. Press go. Yep. yep. It's right, live. Cool. So these are live. Shoe Man's on it. 90 right now. Yep. You got some crazy stuff. Oh, I didn't bro. even see like, that. They got so... the ten right here on the tongue on the tongue tab too. Oh, it's on the yep. yeah. The ten is on both. I should have popped that out. The tens on both tongue tabs. So these That's are fresh. Funny. So yeah, stuff like this I would get sent to photograph, and then you know then it just kind of sits from there. But happy That's that somebody crazy. can get a, get their hands on these. Again, the the knit collar is crazy, um, and I don't know why I didn't point this out. These are laceless, which was kind of a cool innovation at the time. Uh, that Adidas was kind of leading in soccer. those are probably crazy. Yeah. Crazy plate. Uh, congrats. Man. That's a good one. Uh, we got a gulag on the payment on that one. Try to rerun that payment. I, it looks like I think you're the first time buyer on the, in this stream. So check your uh, bank maybe and then try to rerun that if you can. Is that somebody requested the U.S.? No. Oh. The, uh, people want the Gordons, the colors. He's We're gonna on. put that one on on, on hold right now because that, that payment didn't go through on that one. Type in GH. But try try again if you can, oh, please. Type in onto and then GH. Uh, oh, damn, we need to let's enter these in real quick. GH one. Father's Day. Onto. Oh, yeah. Onto GH one. Father's Day. Uh. Size size eleven. Brand new, crazy promo box. Someone said, "Is this said his daughter's artwork?" Uh, it is. Yes. So, I'll talk about these while we're listening. Them. So, um, this is a special <laughs> box of uh, an Ansa GH1, um, and it has his daughter's artwork. Um, I don't know if you guys know the story, but um, when he was hurt, he had a cast, and his daughter's kind of painted on the cast. Um, so Bernie, Nora, Charlie got their names on it, and then inside, Whoa, that's crazy. it has kind of this confetti, and then the shoe actually has the artwork replicated all throughout as well that his daughters had done for him, oh. and then a multicolor outsole as well. So um, I want to say his wife I did like a workshop with them, and they had sort of watercolor they were painting as well, and then uh, yeah. you can kind of see on the insole there. It has some of the stickers from what the girls were picking out and putting into their artwork that as well. That's fire. The way so it blends together is so good. These are a size uh, 11. Are we starting? We started. Yeah. These are a size 11, but the promo box is definitely uh, the key here, which is sick. And then again, they replicated the artwork from the daughters Sheesh. all throughout the shoe. So really cool story. Um, there's a cool video, I think, I want to say from that year where they're surprising him on father's day and give him the uh 
give him their art and the shoes. That's crazy. So these are sweet. These are super, super. Again, crazy. size 11. It's live right now for anybody and interested. It's going for 59 a, right now. It's super a knit, low price. A knit toe, and then the artwork splashed all throughout. And then again, the the, the wife and the daughter, or the wife and the daughter's names uh, along the. Did they ever release this colorway or no? I think it was probably like a hundred pair promo type thing. If anything, I don't know for sure though. Yeah, I don't know if it's on uh, release. Again, GH one Gordon Hayward onto signature shoe. Yeah, really. But really with the box. crazy, with the crazy the box, box is crazy. Yeah, it's like a hard box. Uh, and then oh, on the inside, it does say "Daddy's always happy," which is kind of his tag. Father's Day is coming up too, so, so. just just saying. <laughs> nice. Ethan, congrats, man. That's a really dope one. If that was my size, I'd be bidding on that. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's super, super cool looking. I love the water. I honestly would, would buy those just to try to replicate it. It looks crazy. Um, Sol Sole, try to rerun that again if you can. I saw you tried to once. Try again if you can, or contact your bank and then try again. Sometimes with new stuff, it ends up. No, you got it. Oh, oh oops. Okay, no worries. There you go. Uh, superstar. Yep, those. Okay, let me fire this up. Um, all right, these are size 13.5 Superstar PK, short for Prime Knit, but it's the Human Race edition. So they're all black with the box, uh, Human Race on the heels, and then the Human Race graphic insole, triple black, Superstar Prime Knits. Very simple, very clean. It's live now if anybody wants it. And it's alive. And then it does have the Adidas logo here on the inner side as a tab. Um, but the whole upper is prime knit again size 13.5 with the box never tried on brand new so it's like somebody snagging them yeah yep. good price so 40 price. bucks for now good price yeah, there great you go price. Congrats, cool. congrats easy easy bid um, one time. this is gonna be a funny oh, pack you have the oh. Any more super uh, cool superstars, 35th anniversary stuff by any chance? Actually, can you brush them, brush them off? Somebody said what? Kicks, um, Kick Plus was asking about superstars, 35th anniversary stuff. Uh, nah. I think not really. Track those down. Oh, here's the forum lows. They were just in the black box. Oh. All right, this was the long awaited requested forum 84 low ADVs. Uh, it's kind of a what would you hey, say? We, like? we got the pure control um hogwa the it did go through. Oh cool, yeah, yeah cool. So um kind of a light gray off kind of a off off white, light gray esque, and then black with orange accents on the stripe. Uh, we can start this up. All right. Um brand new, never tried on in the box, forum eighty four low ADV, obviously a clean, clean shoe. Uh super nice suede throughout. And I think we've had a couple people requesting these, so yeah, appreciate it. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> yeah, they've been. All right, it's live right now at 24, Navi Dread. Dunkman 3, somebody's asking. Yep, I see you, Rich. Can you try to do that or no? Yeah, we'll do those next. Oof. So, again, Forum 84, size 13. Brand new, never tried on. And then they got slight orange accents, but sort of a light. A light gray upper with the suede and then the gum bottom. Yes. Kick Pusser's nose color. Kick yeah. Pusser says it like, um, been wearing forums all year. I agree, man. Forums are great. Honestly, for me, not unpopular opinion forums over Air Force One. I know people, I, I'm not an Air Force One guy. Out Nike dunks Woo. over forums, but forums over in hot. Air Force One. Type in ERX. I don't like, uh, type in ERX. These are wild. I don't like uh, Air Force Ones on feet. And you can just start it. Okay. All right. Converse ERX. Black silver, they got like kind of stud esque lettering oh, and then a bunch crazy. of different textures. You can kind of see the little. What in the world are those? Yeah, are they the basketball, retro basketball shoes or what? It's a retro of uh, OG, like late 80s Converse basketball shoe. Uh, so these are wild. Crazy. Don C had done a couple collabs on these. This is just a black wow. silver. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what year these are from, but these are wild. It's live for anybody interested. It those is live. Are, they look like a Michael Jackson special or something. Yeah. It's crazy stuff. Again, the Converse. whole toe cap has kind of got this metallic sort of texture, and then there's a toe print sort of marble graphic patent on the collar. Like it's, you know, you're stepping out for sure. <laughs> uh, brand, brand new, never tried on, size 13. Right here? The I studded, don't think so, but you can kind of see logo. the cons. Yeah, That's crazy. Cons logo is studded as well. So these are wild. Where do you get all these? Where do you, you get these random ones, bro? Those are so random and crazy. 
Oh, OB, congrats, man. Congrats, OB. I'm like, sometimes, I mean, sometimes I look at my collection, I'm like, what, do I, what did I get? But you get some crazy weird stuff, man. Yeah, you got um, somebody else requested? Yeah, heavy metal band, somebody said. I agree, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, these are Forum Crazy Lights. Forum Crazy Lights? Yes. What? So this was a, a short-lived window. I don't think people remember this. This was probably 2011. So this was after the Crazy Light basketball shoe came out, um, which I think are over my shoulder in those sharp blues. Um, so this is a Forum, but it's done with a Crazy Light execution. And then there's like a rain... Almost like a, a, te- a water droplet, like t- sort of texture oh, yeah. on the upper. So we can start this up. That's crazy. Um, they are lightly worn. Probably wore these twice. What makes it a crazy light? The upper? The upper. Yeah, the yeah, fact okay. that they did like a, and you can sprint see it's web. got the sprint web. So that's yeah, the. Yeah, fuse. Okay. So it's got that it's a kind of. Because it's outsole though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. I've never seen those. Yeah. So, you know, with forums coming back, maybe. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's people like people are more cool into these, but yes. Forum crazy lights. Um, at that time, forums weren't really a thing, but they, they brought these back out as a crazy light inspired. That's crazy looking. And then I got the original box as well. Again, these are size 13 and worn. Uh, probably, what, 2012 era? Yeah. Like the most breathable forums ever with, with an upper. Yeah, JR Lyon said every every brand was using the, you know some of their most iconic fuse. models, but doing a fuse upper at that yeah. time. Yep, that's 1,000% accurate. <laughs> it was cheaper than leather, probably, huh? Yeah. Uh, so again, forum crazy lights. They're still in the kicking right now. Uh, with that kind of a, a rain raindrop of texture. Sauced. There we go. Congrats on the the super weird. Th- I mean, I've been following this for a while. I've never seen those. It's so cool. this was the real crazy light. This was six shoe. Um, nine point eight ounces and a nine. At that time, the lightest shoe ever. Um, this was the sharp blue and white colorway. Uh, I, I didn't did, add those. I did. Oh, we didn't? I, I got it. Okay. Oh, Just right. Adidas Crazy Light Sharp Blue, size 13. Uh, yeah, size 13. Worn. No box. Yeah, we fired up at one. Right. So, yeah, we'll get this one. We'll get this one fired off in a second here. Um, as Steven called out, the marketing for this shoe was sick. They were basically slicing other shoes in half to show how much would have to take off to be 9.8 ounces. Um, so we'll, we'll get this one rolling here. This is the launch colorway from 2011 of the uh, Crazy Light Ones in the sharp blue and white. Again, played in probably, I mean, pretty lightly. How, how what year did those come out? 20, 2011. Jeez, uh, yep, 2011. Um, got the sprint frame with the metallic blue. I mean, for Adidas' sake, this was probably their best shoe of the decade, right? Like that was a groundbreaking shoe for them, and traction looks crazy. As you guys know, every single shoe since has had the word "crazy" in it, probably. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that was a great, a great era of the crazy lights. Uh, this was one of the launch colorways, along with the black, red, and then the gray neons. So this was; these were sweet. Oh, wow. Crazy light. It's actually crazy how light they are. <laughs> I know. Something I put shipping at one to two pounds instead yeah. of three, like I remember two when the dude was telling me the name. I'm like, I mean, yeah, shit, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the gray ones. Nice. And as Steven says, yes, this was one of those shoes that D-Rose, I think the D-Rose one had already come out actually, but uh, but then he had his his line that was very similar with that. Well, good for that. Yeah. Well, I like uh, the uses of ones. three yeah. stripes wrapped around the collar too. That's kind of nice. So we're going to actually do a little crazy light flyby. So these are the grays. We can start this off. This is a size, what, nine? Uh, I didn't say. Yeah. Size nine, yep. It's size nine. Sorry, All right, size nine live, crazy light as well. Uh, gray white. 20 bucks. Hoop shoe if anybody wants them. Great shoe from that Adidas 2011 era. Uh, Again, it's a size nine, guys. Sorry, I size didn't list nine. it. Size nines, yep, size nine. Um, super lightly worn, uh, gray white. Incredible condition from yeah. 2010. From 12, I can't believe that was 12 years ago. I know, it's yeah. embarrassing. You're getting old. The gray whites, yep. And then I got a, I got a wild, crazy light up next. Hey, congrats. Um, all right. D Maryless, is that it? Congrats, man. All right. So 
Wait, where's the? Oh, okay. all right. So we're gonna sell these as a pack. Yep. All right, we're gonna sell these as a pack. So I was, I'm gonna call it, I don't know, board or whatever you want to call it. But I had some, I had some vouchers to do some, some my Adidas shoes at the time. So I did some crazy lights in a Gucci colorway, and if you can see it, it says Burr on the side. Obviously, Gucci Mane inspired. And then I actually did a Gazelle in a similar colorway. Both of these are size 13s. My Adidas, for those that didn't yeah. know, is you can design your own. Basically, their version of Nike ID. Yeah. Um, or Nike by you, for those that don't even know Nike ID. Yes. Yeah, so I'm making it real <laughs> no, old out no, here. Seriously. And, and these small. also have the Burr on the side in that Gucci esque. So we'll start this up at both. Um, again, this is for both shoes, size 13. I'm going to unofficially call this the Burr Pack. So gazelles and gazelle and crazy light one. That's I mean the gazelles are super trending right now still. That's uh, crazy. In that Gucci esque, you know Gucci esque color, or if you just want to call them Christmas, whatever. Um, and then again, both worn. Clarifying, not from the Gucci collection. Yeah, not yes. Not. As, as my friend said, not official <laughs> Gucci collection no. at all. This was me on my Adidas. <laughs> Sick. Nice. Forty six, good does it still nice what, what's some of your requests? Uh I don't have any. If you guys do have any requests, uh feel free to call out on the chat. And then just as a reminder to you guys that if you guys use um if you guys do buy more than one item, uh, shipping gets dropped significantly on the next item. So appreciate you all for, for joining in on the stream today. Uh, we do have some more giveaways. We'll try to do another one in just a second. Court force. Oh, no, actually, freeze. Be true freeze. Yep. Didn't fire it up. All right. Size 13, brand new, never tried on. This is the be true theme of the free 5.0. I'm going to guess this was 2014 or 15, maybe. Um, original box. I mean, Nike say the date on there, so I should just check. Yeah, 2014. Yep, 2014. Um, again, the Be True theme. So you have sort of, you know, that rainbow pride uh, colorway throughout. Be True hashtag mismatched on both with the different color accents. So clean shoe, black, white. Be True theme. All right. My daughter would for Yeezy freak slides. out if I had this. <laughs> what's that? People keep asking for Yeezy slides. Yeah, it's so weird. Shoe man, what's up? <laughs> nice. Congrats, right, man. These are the All right, I'm going to need somebody in the comments to verify or not. I forget if these were a Stussy collab, but if not, they were fresh. Black, neon, and 3M. The 3M is a little aging through here. Uh, and these are worn, but these are size 13s. I want to say these are from like 07, 08. Yeah, I remember you wearing those. And I used to rock these. These were fresh. Court Force with 3M the accents. Two bottoms almost? Uh, very close. To, yeah, very, very uh, 1987, very close to the Jordan 2 bottom. Crazy. Same era. I threw it in and started. Um, and then, yeah, we start this up. Yep. And these are, these are worn with the original box. Um, this was when Nike was doing their kind of tier zero type stuff. Uh, size 13. Super brown. The leather on the toe is super nice. Does have some creasing as they are worn. Five dollars right now. Six dollars. It's live for those interested. Somebody's about to get a steal. Yep. Yeah. yeah these were, these were fresh. Piece of your history right here. That's and crazy. the swoosh is actually a patent leather texture. I don't know if you could really see that, but it's pretty it's pretty slight, but it has some gloss to it. So, court you force. Held onto those for so many years, bro. Yeah. Retail box is a hundred. Yep. So black, black, green bean, and white. Yeah, green bean officially. That's crazy. I, I just say neon, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So these were smooth. Yeah, I'm gonna look through the silver and stuff. That's crazy. The twenty-five right now. Ob sees it. All right, Ob. That's man. Another one. Obi's gonna have the biggest box ever, bro. More fridge boxes. Yeah, we'll have to get a couple. Oh, yeah. All right. We got some Jordans here. Jordan 6 low infrared. 
Uh, did we not have that? No, I think that was actually locked from yesterday. Oh, it was. Okay. All right, let's do it. Uh, yeah, Jordan one low. Jordan I'm six. sorry, Jordan six low. <laughs> Jeez. Long. Size 13, worn. And then uh, started at like 120. All right. All right. Infrared Jordan 6 low. These are worn, uh, as you can see. Hey, st staff, we can, I wish we could meet at Deadstock or something to, to exchange, but whatnot makes us like do the, the shipping through them, unfortunately. It's all pre calculated. Uh, that's true. I was thinking you just drop them off. Um, yeah, I wish. I mean, you yeah, could, but true. you still have to pay for it, unfortunately. Jordan 6 infrared low, size 13, worn with the original box. Uh, like you could just pretty it. clean on the <laughs> upper the label. You got a bid or no? No, nah, no bids on no it. No bids. All right, it's all good. We can run it back later if you guys are interested. Again, check the sidebar if you have a request. Those are all sold? Yep. Sweet. All right, these are John Elliott. Converse. All right, these are John Elliott Skid Grip Low Converse. We can start it. Uh, these are tried on, but brand new. Otherwise, not worn. Size 13 with the box. John Elliott of the clothing brand of the very comfortable sweatpants. We'll the bro. Uh, and we'll do the Dunkmans yeah, next. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to add them. Yeah, can you add, well, yeah. can add them all? Yeah. I can try and see. What are we seeing here? Any more Kobe's? Yeah, we do got some more Kobe's. Yep. So again, John Elliott Converse. You got the John Elliott logo on the heel. It's a very simple John Elliott box. And this is a skid grip low. Kind of a cool graphic. Yeah. Size 13. Do you have a reserve on the duck man? Because uh, uh, we got to show the outsole. So I'll probably do 100. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Shoe man. Congrats. This guy's cleaning up today. He He's got the, the alternate man. laces on him, too. All right. We got the Dunkman LeBron threes. Uh, if you guys know the story, this has the Dunkman embroidered on the toe. Uh, and then the one thing I want to call out on these is the outsole needs re gluing. So it's through here. You can see it. Once you glue them up, you'll be good to go. These are samples to you. Uh, these are a PE sample. These are a what size 14? Oh, size 14. I thought they were 13. Size 14. 2005. Damn, that's a long time ago. Yeah. Um, so again, all you gotta do is re-glue them. Let me see here. Large cement, dude. It's super easy to do. Somebody said, I don't understand why they haven't retro the Dunkman colorway. I 100% agree. To so yeah. me, the Dunkman colorway is the best PE colorway. Dunkman 2s, we're gonna start this up. Dunkman 2s, right, Dunkman 4s, very fire. These are the Dunkman 3s. All right, good luck, guys. Uh, they are, what, 17 years old? So they are aged. And again, just gotta re-glue them. If you think of Dunkman, is there a more iconic colorway or pair than this one? I I don't know. I mean, SPSM stuff is fire too. I don't yeah. want to say that, but but I mean for Dunkman stuff specifically, this is like one of the the best yeah, Dunkman those, things. Let's go through the too. outsole. Yeah, yeah. The shank, crazy. And then as well. Yeah, lots of life on them. At one thirty-five right now, guys. You guys won't see these anywhere. Just not something that people are gonna. And then on both sides, on. let's see. Let me show this. The embroidered Dunkman logo yeah, on both sides. Crazy. So. So one sixty five right now. Somebody's gonna get these for I'm, a steal, I'm and then all, again, all you gotta do is you do have to reglue them. Yeah. Through the outsole. Super easy. It's at one seventy. I'm I'm surprised it's not jumping. Yes. You what? Sure. Yeah, good call, man. You got a slam shirt? And 197, 207. I wonder. Size um, 14. So, yep. Yeah, this is really crazy. I'm just got super snake, salty dude. that they're not a nine or sample nine. I would. Yeah, then the leather these on these right was now. sick. There's kind of a texture all throughout. Two. Filthy Rich, what's up? Filthy's getting them. That is a steal. Love it. That's a steal. My heart hurts a little bit for doing that. Size large. Uh, it's a giveaway. I think, All right, yeah. we're gonna do a giveaway real quick. Size large, slam cover tee. 
one of the more iconic that, slime covers. I can't believe that was crazy. Oh, three of them. We've got three of these apparently. No, uh, no congrats, uh, Billy, on those. That was, that was is, great. This is Elton Brand, Lamar, and Darius, and uh, slime cover. So, how many people got showing up? Uh, 33 on that. All right. Five, four, three, two. Run in the giveaway. All right, run it. You run, run it. it. All right. You guys don't mess around. Slime you guys cover to you. I like to keep them moving. Wait and talk to we, them we, and get them to. We, we, we only got an hour. We got, we got yeah. a lot more shoes. To... Yeah, that's true. Good enough. We put a big dent in. We've been alive since what, was 11. Oh, that's so what's up. Doing. Hey, what's up? Steven. Nice. Good to see. You. Congrats, man. All right. These require some explaining, but these are fresh. This is a Air Force One that I designed uh, at a Nike by you, I'm gonna call it a workshop. Um, I wore them probably two, three times. And then one of the times, as you can see, it's gonna require some cleaning. So hopefully somebody can get these on a steel because this is a great colorway that does not exist with the split top. I gotta add these, I think. Yeah. Uh, they should be in there. Let me see. Is it that Air Force? Yep. Is that the Air Force? Yeah, I thought they were in there. Yeah. That's fine. I'll right, just well, real quick. Uh, Air Force One, and then it's called Fly Leather. Um, so this material was part of the Fly Leather uh, program, Nike. and this is the inside out material. Is this Nike by you or no? Yeah. yeah Which is crazy. Yeah. Um, so Nike had this thing called the Builder Lab. Oops. The Builder Lab, you can see this logo here on the heel. Um, and so I got to design these at a workshop. And <laughs> these are not like Nike by Ezo. This box is different. I've never seen this. Yeah, no, this was a total like, yeah, fly leather. And so what I ended up doing was um, they gave us all the parts and then they were going to go assemble them. And so I asked if they could actually do it inside out. So these size are they? Uh, size 13s. And then used it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they got the pink contrast stitch. AF1 basketball on the heel. Again, some smudges and and, and stuff you got to clean off. And then they got a pink Dubre. So we can start this up at once. So this is a mock leather? So it's, Sorry, I wasn't so, so the fly leather was what they were launching. It was more of a sustainable leather. Yeah, okay. Um, That's crazy. But then uh, I had them redo, or I had them make it so it's all in reverse. So the panels are backwards. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, so it's pretty fresh. Is it a light? Is that a lunar midsole too or something? Well, it's no. light. No. Just in case you hold one. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they are heavy. So I thought it was lunar, but it's yeah. not. It's just the upper is so light looking. But fresh colorway. Those are cool. It's the builders lab, dude. I've never yeah, heard of that. Builder, Where, how builders. come I haven't been invited there? Oh, you weren't you weren't there that day. Dang man. But That's the crazy. builders lab is the tab on the heel. Yeah, so this so is that was like part of uh, some kind of a workshop. I'm just trying to call out it says his name here, bros. It, and it's <laughs> it's way cooler than a pair of Nike IDs. Yeah. Or it's like yeah, it's like not about you. <laughs> I like that he it's like, it's just a Nike ID. No, bro, yeah. you went to the Builder's Lab in Beaverton and got to create your own. And then again, this heel tab is split, so the Crazy, top half man. is light gray as well, and the eye stays gray. It's wild, bro. So, Builder's Lab forces with the box. That's pretty legit. And then get your Jason marker or whatever your cleaner of preference is, and again, you're going to have to clean the toe a little bit through there on both. So hopefully I showed that enough, but... And I think it's a little on the heel here. It's amazing. Impressed, man. OB. Congrats, OB. OB. Another one. That's a box. cool one. That box is fire. Yeah, those are cool. Um, okay. All right. Another insane Way of Wade box. Uh, this is the Way of Wade 8. And it's a, what would you, it's like a foam box. It's got the signature on the side, and it's the Way of Wade Eight Moments. These are crazy. Uh, this box, let's see here. All right, this box flips up, and then each shoe again, as always, comes in a, its own mesh slip bag. And these are the denim Way of Wade Eights. Uh, these are crazy. Yeah. So we'll start these up. Um, these are nuts. The Way of Wade 8 denim. Uh, I've seen these listed for like six, seven, eight hundred even sometimes on GOAT. Uh, so the materials are insane. And then they got the Cordura official logo there. Listen if you guys are interested. These actually have um, the BOA, the BOA uh, lacing up as well. These are wild. 
No bids on it. No bids, right? Sheesh, if it was my size, I'd get you. It's by far the coolest box, I think, here, too. If you guys do have an interest in that one, holler and, and let us know, and we'll, we'll put it back up. Kick, kick Posture wants to see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which one? I, no, it's, it's already sold. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, somebody had asked about the Puma. Which one is that? Kick Posture, sorry. That's crazy, man. Somebody asked about these randomly. We'll just start it right now. Puma, uh, the Hybrid NX. Yep, started for a buck. Somebody asked about these super simple oh, yeah. Puma shoe. Uh, it's called well, the Hybrid. Yeah, well, it looks the like Hybrid NX. M and M's. Brand Reese's new. Pieces. Size mental, thirteen. Bro. Never tried on. Tesla. Yeah, I will. Um, kind of their variation of Boost in a sense. Uh, foam based cushion, but got the Puma on the toe. Brand new. Never tried on. Hopefully, somebody gets these for a crazy steal. If you wanted to have a shoe to kick around. Uh, original box as well. Puma logo on the heel counter. Hybrid on the heel. Uh, it's a hybrid of two of their foam technologies. That's why it's like a foam technology with the beauty technology like put together. We'll never try it's it kind of short lived, but it was actually kind of dope. Yeah. They actually that was the one paid promo that they did with me is with that <laughs> tech. And then they never reached back out, bro. I charged them too much, I think. <laughs> so Puma, the Puma Hybrid NX. Yeah, it's like a energy. Um, with, with, I can't even remember the other one. Yep. Crazy. Cool. Nice, nice, nice uh, steal there for you. Congrats, congrats. Uh, oh, he's had some of the apps on Scorpio. Yeah. Fire these up. I remember though, that's when we met, right. bro. Scorpions. Yeah, that's right. I got the same pair. Yeah. I really wanted the black purple. I was devastated to find out it was a women's only colorway. But uh, yeah. Worn Scorpions once, are live. Worn once, size 13 Scorpions. Wild, wild Air Max bag on these. The upper, though, bro. The upper is sick. Super, super, nice. super comfy. Uh, I mean, one of the crazier Air Max I've ever seen. These are nuts. Biggest, yeah. The, um, the most... I mean, worn once lightly, as you can see. Retails, I like, think, 250 Yeah, these 275 are nuts. Them, they're crazy. So, upper super clean. I love, like, the... the kind of a khaki, the, khaki, right? Yeah, but this map, it's a mock um, yeah. uh, suede sort of the texture mapped is cool. upper, yeah. yeah. Kind of see the texture. Eighty four is a good price right now, man. If you get them, Air Max Scorpion. These are wild. I still want to. I want to find a black purple, but I just can't find them in my size. Women's only. Santa Monica worn. In, um, <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> in the front, uh, Santa Monica strolling with those. I remember. Max Scorpion, size thirteen. Yeah, ninety two right now. I mean, it's a again it's a the airbag is insane. Pretty if wicked. You seen these in person. Crazy, yeah, crazy. The proportions shape. at certain angles is nuts. But I think those are sweet. Big boys says I'm gonna check those out. Yep. Yeah. Jordan size twelve. We had a couple earlier, but everything else is size thirteen, unfortunately. Uh, somebody wants the the Wade moments. We will PX rerun those. Is, yep. Is on it. Oh, big boys. We'll like rerun those for you. I mean, this is pretty pretty decent price for them. You don't you didn't wear them too much. You clean up the bottoms; they're like gonna be brand new. They're still going. Yeah, they're duking it out. So it's probably the best colorway of it, um, to be honest. I mean, other than the black one. Let's see, that was a steal. I want to see the. Uh, someone's asking for more and ones. Cool. Uh, yeah. Getting there. Should we re relist the um, 11 black red? Can if you want. Yeah. All right. I think it's been a good now. Or not. There's 81 viewers left. All right. Uh, might be good or bad. Yeah. It's up to you. It only went for one. So it's we'll out of the, the wave. Oh, yep, yep. All right. Back at it for the wave moments. Again, the box on these is insane. Somebody had to go check out the prices real quick, and then they got like, the oh, yeah. mesh. Yeah, right. It's starting at two. Okay, yeah, yeah. You we'll got the mesh out. bag, but the foam box that it comes in is nuts. It is crazy. So, and then the detail on here is nuts. Like yeah. just the intricate stitching and patchwork. It's really good. So, the denim is insane. Yeah, the this is the Wade is Eight denim. Patchwork is crazy. It's kind of got a marbleized uh, toe piece. Isn't yep, bow system go. too? Yeah, bow system. Yeah. So I didn't. I've we'll never seen those. Back in. That's crazy. Congrats. That, that's a crazy steal. The box alone is going to be heavy, like to ship too. But I mean, that's it's a good price. Actually, well, the shoes feel oh, heavy. Yeah, Maybe yeah. it's just because I'm not used to nines, not thirteen. 
What um you said and ones? Yeah, someone was asking if and ones. Ranger that. Okay, so now uh, yeah. chosen. Anyone chosen? It's crazy. Uh, yeah, type in chosen. Oh, sorry, yeah, help us. All right, we got some. Starter thing. Uh, we started up. We got some requests for some N ones. These are the N one chosen. This is an original pair, white black, size fourteen with the original box. Um. Never tried on, brand new. Never tried on, brand new. Uh, sort of an asymmetrical collar. Ben Wallace wore these back in the day, and they got sort of the whole, the whole uh, forefoot there. You still have another pair of rondos. Yeah. Someone's asking about those. Yep. Yeah. We got some more rondo peas. We got some other, I think clays. Any? Yeah, the clays, curries, curries. Yeah, we got some other final last peas here for the home stretch. And then I think we got a couple more. We got some Vapor Maxes. It's live right now. Some more Jordans as well. Thirteen dollars. Yeah. N one chosen one Yo, original. I want to say crazy. these are from 05, maybe. 05, I want to say. Uh, the Harmonics bag is the original bag as well. Wow, thirteen. That was the lowest price of the, of the night. Yeah. Missed it forever. Congrats. Another pair of N ones. People don't really know about. This is the franchise. I'm sorry, the Edge. Yep, started up. Uh, black, white, apple, green, I believe, 07. Crazy. People haven't seen these in a sec. Um, the undunk bands. These are worn. Probably got to clear the outsole a little bit, but uh, otherwise, pretty good shape. Worn once. And then they got a really nice suede on these. Nice. Really nice suede upper. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping DC wins these again. He's going to get these for a steal. Black, white, apple, green. I think this was the launch colorway and one edge. I've never seen like green, translucent green on an outside yeah. before. Yeah, no, it's pretty clean. Interesting. Someone said Hirachi vibes, like 2K4 toe. I could see yeah. that. Yeah. That's what I was I see that. And one edge. Got the and one hit, very subtle, and then the logo on the side, but otherwise pretty minimal shoot. And then the perf, perf suede all the way through, you can see. Again, the outsole. And one mixed dirty there. Professor crossover. That's what I'm saying. Sweet. Nice. All right. And then. You, hey, Marie. Congrats. You got, How's uh, your Eugene address? Yes. That's fun. Um, yep. Fired up. All right. This is a retro of the first Starberry shoe. Crazy. They've been renamed as Coney Islands since, but uh, this is the original. Stefan Marbury signature shoe, and one. Uh, you got the clear bottom, still with the sticker, not tried on. Size 13, brand new with the box. Um, you know, breakers, yeah. obviously, Steph signing with N1 back then was a big deal. He was the first player to have his own shoe, first guy to sign with N1 after starring at Georgia Tech. Uh, they got the crazy embroidery N1 logo with the player logo yeah. there doing a cross. Gotta watch that. A, insane, a again, insane yeah. logo. I gotta watch that documentary. The documentary is great. I gotta watch that. I loved watching those things growing up. I love that. Steel. Forever, congrats. And then what was the what people want, people want clays, rondos, curries? Just come with the tea? Uh oh, yeah, there's a shirt in that stuff box too, so congrats on the shirt. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> uh all right, this is another Rajon Rondo PE. This is uh, the Home King. Yep, Home Kings. Size 14.5. And uh, crazy. you said what? She's taking the shirt. That's all good. <laughs> um, That's sweet. And then we'll start this up, yeah. All right. Crazy. So this is a uh, Rajon Rondo. Uh, Kings era, Home PE, white purple. Uh, you got the shank through there. The RR logo on the tongue. And then uh, there's a couple different kind of personalizations. Like it says Cinderella Man on the heel. I have no idea what the story is there. There's a 21 and a 06 on the inside of the tongue here. Uh, he had a couple different call outs just for friends and family, it sounds like, uh, just throughout. But these are King's Era size 14 and a half, Rajon size. Uh, King's Era brand new, never tried on uh, with the box, with the promo box. Onto Rajon Rondo signature shoot. 
Oh yeah, so it's a dual material too. For those wondering, I thought that was a color difference, and it is because there's two different materials on the back. Sorry. Yeah, and then it's That's kind of a knit it. through the toe, and then a synthetic on the We're head. just back in the business. Congrats, Congrats man. That's a that's a pretty cool. Um, hopefully, he's a, a king's man. <laughs> All right. This is a flag. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I think he was KT7. Okay. Let's see. KT7 onto KT7 yellow size 135. Wild storage, the bold storage. Nope. Size 13.5. Yep. Uh -huh. And then you could just fire these up brand new. Okay. Um, Start them at eleven dollars. Okay, hold on a second. That's stopped. Shipping, I mean, and then I gotta find the date. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. All right. This is a Clay Thompson KT7 Pro. Uh, in yellow, white, with a black accent, size 13 and a half. Brand new, never tried on. Uh, auction is fired up already, as you know. Uh, you got the carbon. This is a crazy shank. The yeah, shank goes all the way around and then to the other side, too, over here. Um, super padded collar. Uh, super plush tongue. If you're just trying to hoop in these, it's a great, great hoop shoe. Uh, a lot of the KT stuff is really nice. And the whole inside is basically like a boost material that runs full length, but you can see it. Uh, here on the on the medial side, we got a winner. Cool. Oh wow! Great price. Yeah, yeah. twenty nine bucks. Yeah. Awesome. Steel. Uh, congrats. These I don't think we have in there. Those next. One uh, good. Can you run a giveaway while? Which we uh, want to do? We got the, in, the, in, the all names. Of? Yep. Cool. All right. Hold on one second. Those are the ones you can give away. Yeah, there uh, those ones are. Yeah. Cool. This is. All right, we're going to do the insoles. Yep. All, day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right, we got another giveaway. This is a move insole all day, which is all day comfort. I believe these are size eight and a half. Um, so they're brand new, but you can kind of see they got a little more cushion. So these are. Uh, what do they retail at? Like $40, $30? I think they're 40 bucks. 40, yeah. Yeah, 40 bucks. Yeah. Um, so Move Insoles, good deal. Move is the company that Damian Lillard founded, along with uh, investors like Chris Paul and uh, Jamal Crawford, tons of others. Uh, so we can get this. How many entries we got? 34 entries. All right. Get in the giveaway if you guys are interested. We're going to run it real quick. We'll just rapid fire the giveaways. So let's do it. Three, yep. two, one. Get in the giveaway, and we're going to draw now. Good luck, guys. Free, who, who gets it? Shout out smooth. Smooth. Congrats. Have they bought anything? Who's going to let play? Yeah. Curry 9. Uh, these are actually Steph's. These, these, these are Steph's pair, yeah. Size 12.5. I don't remember what the theme was, but this was the glow in the dark model. Are they so they're sample peas or peas or uh they released but they're samples. So the they're like player samples. Um, or the four Steph and Curry. Yeah. <laughs> they call them uh Curry 9 SC. SC. <clears throat> like all the stuff made for him, it has a it's like they, they use SC after it. Clever. Cool. All right. <laughs> we have some Curry 9 player samples. These are size 12.5 made for Steph and Curry. Uh, they still got the sample tag on them. Uh, Steph's shoe, I believe, is a little more narrow in the forefoot, uh, but these have the flow bottom, and I believe it's a glow-in-the-dark flow bottom, which is the first time they did that. Uh, you can kind of see the warp up or through there. We can start this up. We're doing it. Starting at a dollar. Starting at a dollar. Crazy. Size 12.5. Steph Curry sample peas. That was a color that released, but this was the pair that was made for him. Size 12.5, which is his size. Um, any difference between the pair from a retail pair versus this? Yes. The forefoot is a little more uh, narrow in his pairs. And I don't know if there's more color foam padding, but sometimes they do adjust the color foam padding on his pairs as per his request. You met, you've met Steph before, yeah? He's yeah. not very nice, is he? Nah, not he's at all. Just, he's just the nicest dude of all time. <laughs> yes. And again, uh, nice. flow bottom out sole. Size 12.5 Curry 9s. Curry 9s is the model he wore uh, last season when he broke the record all time, which was 2.974. Uh, 
I was at that game actually. It was crazy. How do you uh, like the flow? Outsole is the flow bottom is crazy if you because play it's in them. Outsole and midsole. Yeah, yeah, super cool. light. Uh, the grip is nuts. There's actually no squeak, which is kind of weird at first. It takes a while to get used to, but performance wise, these are a beast. It's pretty um, innovative. Like so, an outsole midsole traction thing is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, so they've been rocking with the flow for a sec. Yeah. Two seventy words on it right now. Curry nine with the promo Basing. tagging. Sample tagging, size 12.5. Yep. Somebody said your memory is top notch. I know a lot of stuff about a lot of shoes, man. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's my only expertise, though. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> when I talk world rated, history, I might not have. Yeah, yeah. Rated? We just got rated with a party of 210. Oh, wow. Somebody sent it over. Who sent it over then? Fine Curate? Hey, Curate, thank you. So Ray is when when they're sending they're ending their stream and they're sending people their, their I appreciate group over. that. That's what's up. Hey, yeah, thank you, thank you. All right, word again. Word takes it with three eighty. Nice one. That was that was fire. Someone just asked for eight and a half nine. It's maybe a good time to run the uh, eleven pack. Yep. Sure. Yeah, I didn't take fine, fine, curate. Thank you. Appreciate you for sending them over. That was this one. Yeah. I ease. You got some size eight and a half. IEs. These are I not realists, so I have to oh, okay. grab the information real quick. Try it on? Try it on card. What was the uh, reserve on it? Uh, 80 bucks. 80? Yeah. It's hard. Somebody said they missed all the Adidas samples. I actually got I got a pair of Crazy Light samples right next to me that will run back in a second here. Uh, yep. Start? Yep. Started. All right. This is the Jordan 11 IE original colorway, but of course this is the retro. These are tried on, but otherwise brand new, and they do have the original box. Uh, so these have a reserve, but we'll get them rolling. 15 seconds left. It looks like here. Size 8.5. Tried on. Somebody said any samples or PEs. We got through a lot of the samples and PEs already. Uh, let me check. If anybody's interested, it's live right now. Phil's back. Phil, what's up? When's home? Welcome back. Almost all the same. Um, yeah. Probably could time that out better. <laughs> When's home? Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Somebody asked about Adidas samples. We got a pair of, uh, I think these are listed. Crazy lights. These are hard. You mentioned those. Ah, okay. Yeah, you didn't type. Okay, Adidas Crazy Light. Candace Parker, size 13. She's a size 13? 13.5. 13.5. Is it a 13.5? Yeah. Yep. Yep. The sample or? Uh, yeah, player sample. Does it have a sample on the box or not? Just a P. Yeah. You want to tell everybody who you are just so they sure. know? Sure. What's up, everybody? We've got some new viewers, it sounds like. Uh, I am Nick DiPaolo. We are in my old basements, and we've been doing a basement sale all day. That is me benefiting the girls and boys basketball teams at Sutter Middle School in Sacramento, which was my middle school basketball team. Um, so we've been firing through probably, what, 110 pairs already? Yeah, 130. Um, 130? Yeah. Damn. Um, so we've been getting through a lot. We've got about 30, 40 pairs left here, but... Um, a lot of it is older basketball shoes from the 90s, 2000s. A lot of it is size 13, 14s. And then we also have some size 9 basketball stuff in here as well. Um, and these are, we'll just get these, get these rolling. Um, this is a purple LA Sparks colorway of uh, the Adidas Crazy Light from 2011. Uh, this is Candace Parker colorway. She had an alternate version that did have the ACE logo on here. These do not have the ACE logo, but uh, this is size 13, five, her size, which is also my size. So I did wear these, they are worn. Um, they, do have, they do have the original box as well. Um, and for anybody that knows about Adidas, the Adidas Crazy Light to me was one of the probably most groundbreaking basketball shoes for them for the last decade. Uh, just super lightweight with that sprint web material. Three stripes on the collar. Uh, the size nines were 9.8 ounces, which was at that time the lightest ever basketball shoe and the first under 10 ounces. Nice. Congrats. Sure. 
How does this box get here? Yeah, I have this. this Alright. Jordan 22. Okay. This is an Air Jordan 22 from 2007, I want to say. You want me to run it? Or uh, we'll run it, yeah. Size 13.5. These are worn. A little yellowed, of course, because they are probably, what, 15, 16 years old. It's crazy. Um, in the shoes is the Zoom Puck, but I also have the Air Max Puck. These have the interchangeable pucks. It's called IPS, I believe. Interchangeable pod system. Um, so, again, Air Jordan 22, leather toe. Some creasing because these were played in and they are worn, but man, from that era. Yeah, that's, I had those. I remember They those. do have the, the camo graphic all through the heel along with uh, the heel counter, and then it shows what puck you have in through that window. These are the these are the flagship, too. They, didn't they have a knockdown version, too, or something? Yeah, this was the yeah. launch version, and then they did the Jordan 22 PEs. Yeah, but didn't have the pucks, had all yeah. the different city skylines on them and were kind of a mess, but. Uh, so this is like the original colorway. The original yeah. launch, white, black, Vegas All-Star. Uh, which I went to. That was my first All Star. That was that was an awesome time. Uh, Twenty two on the toe cap or on the toe hit, and the original original box. And as somebody set out, Dwayne Edwards designed yeah, these. Yeah, yes. Dwayne did the twenty ones and the twenty twos. Uh, the box on these is way over the top, and this sort of three M graphic camo print on the heel counter is fresh. It's live right now for at a hundred dollars right now for anybody interested. So size thirteen five, Jordan twenty twos. Got a winner. Congrats. 100. 100. Ooh. All right. Congrats. Ooh. Congrats. That's a classic. Let's add these in. This is just on what was it, Thursday? Seven flight positive. I think they actually have them in there. No, maybe not. Right. No, we, no we, didn't, we didn't add those. Let's add these in. Three? Are these the threes? Yeah. Holy crap, dude. No, they go obviously. Battlegrounds. Yeah. Uh, and then collector only. Size 13. Size 13. Yeah. And then um, used or worn? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, we've got some flight posit threes. The gold battleground colorway. Should I do shipping 25 pounds? <laughs> yeah. <I'm just> <laughs> um, Those things are beasts. These I will I will say these are I'm gonna call it collector only because the the straps as anybody knows with flight posits this rubberized material starts to starts to break and, and uh, is a little brittle but these are battlegrounds flight posit threes strap um, strap off on the on the underside on both and the upper um, one and then the as you can kind of see the lenticular pods are fellow fellow uh, or a little bit aged as well fairly aged as well. Um, we start that guy? And we can start this up, yep. Yo, those so are started classics. at a dollar. Flight posit threes, man, I want to say it was 2003. Just a crazy. 2003, so this was the summer uh, battlegrounds. Outsole's in great shape. Uh, toe does have some scuffing here it on the left toe. Just such a crazy. What but, was the retail on those? Those were like uh, nine, Flight posit right? three was 170 or 180. <laughs> Crazy. Back then, that's like a four hundred dollars. Two thousand two, my man. Said, I love how yeah. they wrap the, the midsole too. Like it, uh, it's like kind Alpha of Project dots. One of the greatest so collections of shoes ever came out of Alpha Project. Um, again, the the lenticular pods are a little aged and fogged uh, on both on all. I should say all four on all sides. There we go. Forever takes it. Love it, I, man. That's an exciting pair to see, honestly, in person again. It's been so long. I never actually owned a pair of those, but they were so wild. We had some people asking for these yesterday. The lows. Yeah. Kamikaze lows. I don't think they're in there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're there. Yeah. All right. This is a sweet yeah. This is an original uh shit. 1995? 1994? Yeah, yeah 1995. Crazy. Kamikaze one low, black, white, size 14. Double check the size. Size 13. Size 13. Okay. Glad I checked. Size 13s, black and white. Um as with anything that's at this point probably 27 years old, Jeez, I would you know yeah. wear them care wear them. Uh, what's the phrase? Cautiously if you want to, but otherwise I would say no probably <laughs> probably for a collector only. Um, original black white. Sean Kemp's signature shoe, but the low top version, uh, black white, which does not have the original box, but. To me, one of the greatest. They're alive if anybody wants them. There you go, um, So yeah, hopefully somebody can get these for a steal if they want. 
I mean, size 13, black, white, kamikaze low. The original, though, from 95, 96. Season. See, they're eight dollars. I mean, I'm you'll never man. find them. They pair, I don't think. Let's see if I can show the outsole a little like more. That. That's crazy. Uh, some yellowing on the toe, but man, the outsoles. I mean, if you have a friend that really likes the original shape. Reeboks, um, this is you know, sometimes Reebok, like I had a pair of red blacks originals and the midsole is crumbling. The midsole on these is in great shape. Um, so again, I would. I would acrylic case of those things. Original fan of 95 those are, are Kamikaze one. In the LeBron box. Sick. <laughs> Congrats, man. Great purchase. You all player. I like I like that you you you're scooping up some old gems, man. Appreciate it. Let's uh it looks like the inventory's thin right now, guys, but there's yeah, there's we're getting down to the there. last last probably 2030 here, but we got some stuff still. Yeah. Uh we got some dunk highs. Just the black, uh, black reds, yep. Yep. Cool. Well, that, that um, these are nice. the Barcelona ones. I remember those. So these are the Dunk High Barcelonas. I don't know what, I forget what year this was. Uh, basically a black and red, but then they have like an orange, a brighter tongue with Barcelona across the tongue tab. Size 13 with the box. Uh, the box I want to call out does have some writing on it, which apparently the labels are hard to read, so I was writing <laughs> on it. Uh, but black and red. And then the outsole, uh, these are worn, but the outsole is pretty, pretty clean. Nice. Uh, if you want to just get a pair of dunks to kick around, that's these. The but leather is kind of crazy. Look at the back, too. The back, uh, yeah, the back has a, a woven mesh, that's crazy. Like a, almost like a wet a mesh weave there. That's cool, uh, kind so, of a fire color. So, black and red, but then the orange tongue with the Barcelona hit on the tongue tab. If you sold that two years ago, it would have gone <laughs> like yeah. three, four X, yeah. So, Barcelona tab on yeah. both. Again, black, red, dunk high. Nice. Sportswear box? Uh, yep, sportswear box. Nice. This is challenge red, black mandarin for the colors. There we go. Okay. We have a gulag on that one, Slay. So payment didn't go through, Slay. So try to uh, try to run it back through your bank. And then if, if it fails again, maybe contact your bank and then ask them or let them know it's all good because sometimes they get flagged with, uh, with on the app. So. Check it back right now. It's on. It's in, in um, the gulag right now. All right, these are Vapor Max. Gray, black, yeah. Uh, not new. Wait. There it goes. I went through. Yeah, this one. Oh, um, this one. Yeah. One more box. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, got some Vapor Maxes. Size thirteen with the box. Extremely lightly worn once. As you can see all through. This is the first one? Oh, these are the Vapor Man. Which is this the box? Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's does, not the OG does box. does not have the original box. I don't think Not, not the OG box. Yeah. I think those are the Vapor Max 2000. It's the Vapor Max blur to me. Vapor you guys know which ones those are, right? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tell us which model that is. Because so, I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, yeah. Happy yeah. Lefty's taking it. Tell them cool. that it's not the original. Retail box. was 190 Happy Lefty, there's no OG box on that. Is that okay? Just make sure it's okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah, great pair. It's like barely even touching. Right. Thanks again for everybody that's been hanging with us. We just hit hour four. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Well, what just is hit hour four. Uh, yeah, these are. What is, is this a release pair? Uh, yeah, I've never seen those. Yeah. So these are gray orange or gray peach rather, gray peach. Yep. Huh. All right, another Vapor Max size thirteen. Those are fire. Uh, again, extremely lightly worn. On on both sides here. It's Vapor Max Flyknit 3. Vapor Max Flyknit 3 is the official name. A little stain on the left toe. Uh, my boy Jeff said there's a little mark. You kind of see it here. Left toe, yep, right here. Good call. Live if you guys want it. And then they got this sort of marble texture on the heel and the swoosh and then an iridescent on the top. You haven't done the giveaway since the, the rain bid? group came in. You did, no? No, we're going on. No, all right. No, we'll, we can, we can uh, pull back out later if you guys want. What? What's this? Just a, just a tea, a deep, a, just a blank tea. Nice. Yeah, goose ball. All right, we're, we're going to do another giveaway real quick. Here we okay, we've got, got another giveaway. A boost ball, fun little accessory. Full ball made of boost along with an Adidas performance shirt. Um, so feel free to enter in. We'll, we'll get this fired up in a second. Yeah, 50 in the drawing right now already. Appreciate y'all. First giveaway of the new crew. 
we might be doing another auction again in the future. Make sure you guys follow. And then uh, and then I do think you have to be a follower to enter the giveaway anyway. But uh, international is um, working. So like if you're international, you uh, can the do shirt's it. a medium. Yeah, shirt is a size medium. Just saw that question. Um, again, who's fall? All right, we got so seventy. Let's, in. let's fire it up. Let's do it. We're gonna yeah. run it. Three, two, one. Good luck, guys. Oh, that's the last one. Nice, nice, nice. We still got this guy too. Yeah, oh, so yeah. We, have to, we have to type it in. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. You can just write top 10. Half I mean, we got those Jordan 5s and the ZXs. Oh, yeah. We still got some good giveaways. Oh, yeah. All right. We got a winner. Tally. Tally, congrats. Uh, yeah, congratulations. All right. Let's keep it rolling. We have, man, you guys have been crushing it. This whole stream is really ridiculous. We know that the timing is going to be scuff. Ooh, I actually have those. <laughs> These are hard. Yeah, sick. All right. We got some Puma house shoes. Puma scuffs. Start started up. Started at a dollar. Steal for somebody. These are size thirteens. Awesome. Somebody said any size tens. Yeah, we actually do have some size tens behind me. Um, size ten ultra boost, right? It's a women's. Size These are like the ten. house slippers. Ah, never mind, women's are... size ten. Um, Sleeping bags for your feet. And then leaning. Some what else? What are, I think we're out of leaning. Might be all from those. And we got some Austin. We got some Austin Reeves though. Which we should value have at eleven, Nick. I think these retail at. Oh, shoot, actually, probably I 50, 60. Yeah, I think fifty-five or something. Uh, but yeah, it's a good, it's a good shoe. It's actually pretty comfy. Mad comfy, warm. You know, Puma scuff, size thirteen with the box. Uh, never tried on. I gotta start paying for my Spotify, bro. <laughs> I gotta start paying for Spotify <laughs> after this stream. I must start paying for it again. Nice kick, God. Comfy. Nice. All right, let's do. Nice kick, God. Do you have you worked for Nice Kicks before? <laughs> How was your time at Nice Kick? It's awesome. Did you like those people? Yeah. Actually, Matt was just hitting me. He's in Portland. Is he really? Yeah. I've never met that guy, I'm but he's, he's always, he seems real cool. Hey. Um, these are to you list these. No. Ah, okay. Let's do uh, oh, they're fire, dude. Yeah. Type it in. Are you here, add it. You want me to have yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to type it in? Uh, those are fire, to be honest. The box is fire. I mean, minus, you know. Some, some of the stuff that's like kind of crazy. Did the um, Pogba's gulag or did it stop? It's for Pogba cleat. They did. Yeah. They, did. they went through. Um, yeah. All right. It says European 47, but then it all, which is a 14, but then it also says size 11 and a half. Um, let's just, yeah. They don't look like, they look like a. We could try these again now that there's a lot more people here. Yeah, that was a funny one because somebody had requested those and then yeah, yeah, yeah. and and it sold yesterday. So. Um, all right, yeah, uh, brand new with the box. Can, can you uh, start at one? All right, this is a Austin Reeves rigor shoe. Uh, has like a a boost esque midsole, and then actually it comes with a logo, just like the boost ball, similar. It's kind of funny. Um, so we'll get this started up in a dollar. Uh, it's a European 47, um, which I think, it, which is a size 14, but it also says on here US 11.5. Um, so I'm going to say they're a size 13. Uh, the sizing is a little wonky, but um, so we, so this is one of the shoes that he wore when he first signed with the brand with the Lakers all this season. Uh, this is the same shoe he wore all through the playoffs this year. And uh, then he's going to get his own signature shoe next fall, actually, uh, which would be cool. Mm -hmm. Not too many people have them, and then, that's for sure. Oh, give, them one, give them one to check the sizing. Oh, this is forbidding black eyes. Yeah, it seems like a 13. They, yeah, the size 13. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, size it says 11 and a half, but it's a, it's really like a 13. I think it's mislabeled. Um, again, they got this kind of sidewall piece, mesh upper, and then a nice shank plate and the clear outsole. Um, the box also comes with. Their version of like a loose ball. Is, is it a PE or is it? And then the box label is pretty fresh here too. So sweet. Boy, that's a, that's a great skill, honestly. I don't did that did that one release or no? I don't even we don't even know if they released or not. Maybe you, might be you and Austin. Though. Yeah. <laughs> you said use their run their Orions again, maybe. Okay. I don't know if it, Jordan really Seven the price or not. Uh, what's the price at? One fifty. Or is it good? One thirty. Okay, might as well try to get yeah. a snack. All right, we got Jordan 7, 
uh, Orion's worn, but worn lightly. Let's throw the outsole here. Who's Austin Reeves? Oh, come he's on, a, man. He's a guy. Yeah, Laker, you know. Kind of a big deal. paid this. <laughs> All right. Got Let's show both sides here. These are size 13 with the box. Uh, Ryan's alive. We dropped the price a little Ryan bit for you guys. So. Drop price for you. Again, worn, but worn lightly. All right, Bye. Brown, appreciate it. Try this on this. Yep. I got that. Yeah. Oh, you have you had them on the tip. Oh. Yeah. Uh, all right. So was, yep. Chalky brand. <laughs> That's yep. a chalk, Charlie. Uh, blue tag. Yep. Try it on the inside. Size eight. Yeah. All right, we got some size eight sambas with this kind of light brown with the gum bottom. Fire, bro. Uh, metallic gold samba lettering. Try it on with the tag still. Uh, let's see the outsole here. Yep. There's a nap suede on that toe box. It's crazy. Yeah, so size eight again. Size eight. Size eight. It's live if you guys are interested. Gray suede with the gum. So what? No, no takers. Three, three seconds less. For anybody interested? All, All right. right. No worries. What uh? What else? What's the size? UK size on the Sambas. Uh, UK seven. Uh, it says seven and a half. Seven says seven and a half. Oh, when some said I'd buy the Sambas for twenty. <laughs> Well, because I mean, if you figure shipping, but you're shipping to yeah. 25. All right. Let's Next time, right? Type in Lunar. We've got some Nike ID joints. Lunar. Yep, Nike. racers. Uh, no, not these. Sorry. Right. Yeah. All right. Got some blue and neon Lunar Runners. We can start this up at a buck. Started at a dollar. Oh, those are in good I shape, did, dude. Yeah, these are. Those are super. I, I, I mean, I barely wore them once. So they, I mean, I want to say these are from 09. Can I pull this one and see? Yeah. I'm and then I did these on ID, so they got the NDP on the tongue. Comes yeah, 2010. In, comes the okay. Nike ID box, 2010. Apparently. Dude, that's like the nicest lunar lot I've seen in, and yes, in 2010. And yes, we're doing lots of $1 auctions. I see somebody asking that. A lot of the stuff at the end here, we're just going to fire it up for a buck. Wow. See what it rolls at. But these are pretty much. Find I mean, me a lunar lot in better, in better condition yeah. 12 years later. You know, 13 years later that's yeah, crazy dude. The heel counter uh what made you do blue on the mvp special i wanted it to be teal but this was kind of close to like we were doing that uh air max trainer that had the teal uh sc trainer inspired colorway at that time those are kind of fire yeah. to be honest yeah, I mean, especially shoot. since the the maros are training super hard like this is like a nice it's like the next romero thing. alternate that's like brand new yes. nice deal on that chilling Six, That's a fun six one. Bar. What are these? Oh, tubulars. Oh, wait, aren't those? Uh, they're not listed because they had the. Oh, yeah. So, Adidas tubular uh, runner. Not Night right. flash purple. 12 they're guys. They're not running shoes. Not a running shoe. Yeah. Yeah. These are from 2014. I don't know if this color came out because I'm not going to promo, but. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember. Yeah. And then we'll just start out a buck. Kick posters, appreciate you hanging with us. Logging off, yep. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate you, dude. I think he's in the UK. Yeah. I don't, yep. man. Yep. That's good timing for us, then we know we can reach international here. All right, so we just started these up, size 12, 5, tubular runners. Uh, I think they run a little big, so probably like a 13. The only accent is this uh, red hit of the trefoil. Otherwise, purple white, pretty simple. Um, these are brand new. Uh, both sides, you can see. They're alive. And Dude. then the the toe bot. I will say the toe has a little bit of a stickiness to it just because of the age. Um, but otherwise, clean shoe. Yeah, kick kick poster did have the steel of the day. Oh, those 3Ds are wild. Yeah. We got some good steals today. I thought the steal of the day might have been those. Uh, Mavs Zoom Flight 95 from the well, career that's because you, you're the, the 95 King. That's, that's why. the best shoe of all time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's I would, uh, fair. I I would have been. Been, I would have. 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 Yeah, it's crazy, man. All right, tubular 22. runner. 
I wonder if they'll retro these ever. I mean, they they had a run, but yeah. they were going crazy. Yeah, I had a pair of kids in that whole era. Yeah, I gave mine away before whatnot. I, I probably gave mine a goodwill or something. These are sure. smooth. Uh, suede's? Puma suede in all mints. Ooh. Mickey Diamond. I, I was aggressive on these. All right, we'll the start these for a dollar. Did you make them or no? No. Nah. Okay. Size 13s, I believe. This do look like Mickey Diamond. Yeah. Yeah, size 13. Wait. Yeah, uh, yeah size 13 is all mint. Fire. And then the suede, the, the lettering is in metallic silver. All mint, worn with the box. Uh, 48 sounds, bro. And then metallic silver logo on the heel as well. Sick. Crazy. All right. Trainer three. We got the Emerald Trainer Threes back. And what's that? 80? What's that? 70. Or 60? 60 yeah. Oh, that's fine. All right. We got the Air Trainer Threes Emerald with the green and then uh, a little, little light yellow accents as well. Um, these are worn lightly, worn once. You can see pretty much, I mean, incredible condition. Air Trainer Three. Great shoe. These are hard. I still don't know what the, the numbers are on the back of the tongue. Yeah, if anybody knows, what's this date on the on the inside of the tongue from? I forget the theme on these. I just thought it was a cool color. Crazy. All right, hot sauce. Congrats. That's a big right. curry pack. Let's do these Metcons. You said what? Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm going to have you open that on the side because it's not curry, but it's like two shoes. Oh, yeah, let's start it up. Yep. Five. All right. We got some Metcon 5s. I believe it's called the 5. Um, gray white mesh. Worn once super lightly. I mean, they look pretty close to new. Uh, and then again, size 13. Yep. Just the gray whites. Shoe Man, appreciate you. I know you got probably what? Yeah, yeah. Probably, shoe man probably got seven, eight shoes, man. Appreciate you. This was fun talking the whole time. Special thanks as well for helping support the Sutter Miners Middle School that I went to. Yeah, thank you, shoe man, for joining in. That was great. Uh, somebody said UB 22s oh, man, next. We'll do that. those next. Yep. What is that, bro? <laughs> Yo, this is Are crazy. you kidding me? <laughs> What? I'm having to van like this. Oh my god! <laughs> I need to hold that joint up. This is open up. All right. Again, worn once, you. super lightly. If you're trying to get after it in the gym, this might be your shoe. What in the world is that? <laughs> Metcon fives. Yo, that's fire. I don't even know. Again, thanks again, shoe man. Yep. All right. Hey, congrats. What uh? Yeah. We had a request. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Congrats. We had a request for the size 10. Women's. I'm sorry. These are women's size 10. So they're basically like a men's 8.5 Ultra Boost. Uh, what's it say on there? Yeah. Yep. Women's size 10. These are clean. I got a pair of the gray ones on right now myself, actually. Um, but these are navy white. You know, start it up. Yeah. Uh, got the clear bottom. Man, these are clean. These I gotta good. look at that box real quick. Yeah, this is crazy, bro. So, comfy kick sweet. around shoe. Uh, boat lace, I hear you. We'll get those up. Yep. Boat lace. DTC, of course. This is insane. Some snipers. That's a really dope, uh, really dope box, bro. Box of nuts. Yeah. Bill. All Bill. right. Shout out to Bill. Yo, that's a massive steal. Nice work. I put put those on sale for like 70, 80 bucks usually. That's, that's, I mean, that's a steal. I love it. All right. Somebody asked about these. This is an obscure shoe, especially to request. This is the Adidas Boat Lace. They had a, like a berry graphic on the back and the insole actually, I don't want to do the whole smell thing, but the insole is supposed to smell like a berry. These are brand what? new, starting for a buck. They have basically like a water irrigation, like literally like, you know, goes all the way through. 
So if you're rocking these on a boat, I don't know if you can see through it, but it's it goes all the way through. Uh, these are a wild shoe. These are probably from, I don't know, maybe like 2010, maybe. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. I gotta see this, bro. This is a wild shoe. Yeah, that should be a. Um, it does. We're trying to get out on the water this what summer. This is for you. It has a berry smell for sure. Yo, that's crazy. Yep. <laughs> and then it's got this rubberized tongue, which is kind of cool. It's molded. That, I love that it's um, see-through. And then the whole... It's 2011. A, 2011. That's yep. insane. Part man. of the Climb and Cool series. Uh, it says water grip on the side. So you see the grip on the bottom. But yeah, if you're trying to get after on the boat this summer, this is, this is that shoe. <laughs> Those are and then the toe, the toe is pretty fresh. The toe down. Yep. So yeah. there Another we go. Another just random ones. Slightly. Um, uh, what is slight. Congrats. That, that was a crazy one. Yeah, the concept of that one was wild. Those are really bizarre. To these, uh, those are construct. Those are crazy. Oh, Jeff, index cards. Oh, uh, yep, right. start it up. All right, Chuck Taylor. They got the added toe cap. These recently came out. Got the thicker midsole as well, uh, and then brand new on the bottom. Those look heavy, heavy. These are a size what are they, twelve. Size 12, so it fits like a 13. As you guys know, Chuck's run big. Um, That's four bucks right now. And then now. you got the Six Converse dollars. logo on the inside there. So definitely something to kick around, black, white. Those look Classic. Heavy. Those Classic. Look, those look real heavy. It's crazy. This is such a crazy pair. Did you buy those? I, I was hyped about these. In the, the, I will say the, the midsole and the toe cap are, are pretty big. It's the oversized shoe for sure, but these are clean. Oh, wow. uh, classic canvas with the white contrast stitch. Yeah. Converse logo on the heel. Yep. Sweet. Ben's. Congrats, man. Steve's Jeremy Scott's. And then I got one of the wildest giveaways. Like this shoe is nuts. That's All right. live. All right, we're live. All right. Yep. Jeremy Scott cheetah print size fourteen. These are worn. Just a fresh shoe to kick around. Good summer shoe. Low tops. Pretty low to the pretty low uh, profile shoe as well. Um, yes, Jeremy Scott had a moment. That's true. Yep. Yep, that's true. Jeremy Scott was. I mean, he had the wings. He had the what was it? The panda head on the tongue. He had all kinds of wild stuff. Um, and this was sort of a more, by Jeremy Scott standards, more subtle silhouette uh, with the cheetah. So. Size 14, something to kick around. Let's see. Sort of an off-white midsole. Again, they are worn. Size 14, Jeremy Scott. Jeremy Scott on the tongue. Sweet. All right. Crazy. Jay Scott sold for six bucks. Yeah. Second tech. Six deal. Just a wild shoe. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. All right, this is the Tech Street. I don't know if people even remember these. This was probably 2011, maybe. Um, super high top, silver, kind of a Hornets S colorway with the teal with the purple. Uh, got the Adidas logo, clear outsole on the perimeter. Let's see these. So, yeah, Tech Street. Uh, brand new, never tried on. Got the gray new buck. Still factory lace with the purple with the with the teal. Somebody said any crocs. We had a Salehi croc and sold them earlier. Sorry about that. So yeah, tech streets. Live. 